KitchenAid. Yep. Plus, they're celebrating their 100th anniversary, and we've got brand new bowls for your mixer you can choose from. I know. So cool. Tara's here with Temptations. Everything's on free shipping. And I'm just going to say right now, this is one of the best desserts I've ever made in the history of this show. <laughs> Peanut butter chocolate banana cream pie. I am not <laughs> kidding. It's going to be off the rails today. Stick around. Four big hours of In the Kitchen with David starts right now. We are so excited to welcome all of you in for four big hours of In the Kitchen with David today. I'm David Venable. It's great to be with you today. And we are continuing our month long theme of baking shortcuts. But I'm going to take a big baking shortcut today and not even use an oven. No oven with this pie today. And I'm going to tell you, this is one of the best desserts I've ever made on this show. If you like chocolate, banana, and peanut butter, buckle up because it's going to be a big, big, yummy, delicious pie. We're going to tell you all about that and a whole lot more. But first, let's give you a sneak peek at some of the goodies coming up in the show. And let's remember every single item we're showing you on air online is all free shipping today. Free shipping and handling on everything. You're also going to love five or more easy pays. This is Tina Varelli from KitchenAid, and she's showing you coming up one of our hot picks in the show, one of our star products of the day. This is KitchenAid's three and a half cup chopper. It's a one touch, two speed chopper with the extra bowl. You're also going to love that we've got this at a sale price, and like everything in the show, five easy payments of $7.35. But let me be clear everything on air and online is free shipping until end of day today, and everything is five or more easy pays on air and online until end of day today. The only exception to the easy pay will be gift cards, and the only exception with free shipping and handling is if the item already had shipping and handling included. Yeah. Oh, I beg your pardon. I'm told now because the easy pay is going on until end of day tomorrow? Because tomorrow's President's Day. All right, let me just rewind a little bit and back up. Beep, beep, beep. Okay, here's the story. Free shipping until end of day today, but uh, five pay or better uh, ends end of day tomorrow. How about that? Even better. I like it when I make a mistake and it's in your favor. <laughs> All right, hey, let's talk a little bit more about another great item coming up in the show. And if you have been wanting to get on the air fry bandwagon, well, over 255,000 of this particular model of the Cook's Essentials air fryer have been ordered. 5.3 quart digital air fryer with 10 presets and pan. You're going to love that we've got it on six easy payments because remember I told you that any item could be five or more pays today. So this one is six and it's also free shipping and handling. It's an amazing value story. The last time this was on the air, we sold out of four colors and all the colors are back in stock. We're going to tell you about that and a whole lot more. And just just to reiterate that value, with the free shipping, we're over $67 less than retail. And that sell price will go away at the end of day. So, to recap, free shipping on every item on air and online until end of day today, and five pay or better until end of day tomorrow. I promise you, one of the best desserts I've ever made in the history of the show peanut butter chocolate banana cream pie. And this is full of supermarket shortcuts. And the biggest shortcut here is we did not use the oven. This is a refrigerator pie. Super easy. First thing I want you to do is go get your pie plate. Okay? Get a pie plate. Just have a little quiet time with the pie plate. Then I want you to go in and get those chocolate, uh, excuse me, the peanut butter sandwich cookies. You know, the ones that look like peanuts on the outside, you know, and they're nutty and they're buttery. And you know the ones I'm talking about. You're going to get a big mess of those and you're going to crush them up and mix them with butter. Yeah, right. And then you're going to smash it into this pie plate. And then what I'm going to do here, I'm going to put a layer of peanuts on the bottom just to make it a little bit more nutty. Okay. I'm going to put all these peanuts in the bottom all the way around, crushed up and delicious. And then in goes some chocolate ganache that we've warmed. I'm not kidding. This dessert is so good. It's going to make your tongue fly out of your mouth and smack your brains out. That's exactly what's going to happen. Now, we're going to pour all of this in there except for a little tiny portion, which I'm going to lick off of a spoon. And um, we're going to get this all going. This is step one. Later, I'm going to be adding instant banana pudding, like a, a, you buy in a box. I'm going to fold in fresh whipped topping. We're going to layer that on top, and then we're going to drizzle with more. But right now, I'm going to go into the bowl here and just get a little taste of this. Mm -hmm. Stacy, that's good. And oh, did I mention that the chocolate ganache is mixed with more peanut butter? <laughs> I love this recipe.
stresses me so much. All right, hey, if you are wanting to read ahead, you can uh, check this out by searching David's Recipes on QVC.com. Look under the baking shortcuts or shortcut baking segment, and you'll see all the recipes for the month, including this one. Stacy, you didn't want any of this chocolate ganache or peanut butter, did you? No. Mm. No. Well, I don't good. need it right now. I'm going to stitch some later because right now in front of me, look what I have coming up. A one day only from Jimmy the Baker, the original cinnamon loaves, but not just cinnamon. You have your choice of a chocolate loaf as well. These are loaves that are dipped in butter. You heat in the microwave for just a couple of seconds and it's just warm, ooey, gooey, wonderful sweetness any time of the day. We're giving you a four pound loaf. You can have your choice of cinnamon or chocolate. We even do a combo for you, but it's on five easy payments of $6.99. This chocolate is a brand new flavor. So David, get ready to try Jimmy the Baker's new chocolate loaf. Cannot wait. Hey, let's talk trivia. We want to do it really early for you so you can join along on all the fun. We want to know which is uh, the following is not actually a pie. Is it? Okay. Shh. Shh, don't okay. spoil it for everybody. I won't, I promise. Boston cream pie, chicken pot pie, banana cream pie, or shepherd's pie. So go to David's Facebook page, David Venable QVC. Mm. We're going to be live streaming the entire show. Within that mm. is the chat. So mm. post your answer, your guess, I should say, in the comment section. We'll reveal the answer in just a little bit. But try very hard, David, to just zip it. I think Lips I know locked. the answer. Lips locked. To that one. But I'm not going to reveal the answer because that would that would mess up the game. What I am going to talk to you about is a hot pick and remind you that every single item today is free shipping and handling. Free shipping and handling. On every single item, on air and online until end of day today, the only exception is if the item already has shipping and handling included, right? So it's important to know that that's the lion's share of our entire assortment today on QVC. And we've got everything coming your way, including this hot pick from KitchenAid. You know, KitchenAid is celebrating their 100th birthday as a company. They began back in 1919. It's now 2019. A cool 100 years ago, this fantastic company began. And one of the most popular products that we have in their line is available first up in our show. This is KitchenAid's three and a half cup, one touch, two speed chopper. And we didn't give you just one bowl, we gave you two. How you doing, second bowl right here? But I do want to be clear. You're getting one blade and you're getting two bowls. So this allows you to prep a couple things at one time. The only thing you'll need to do is just switch your blade in between both of the bowls. Now, I want to let you know that this is on five easy payments of $7.35. It's also on free shipping and handling, of course. And if you went to retail right now to buy this two bowl, three and a half cup chopper, you would pay $71.65. We are $34.91 less, and then if you add in the free shipping and handling, we're over $40 off. What? Kidding me? That means that there's less money you're paying, or, or, I mean, you're saving more money than you're paying. Isn't that crazy? That's a good deal. That's a very good deal. Hey, let's take a look at our colors down here, and I'm going to tell you right out of the gate, because it always is, contour silver is going to be the most popular. Mm -hmm. That's going to be the most popular, and I don't want you to miss it. If you want it, and you want it on five pay and free shipping, da -da -da -da, now would be your time. All right, then we're going to jump right into white. My mom uh, has the white one. I know this because I bought it for her. Nice. This is the black one, the one I have in my kitchen. You see me use uh, that a lot on my Instagram when I'm cooking. Then we move over to the next ledge, and I've got this for you in gloss cinnamon, one of our most popular KitchenAid colors. Okay. And then we're going to take you right into tangerine, which is a fancy word for tangerine. And then next to that, I've got green apple. Then we've got it for you in cranberry. Now, I know this looks like hot pink, but our system calls it cranberry. That's right. So please be aware of that. Then we're going to move into crystal blue. Crystal blue, thank you. Mm -hmm. We're limited in that crystal blue, only a couple hundred there. This one is called boysenberry. Boys, you got it. Woo. I'm not even behind it where I can see my cheat notes. And then on the end there, I've got it in majestic yellow. Again, take a look at the left hand side of your screen, and I'm going to review value with you because this value is extraordinary, and of course, everything's on five pay and free shipping. So why not? If you've been looking at this item and thinking I want it, today would be your day. Ordinarily at retail, this is. $71.65. We are almost $35 less. And then when you add in the free shipping and handling, we're over $40 less. Five pay, free shipping, all the colors in stock. Let's have a free for all. Get busy shopping. Let's come over and meet Tina Varelli, our KitchenAid representative. Hello. Great to have you back, Angel. Thank you. Tina has been our KitchenAid rep for now three years on QVC. You're actually doing with this shopper what I do with mine most often. 
I grind up Parmesan cheese in this, <laughs> and it is just delightful. I made homemade pizza last night and used oh, this to grind up my Parmesan. That's so great, and it's just so easy to use. It has that one-touch operation, so there's a little spot on the top of the handle where you just press, hold it down for continuous, tap it, and then two speeds in the front. That's the that's the top speed. That, you can hear the difference, is the puree speed. When you're done, you just take that bowl off. It has a handle, it has a pour spout, and there you have your beautiful, freshly grated Parmesan cheese. So fresh, so delicious, and it's more economical to go buy that big wedge. And just look at the beautiful texture that you get from that. When I do Parmesan crusted pork chops, I always start with this. I grind up my cheese, and it's always so much Ooh, better yes. because the cheese melts into the breading mm. when you... When, mm. Mm. Yum. Mm. I can't even begin. <laughs> All right, so let's also uh, kind of take a step back here because I think for a lot of people who have seen this before, they're wondering exactly how to use it. So why don't we do a little chopper 101? I would love to. So this is the base. It's a little over two pounds. On the top are some icons. It'll be a little bit easier to see when you get it home. So this piece here is going to match up where the handle is. It's so easy. Just take the bowl, put the handle toward the front, and then turn it to the right until it clicks in. So righty tighty. You're going to take your blade, which locks into place, just spin that down and lock it in. Now it's time to add your ingredients. We're making a chimichurri sauce, so we're going to add some cilantro and some parsley. We're going to add some fresh garlic, some cumin, some salt, some pepper, some red pepper flakes, a little bit of vinegar for tang, and then we put our lid on. So the lid has a tab that is going to align with the handle on the bowl. So you just want that tab to be in front of the handle, pull it all in, and it's all locked into place. So now I can mince up those vegetables and use, or those herbs rather, drizzle in my oil using that drizzle basin. So there's a special little hole here where I can pour some oil in. And the KitchenAid engineers engineered that hole to be the precise rate for drizzling in so that it's going to emulsify. So as I'm doing this, it is mincing up those herbs and it's gonna turn lighter in color because that oil is going to emulsify with that red wine and it's gonna make a beautiful, luscious dressing that we're gonna pour over some zoodles. It's so quick and easy to make your own dressings and sauces fresh at home. So what I'd like to do is just remind you what you're getting and also let you know what's happening. For the day now, over 2,000 of these have been ordered and in this show alone, 1600 have now been spoken for. You're getting not only the three and a half cup chopper with the blade, but you're also going to receive that extra bowl. So, all this coming together for you at a tremendous value and in a rainbow of colors. But first, let's talk value. If you were to go to retail to buy the same pack up with the extra bowl, over $71.65, we're almost $35 less. And then with the free shipping and handling, we're $40.41 less. Today is your day, my friends. Let's jump down and tell you Contour Silver is hugely popular. So let's encourage everyone to jump on the line for that. Next to that, I've got it for you in the white. Then we've got it for you in black. This is the color I have in my kitchen. Moving over, I've got it in gloss cinnamon. Next to gloss cinnamon is tangerine. Then the green apple. If you'd like cranberry, this is that gorgeous cranberry color. Then I've got it for you in crystal blue. Going quickly in that crystal blue. Next to that is boysenberry. And finally, I've got it for you in majestic yellow. Five easy payments on your credit card. Of course, free shipping and handling because everything today is on free shipping. So we're excited about all of that. Tina has made her delicious uh, sauce to go over her zoodles. That's right. And with that handle and pour spout, it makes it so easy to go from prep to the table, and you have a delicious, delicious, fresh sauce for your family, and look at that, top it with some of our freshly mm. grated Parmesan cheese. It's just so easy to have those fresh ingredients and prep time at home. So delightful. Don't miss out on this. We're getting very busy on our phone lines. Over 2,000 now ordered in this show. Wow. That's about 2,500, 2,600 for the day. So here we're making a cream cheese glaze. So I have cream cheese, powdered sugar, a little vanilla. I'm using that drizzle basin and looking in that viewing window that I have there to see what texture we're getting with our glaze. Remember, you can adjust that speed 
from the chop speed to the puree speed, you can pulse it or you can hold it down for continuous action. When you're done, just twist that lid off, twist the base off, and use that handle and pour spout to top that red velvet cake with your Ooh. yummy, yummy glaze. How Look you doing? how perfect that is. How's everybody feeling about that? Right? <laughs> top that with some sprinkles, and you have a perfect, easy topping for your dessert. Ooh. All right, so for the day now, we've taken orders for 3,500. In this show alone, 3,000 are now gone. Let's remind you Easy Pay is in place, all five of them, and free shipping and handling. Ooh, and that sale price will go away at end of day today, and along with it will go the five pay. I believe, yes, because when the price goes, so will the five pay. So this is going to be your time to pick this up. Let's go to our phones. We're going to welcome Carol in oh, Massachusetts. Nice. Hi, Carol. Good afternoon. Hi, David. Welcome on in. It's nice to have you with us today. I want to say hi to Tina, too. Hi, Carol. It's nice to meet hi. you. So, talk to us. What did you think about this KitchenAid chopper today? Do you already own one or are you buying one? Yeah, I have one. I have the crystal blue. I've had oh. it for about a year. Mm -hmm. And uh, I replaced another smaller one. And uh, I like the quantity of the size and the two. The two um, two bowls. bowls that yeah. you get, mm -hmm. and it's very easy to use. It has a two speed, which I like, right? And I use it for uh, grinding nuts uh, for cookies, yeah, just, just enough to get them, you know, so they're not real chunky. Mm -hmm. And I also have uh, used it for grinding up crackers for salmon patties, fried salmon oh, patties. Oh, good idea! Oh, good. good idea, Carol. Well, excellent. So I really like it. Uh, really like it. It's very handy. That's fantastic, Carol. What color do you have? You did you say crystal blue? Mm -hmm. I have crystal blue. Yes. Oh, very pretty. Yeah. Oh, how yeah. nice. Well, Carol, stick around. We've got that today's special value stand mixer coming up, and a whole lot more. Okay. Okay. It's good to talk to you, David. Thanks, Welcome Carol. back. Thank you, dear. Nice to chat with you. Bye bye now. You too. Okay, so Carol was just talking about using this for nuts. She was, and it's so easy to get those finely chopped nuts. It would take you forever with a knife to do that. And you get that handle and pour spout, and look at the beautiful, even results that you get. You can even make nut butters. It's so powerful. You know what I was just thinking? My recipe today takes <gasps> those peanut butter sandwich oh, cookies, right. and they have to be uh, ground up. And then mix with butter. I could use this to grind up my cookies. And you could chop the nuts, and you could make your whipped topping. Yes, I could, because you are a rock star. <laughs> All right, now let's tell you over 4,000 ordered in this show, and we are super, super busy. Take a look again at what you're getting here. You're getting the three and a half cup chopper with the extra bowl, one blade, two bowls. Go to retail on this. You're looking at, I believe, over $71. We're going to come in at almost $35 less, and then with the free shipping, bum ba da dum, we're over $40 less. So, all this coming together for you at a really fantastic color opportunity. But let me now update you on Contour Silver. We brought in 2,000 in the Contour Silver, and I have fewer than 600 left. I'm looking at my clock, and I'm looking at how popular this has been. I think we may sell out of Contour Silver. If you want it, I would be on the line for it right now. You've had your eye on this on this uh, chopper in Contour Silver. I've got fewer than 600 out of the 2,000 we began the show with. Here it is in white. Don't miss it in black. That's the color I have in my kitchen. Moving on over, I've got it for you in gloss cinnamon. Here's the tangerine. Then I've got it in green apple. Beside that is cranberry. Now. This is crystal blue. I have fewer than a hundred left in crystal blue. Our last caller picked up crystal wow, blue. Wow, so. Or she already owned crystal blue. Yeah. And then I've got it for you in boysenberry, and finally in that majestic yellow. Five easy payments on your credit card. Look at this value story again, real quickly. At retail, the entire pack up would be over seventy-one dollars, worth almost thirty-five dollars less. And then with the free shipping and handling, we're over forty dollars less. So you're actually saving more money than you're spending on this particular chopper. This is an extraordinary day and an unbelievable value. Are you making hummus? We're making beet hummus. It's Ooh. so pretty. You can take some canned beets. I chopped them up first, then I added some garlic and some lemon juice, and now I'm just going to use that drizzle basin to drizzle in while I'm holding my thumb down there for continuous action or remember you can pulse and you just keep going until you get the perfect texture that you want. And it just does such a beautiful job. So whether it's your basic tasks like chopping nuts, 
breadcrumbs, chopping up your mirepoix, chopping garlic and onions, or whether you want to mix up a quick recipe and get a perfect mix on your hummus. Let me do one final color tour because I have some updates for you. Okay. All right, so in this contour silver, okay, we began with 2,000 for this show. In contour silver, I have fewer than 150 left, and then it'll be gone. Here it is in white. Here it is in the black. Move on over to our gloss cinnamon, tangerine, green apple. This one is cranberry. Crystal blue is gone. Crystal yeah. blue sold out. There we go. And then I've got it for you in boysenberry. And finally, the majestic yellow. Look at our value story. Go to retail. You're paying over $71 for this identical pack up. We're going to do it at almost $35 less. And then factor in the free shipping and handling because everything's on free shipping today. So great. It's over $40.40 less. The sell price and the easy pay and the free shipping, all of it, I guess, go away end of day today. So don't miss out on this. How many gone now for the day? 7,000 in the day, 6,500 in this presentation. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Come down here. Come down here. Oh, no. Contour silver, your color. That is my color. Just left the building. All right, thank you, sir. All right, so we're going to check in with our Stacy. And as we do that, we're going to remind everyone you've got today's special value coming up, That's which is going right. to be super exciting. So we'll tell everybody about that. Stacy, what you got going on? David, what was your guess for our trivia question about which was technically not a pie? What was my guess? Yeah. My guess was shepherd's pie. It was shepherd's pie. That's what I would have guessed too, but we are both wrong. Is it chicken pot pie? Nope. Oh, Boston cream Boston pie. Boston cream pie. How about that? According to thekitchen.com, there are several theories, but one of the more likely theories is that cookware deprived colonists used shallow pie tins for cakes as well as pies and didn't get too fussy about what they called the resulting dishes. So, Boston cream pie is the answer. Congrats to those of you who guessed right in our chat, which is happening on David's Facebook page. Okay, coming up in about eight minutes, this is something David's been really excited to present to you. It is from Good Earth. It is an LED rechargeable under cabinet light bar. So think about, you know, maybe you want to add that designer look to lighting under your cabinets or have a light for a dark pantry or closet. We're giving you two when normally the price should be $56, we're $26 less. Again, with the free shipping and handling and five easy payments. We have white, we have silver. We'll show you all kinds of uses and so easy to install. And remember, rechargeable, so no batteries to have to keep buying. All right, love it. Okay, Stacey, David. Yes. I'm super excited about that item because how many people don't have a light in their pantry, under their sink? And these are rechargeable. And I can't wait to show them to you. I think they're going to be awesome. And you get a set of two, and they're amazing. All right. Right now, though, we're going to remind everybody that we are in the midst of Easy Pay Sunday. Every single item on air and online is all on Easy Pay and free shipping and handling. So, five or more Easy Pays until end of day tomorrow, everything on free shipping until end of day today, including the largest set of temptations on QVC. Yes. 17 pieces in this bakeware set. Tara Tetcher is back. Well, hello. Mwah. Hi, pretty. Hi, great to great be here. Great to have you back. Thank and you. we are thrilled about this set I because this I want to let you know this has so many pieces that if you totaled up the entire capacity of every piece in this set, mm -hmm. you'd be over 15 total quarts. Yes. That's Amazing. Huge. huge. And some of the largest pieces, David, that we have ever offered from your request. So, first of all, I love that every piece has what I call that ruffled edge. So, you have that beautiful fluting that's going to run all the way around four and a half quart oval. Low profile here, gorgeous, stunning, hand painted on the inside and the outside. I absolutely love this piece. It's the largest oval we have ever offered. Then we have our 18 inch platter that's going to sit beautifully and coordinate perfectly with that, again, with that gorgeous ruffled edge. But we didn't just stop there. Nesting inside of that four and a half quart is going to be a three and a half quart oh that my. has a snap on storage cover. A three quart that's going to nest down inside there that has a snap on storage Good cover. Grief. And just wait, all the other pieces that we know you love. The first time we've ever done our covered 16 ounce with that gorgeous, again, fluted detail. And I'm doing this on purpose so you can see what you're going to, how you're going to nest them all down. And then we included four of your eight ounce ramekins. So think about those for little dipping dishes for your little individual desserts. Uh, two of your four ounce brand new piece that we've never offered before. Tuck the lids right in, David, and look how easy this whole set is to store. Plus, sorry, I grabbed them from you. I you was just do, going to you show do you. <laughs> don't forget, here's here's the cherry on the Sunday. Yes. You get two of the little oven mitts and, and ten great recipes. What? 
10 great recipes. And look at that. That over 15 quart capacity and look at how you just tuck it right away. Love now, that. Now, I do want to remind you that when things when they calculate a shipping cost, they take two things into account. They look at the size of the box it takes to ship it. Okay. And they look at how much it weighs. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> this is 17 pieces yes. of stoneware. Yes. You can only imagine that this would be pretty heavy, right? Yeah. Well, shipping and handling ordinarily on this would be pretty pricey, right? Today it's free. It's amazing. Free. It's free amazing. shipping and handling. Now, this sale price will go away at end of day today. And when it disappears at the end of the day, the five easy payments of $16 will also uh, disappear. Got it. And the free shipping will go away. This is incredible. If we have any left, you'll still be able to do five pay, but it'll be five payments of the higher price. Got it. So now you can get the lower price and get all of it with free shipping if you get, if you act now. Why wouldn't you? Now, closest to Tara, we'll start with her and come back this way if we can. She's showing you the Old World Red. Beside that is Old World Cranberry. What Tara collects oh, is Old World I Confetti. Just love that. 200 all I have left in confetti. Wow. Here is your eggplant. Old world in the brown, which is my color. Here it is in old world spice. 100 left in the I spice. Love that spice. That's going to go quickly. And we've got it for you in old world black. And we were showing you the green up top. And the green is up yeah, top. Yeah, sorry about that. The, uh, in the black, I've got 150 left. And in the green, 100. Oh, wow. wow. Old world's pretty limited across the board. Yes. Down below is floral lace. This is floral lace green. Notice that the finial is chocolate brown, as is the um, the border, and you've got white beadwork. So this is green floral lace. This is red floral lace. Gorgeous. Cranberry. So pretty. Light blue. Some might call that Carolina <laughs> blue. I know I would. Here it is in eggplant. And then here it is in chocolate. chocolate. Beside that is your spice. And finally, your floral lace in the black that has that gorgeous look of twall. When you look on the inside, the colors reverse. A white background with your primary color so as the flower color. Now, all this coming together for you with free shipping and handling and five easy payments and a sell price that goes away end of day today. If you are after any, I'm just going to tell you real quickly, if you are after any old world color, do not wait. Confetti and green are both flying, and when they're gone, we're going to take them away. And Tara, because these are all hand painted and hand done, That's it right. could take us months. Months. months I was going to say months, months and yes. months to get this back in yes. stock. So please don't wait. If there's a color you know you need, now is your best time. And remember, it's free shipping, and it's five this. pay, and it's on a low sale price. All that equals up to grab your phone. <laughs> all right, now let's come over here. Yes. Is this four quarts of uh, mac four, and cheese? Uh, four and a half. Four and a Four half. Four and a half. Right. Bacon, mac I didn't, and cheese. I didn't want to. I didn't want to cheat you out of that half court. But here's what I love: the low profile, David. I love the elegance of that look. Again, I love the fact that everything you love from Temptations, you you have that moist, ooey gooey mac and cheese, but nothing is sticking to the sides. So whether you're doing your mac and cheese, which is one of the recipes in the in our cards, or you're making a beautiful cornbread, you could take your KitchenAid um, little hand mixer, mix right up in here, bake right in here, serve right in here, and then store right in. Can there. I tell you, yes. I was at the supermarket the tell other day. Tell me. And I ran across a magazine I'd never seen before. Mm -hmm. It was called Everything Bacon. Oh. <laughs> and it was a whole magazine full of bacon recipes. And the one that was on the cover was a one dish meal. Okay. It was chicken bacon ranch pasta. Did you buy the magazine? I totally did. Can I have the recipe? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> because I'm going to tweak it a little bit and we're going to do it on the show. And you'll have me over to try it. And I'll, well, I'll okay. have to do a test run. Come on now. <laughs> So I, 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 I was like kid in a candy store. I was in, I was in the magazine. Even speak I like right it. now. You're like, ah, 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 I can't believe it. That can't sounds it. delicious, actually. All my favorite things. So you know what? We'll have to we'll tweak it a little bit. Okay. We won't do the same recipe. Fair we'll enough. Do some, but we'll make something very similar. Doesn't Fair it sound great? And you can serve it beautifully on the 18 inch platter. Well, it would go great in there. It this would dish go great in there, too. Because we could mix it in here. You could do four and a half. We could bake it in there. You and we could serve it in here. You could do three quarters. And then we could store it in there. All right. You're have hilarious. we done this once or twice? Yeah, you and I? A few times. Hey, Ken, uh, what was that? Um, 600 sets are wow, gone. Wow, thank you, everybody. Now, green old world's gone. Oh, okay. Well, you know what's so great? You can nest everything down inside and go ahead and tuck it away. Just, it's fine. Here we You're go. like, <laughs> take it. Goes. I'm going to move this. Taking the green. Can I give you that? Away. Do we still have red in old world? Good. Can I bring that up? Do we have red in old oh, world, guys? Perfect. Dan Okay, Through right. the magic of TV, here it is. Or the magic of, of you being strong and can pick that up from underneath. Um, okay, so green is gone. How are we on confetti, Dan? Okay, so we'll go through all that. Wow. So let's just remind everybody real quickly 
that you've got 17 total pieces. Yes. Just uh, without putting it all back together, yep. Tara, let's just do a quick. No problem. What you get. Largest baker is going to be your four and a half quart, 18 inch platter, three and a half quart, three quart oval, two four ounce uh, dipping dishes, four eight ounce Rammies, two of your covered 16 ounce little Cassiolets, then the mitts that coordinate embroidered with the tabs, the silicone tabs, and 10 great recipes. With photos. Oh, I love this Fantastic. set. Fantastic. Oh, I just so love nice. it. In Old World, we're limited in everything, so please don't wait. Old World Black. I have 100 left in black, Old World Spice, six dozen. Brown, 200 left. Oh, eggplant, 100. In the confetti, four dozen left. In the cranberry, 150. And in the red, 250. Now, down in floral lace black, we're good there. Beside that is spice. Here it is in chocolate. chocolate. This is your eggplant. Then I've got it for you in light blue. Here's your uh, uh, cranberry. cranberry. Thank mm -hmm. you. Red, and finally the green. How many of these now, Dan? Almost a thousand are gone. That uh, the sale price, the five payments of sixteen dollars, and the free shipping all disappear end of day today. Get yours while the getting is good. Great, great good fun, to darling. See you. Good to Thank see you, you, Angel. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for being a part of, of our show course, today. Love it. And hey, we wanted to give you a little sneak peek of some fun I had yesterday on the Today Show on NBC. I had the great pleasure of being invited to come and do two recipes from my cookbook. Big thank you to Peter Alexander and Chanel Jones who are there, as well as two characters from Sesame Street, including yes, Cookie Monster. I know. And we had such fun yesterday. I want to thank all the kind folks at the Today Show in New York. We had a fantastic time. And if you'd like to see the segment, if you missed it, go to my Facebook page, David Venable QVC, and scroll down a little bit. You'll see a picture of me standing on the Today Show set in their Today Food apron, uh -huh. which looks very similar to this one, except it says Today Food. And there's a link there where you can go right to their website and watch the segment. Perfect. It was so much fun. Oh, you did such an amazing job. And the boys were watching at home and they were like, Uncle David's on the Today Show. It we was so, nuts. so cool. I was so honored and just feel so blessed to have been invited. And they were so lovely and so welcoming. And I want to thank all those folks. And I want to thank all of you who watched because it was, and all your lovely comments on social media. They just, I read every one of them. Thank you. Aww. They were so nice. Aww. But we had such fun. Yeah, look at Peter that. Alexander did the happy dance. I know. Well, so did Cookie I'm, Monster. I, that's more impressive. I'm sorry. Yeah, and Cookie Monster did too. <laughs> now, the chef's name, you all will help me on the chat because I'm not all that up on Sesame Street, although I'd like to be. Um, the chef's name is, what's his name? The chef. With the chef hat. I think yeah, his yeah, name yeah. It starts with he a G. The red, I he, has think. The red, he has the red mustache? I think. Yeah. Oh, that would be I need to bone up me. on my Sesame Street. <laughs> all right, but if you all know, uh, jump in the chat and let Stacey know because I think the yeah, chef's let name, me know. Is, it, is it Grog or something is it like Grog? that? Grog? Anybody here know? Everybody, everybody is shaking their head. Nobody kids, knows. So All right, let us know in the street. chat. Hey, before um, you do that, I want to tell everybody um, we, we're doing the poll on Instagram now, on your Instagram page. Yes. So David and I took a picture before the show to do our poll question. We want to know if you are more of a sweet or savory type of foodie. So go to David's Instagram, David Venable QVC. Go into the story section. That's the little circle at the top of your Instagram page. Hit that. You'll be able to cast your vote, and then we'll reveal um, which one was the big and winner. And that's on my page, not QVC's. That's on your page. On my Instagram, yep, David on QVC. Instagram. All right, good. Okay. And we're also, I did a little takeover on QVC's Instagram today. Oh, yeah. In their Insta stories. Mm -hmm. So you're going to be taking some videos during the show, aren't yep. you? All right. I sure am. All right. Um, I'm going to go over here and get ready for something. Oh. I can do it and get ready for under cabinet lighting. Okay, you go right, do that. Go. Uh, and I'll quickly mention what's coming up uh, from Cook's Essentials. We have the 5.3 quart digital air fryer. We love this. It's been super popular. It's a hot pick. Four colors actually sold out last time we presented it. So all of them are back in stock, including this gorgeous turquoise. A quarter million sold. We have a sale price today. We have free shipping and handling. Six easy payments of 11 bucks. Now's a great time to finally start getting and enjoying why everybody loves air frying. All right, back to you, David. Well, we've got an item now that I know was presented a couple of weeks ago when I was away during Down Home with David, and I was disappointed by that only because I wanted to, I wanted a shot at this. Right. Because I think <laughs> this item is so cool. Our planners told us all about it or told me all about it, and I was super excited. And when they decided to put it in the kitchen with David today, I was like, ding, 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 we're all going to be winners <laughs> right. with this one. This yep. is Erica Swineford, and Erica is one of our problem solution specialists That's on QVC. Right. It is great to see hey, you. Thank you. Always nice to have you back. Can I tell you that already 400 sets of these are gone? Just from our mention earlier. Yes. <laughs> now, I want to ask how many of you, show of hands across the nation, we'll wait. Um, 
how many of you don't have under cabinet lighting and wish you did? <laughs> right? <laughs> right. And uh, what's the big reason you don't? Exactly. Expensive. You got it. Not to mention the time it would take mm -hmm. and the wires they'd have to fish and all right. the other things that would go on. Right. What if you could take this light, place it underneath, either you screw it in or you use a little hook and loop attachment. Right, that's it. And then you got light anytime you want it. And then your next uh, obvious question will be, well, David, it probably works on batteries. So right. uh, how many batteries do I have to buy? You nope. don't buy any batteries <laughs> because it's rechargeable. That's it. This you, is so you smart. got it. <laughs> I love this item. So let me tell you real quickly. You, right. You're going to choose a set of two white or a set of two in the silver. Now I know it's a little hard to see the difference on this gray background, but this one is a true white. This one, think the color of your stainless steel appliances. That's it. You got it. Yeah. And you're going to receive with that. A charging cable and right. a wall plug. You, absolutely. How just long like, does it take to charge? Just like these? you charge your phones, just about a couple hours. It has a, a green light to let you know when it's finished charging. So just like you charge your phone when you go home from work, and then 2,000 activations on a single charge. And I don't know if we mentioned their motion sensor. Yeah, you so, can either set these to motion sensor, right. or if you're having a party or doing a lot of cooking, you can leave right. them on steady on. Right. If you want to light your coffee bar or your wine bar, you can do that as well. Which is really easy. Mm -hmm. And you're also going to get these little hook and loop command strips, right. the 3M command strips. Aren't these great? So no, no tools. You know, even my mother-in-law was able to install this herself, and I laughed because she was waiting for my my father-in-law to install it for her. But and if you I live in an apartment or a rented home, yeah. You're not going to take Nothing any paint off the wall, no and you're not damage. going to put any holes in the wall, Super right? Super simple. But look at this. Put it in the closet where you don't have light. Put it in a pantry where you don't have Perfect. light. Pantry under the sink. Under the kitchen Love sink <laughs> in the laundry room. I just think this is brilliant. And here, let me tell you real quickly. The company that sells these is called DoItBest.com. Mm -hmm. I love that. At DoItBest.com, they sell one light. Right. For twenty-eight dollars. Yes. <laughs> we're giving you two lights for 35. So if you were to buy two of these at retail, it'd be $56. We're over $20.50 less. With the free shipping, we're $26 less. You get two and they're rechargeable. They're on free shipping and they're on five easy payments. I can tell you now we've already taken orders for 1,500 of these are gone. The silver is much more limited. Can we take a little walk around our KBC home? Let's do it. Let's take a walk because we've we've kind of mounted them here to show you how you're going to use them in your own oh, home. Um, so I, I, I need a drink of water. Right, as we approach this, you're going to see we put oh. one on the mantle, right? Maybe you're using it as a decorative light. You know, not just in the kitchen, but think outside the kitchen. Think about you know your living room, um, like you said, your closet, your pantry, your garage, all the places that you wish you had light but you don't have it. How long does this stay on? Twenty seconds when it's set on motion activated, so that. It conserves the battery for you, which is great. So you do what you need to do. When it detects motion no longer, it will shut off to preserve that battery. And again, 2,000 activations on a charge. Then when you find that it starts to dim or goes fully dead, just charge it like you would your cell phone. Oh, it just went out over there. See it? Yep. Now, just to show you again, I reach here for my mug. Oh. There, there it goes, goes again. <laughs> Isn't that great? And you can set it steady on, like we said, if you're having a dinner party and you want to light the coffee bar, the wine bar, you can certainly set it to steady on. Can I tell you, 3,000 of these are gone. Yeah, I'm not surprised because we all have those dark areas in our home, not just in the kitchen, but all over our homes where we wish we could have light. But like you said, it's a huge expense to have an electrician come and hardwire lighting. Back at the early part of the year when we were beginning to plan for Down Home with David, they showed me a lot of products and this was one. Mm -hmm. I said, right. oh my gosh, this is so perfect. <laughs> I said, we've got to have this product on the show. And it was on a show well, a couple weeks ago when I was away. And then we had a chance to put it on, on uh, in the kitchen with David. Right. Look at this. We've got one here. Right here. We have one here. We have and, one here. You know, it might be it might be decorative lighting. It might be over your coffee pot, so you can see your Keurig or your K cups. It might be to read recipes. A lot of us, even in the daytime, you know, if you have your recipe book here, it's shaded, or shadowed. It's a great way to light up what you're doing. Light up your KitchenAid, whether you know you just want to display it if you're getting a new KitchenAid, or you want to see what you're doing when you're using that KitchenAid under the now, sink. Now let's get a shot of this before yeah. we open that door, because I really want it. you to see. It. And let me hold this we, one. Yep. Get them out of the way. We all know how dark it is under our sinks. We now, can't see we what's go. under there. So again, open it up, and then I reach in to grab. The Holy paper macaroni! Towel, Look at the that. Cleaning supplies, whatever it is, and I have light. I can see. I can finally see, and I didn't have to pay an electrician to do it, and I don't have to buy batteries. All right, let's come back over here <laughs> because I've got updates. This is flying. Okay. All right. So we brought in nine thousand for in the kitchen with David today. I have only twenty-two hundred left. Silver is now gone. So I'm going to take silver away. Okay, and that's as easy as it is, David. You pop that off. These 3M command strips are hook and loop. They're hook and so loop. So if you take them off to charge it, you simply pop it right back on after and it. Then charges. you pull it away. Super simple. All I have left is white. We started with 9,000 in this show. 
I now have 1600 left, and you will get the charger and the 3M right. uh, hook and loop strips. That's right. And the wall plug. Now, you do not buy batteries for these. No. See this big bowl of batteries? No batteries. <laughs> That's it. Get rid of those. Forget about those. Because you can find lights other places, right? But then the thing is, it's at the expense of constantly buying batteries. And they're super These bright, are rechargeable. too. These 200 lumens, so they're really going to light wherever it is you tuck them. 200 lumens means the candle light of 200, or the light of 200 right, candles? Exactly. <laughs> so if you lit 200 candles in your home, that's how bright this is. That's a lot of light. Absolutely. Right? And motion sensor. So uh, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but it's gone. Oh. All right. It's I had so gone. much more to say. <laughs> but you know what? Here's this the good news. Fun. Here's the good news. We know you love it. Yes. And um, if you would like to see additional colors, let us know on my Facebook yeah, page. Okay. And I'm going to guess that we'll try to bring this back either in, in the kitchen or down home with David. Absolutely. Let's because do it. it's a super good item. Yeah. Erica, I'm sorry okay. it went so Thank quickly, you. but I'm, okay. I'm thrilled at the same time. Enjoy everybody. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> so stay uh, tuned. We've got more happening. Here's Stacy with a look at something coming up that's already been pretty popular, I'm told. Uh, yes. Um, talk about having the best drinking water that you can. This is coming up from Aqua True. It's an ultra reverse osmosis countertop water purifier. So all the big bottling companies that do bottled water out on the market, this is the same exact technology they use. We just now bring it to your home. Uh, we have a nice savings from the retail price tonight. Uh, we're about $73 less with our free shipping and handling. We have our best easy pay. Um, it really can take out a lot of contaminants. You'll learn what those contaminants are, uh, but it's coming up. It's just having great quality tasting drinking water. Um, at the press of a finger. So, in just a bit, but right now, let's get to some air frying from Cook's Essentials. All right, it's a hot pick, and we've got one of our star products of the day. And one thing that we truly love is air frying. It's literally and figuratively one of the hottest trends in kitchen right now. And everyone's looking to get those crispy, crunchy, yummy, gooey, fantastic results. But you don't want the extra fat and calories, right? So, what if you could air fry with little or no oil and let super concentrated heated air that's being moved by a fan surround that food, crisp it very quickly, and preserve the moisture and the creaminess inside? That's exactly what's happening here. And we're doing it today with five easy, or excuse me, six easy payments, I beg your pardon, and Free shipping and handling. Chef Joe McAllister, part of our Cooks Essentials team, is back with us. Hello, Chef, good, good to, to see you. you. Thank you so much, Dave. So, one of the first things everyone's going to make with this when you get a home is frozen French fries. Absolutely. So, we thought we would begin with the frozen fry. And, Chef, these cooked how quickly? So, these are done in 12 minutes from frozen, David, just 12 minutes. You'll have a preset, 10 presets in all, but the first preset you'll see right here for French fries. So, power on. Hit the French fry button, power on, and they're done in 12 minutes. I'm going to hit those with a little <laughs> yes, salt. Yes, absolutely. I season up high because I get better coverage that way. I need a little bit more. You made a lot of fries here, Chef. Yes, we is did. Never a problem. With Stacy around, it's never a problem. That's exactly right. But that's because it's the 5.3 quart size. This is the largest in the Cook's Essentials line. So you can do that many fries and do batches upon batches of fries. So, Chef, let me tell you, we've already taken orders, Dan, for how many? 400 are gone. I want to do colors real quickly because I know everyone's wanting to choose their color before their color is sold out. And the reason I say that is the last time we had this on the air, four colors sold out. Oh boy. All four of those colors are back, but I don't think we have a whole lot of these to go around. Okay. So this one is the cinnamon, I believe. Yes. Yes, sir. So here's cinnamon. There you go. Then I've got it for you in black. This one is the green. Here it is in white. Then I've got red. Then this is cobalt blue, eggplant, and finally the turquoise on the very end. I can remind you that this is six easy payments and you're also on free shipping and handling. Remember, this is free shipping and handling day. Every item on air and online until end of day today is free shipping and handling. Everything on air and online until end of day tomorrow is five or more easy pays. All right. And we are very, very busy with this item already. Dan, how many? Five, 500 now gone. While you're talking about that, I'm going to sample some fries because I would hate for them to go to waste. That's right. Now, the second thing that you'll probably try when you get the uh, air fryer home is steak. And let me tell you something whether it's a strip steak or a ribeye or even a small rib roast, it's just incredible. You get that beautiful, moist texture, you get all of that juiciness, caramelization on the outside, and then look at this. Look how juicy. And beautiful that steak mm. is. Now, this is done just above medium on the medium well side, 
but it is so tender and so juicy. And of course, David, you may try that if you wish. There's a fork well, right there. Well, you know what? I think I, I, I will. And we did that in just 14 minutes to medium temperature. So that's with your mm. caramelized onion and your mushroom. And not on a grill. Not on a grill, but you Amazing. are you're using that convection technology, and that's really what it is. The way that this works is it actually draws the air in the top. There is a fan and a coil. That coil is heating that air. The fan is moving that air around very quickly. It is crisping those fries on the outside, giving you that creamy texture of the potato on the inside. Right. They're just perfect each and every time. Convection ovens actually then reduce the amount of cooking time. So that's why we can do that ribeye perfectly just like this in just 14 minutes. And I've all, you've heard me say this a million times. The crinkle cut is God's most perfect French fry. It is. Because you've got all that surface area to get crispy. That's right. But at the inside, the potatoes should be creamy. That's right. That's exactly what's happening here. These are crispy golden brown on the outside, little or no oil, maybe a spritz or two with your That's Evo, right. which is coming up in the show. Pizza, That's exactly by the way. right. And so if you're looking to pick up an air fryer, I strongly suggest the Evo. You may also like, look right there on your screen, right there. You'll see it's $25, but it's also on five pay or better, and it's also on free shipping. And all you need for that amount of fries is just three trigger pulls. That's one and a quarter teaspoons mm. of oil. A yep. lot less guilt when it comes to fried foods because you're using a lot less fat. You're not submerging in fat. You have this beautiful result, crispiness on the outside and gooey cheesiness on the outside. Mm. Look, I'm still pulling out mozzarella sticks at this point. There's a ton of them in here. There we oh, wow. Go. And you know what? Two more. <laughs> Let's see if I, can, yes. I can do this because I'm there sure they're piping hot. There it is right there. You oh. can see, oh. I know, they are oh. very oh. hot, David. Oh. But you can see that beautiful oh. texture of the cheese, right? Isn't that amazing? <laughs> <laughs> All right. The nerve endings are dead are on his yeah, fingers. <laughs> I don't think I feel anything anymore. Look at that. Oh, let's see how long we can go. There we go. I think you've almost got uh, two feet of cheese pool there. There it you go. It's like yet, taffy. Yeah. <laughs> I know, it's a record. Look at it that. It never go. Oh, oh there finally. it goes. <laughs> All right, fantastic. So now what we're doing, David, is we're going in with some wings. And once again, we'll use the Evo bottle, just a couple of trigger pulls right there. Two, three. And then we'll go ahead and we're actually going to hit the fast button for wings right over here. So power on, hit the wings, and then how long off will we those go. will those need to cook? They'll cook for 20 minutes at 400 degrees. 20 minutes for those perfect wings. Over here we have a hot style of chicken. This is the Nashville hot chicken. So let me just show this to you right here. This is wonderful, crispy and delicious and perfect. Look at that texture on the outside. Oh boy, mm. there we go. And then David, all that fat has caught down here in the bottom. Look at that. The basket, uh, the tray on the bottom there catches that chicken fat, so we're not actually consuming that. 1,200 of these right are now in. gone, Chef. We are very, very busy. Lots and lots of you making your choice now. Reminding you that this is on five, uh, six easy payments and free shipping, but you want to get yours while the getting is good because this is an extraordinary deal. Now, this is your turquoise. <clears throat> I also have it in eggplant. This is royal blue. Or excuse me, cobalt blue. Mm -hmm. This is red. There's your white. <clears throat> Chef, if you'll point out the green. Right here. And then very popular is the black. There we go. Look at that. A and classic. cinnamon is also very popular. Fantastic. This sale price will go away end of day today, as will the six easy payments of 1166. If we don't sell out of all these, it will stay on easy pay through the end of day tomorrow, but it'll be six payments or five payments of the higher price. There you go. Right now, you're going to get it at the lower price. Yes, you can do bacon in your air fryer. Absolutely. Yes, you're going to be able to do steaks and burgers and chicken and mozzarella sticks and your favorite fries, whatever you love. The air fryer is going to cook it fast, even, and with little or no oil. That's right. And the cheese melt is one of those things that's real important because when we're doing burgers like this, and you see right there, I've got those three lovely burgers in there, and I just want to melt that cheese to the perfect consistency. I'm going to put two slices of cheese on that one for you, David. And there Ooh, we go. Look you. at that. And then all we do is hit our power on the cheese button and then hit power on there. And in about three minutes time, it's going to be the perfect texture, perfect melted cheese. Wow, so incredible. Let's also remind you, six easy payments, free shipping and handling. Dan, how many gone now? 1,600 of these are now gone, and everybody is loving this idea of a larger air fryer, a 5.3 quart. 
This is one of the larger units we, we offer from Cook's Essentials. Absolutely. Essential, this is the largest in Cook's Essentials, that line of air fryers. Wow. And yeah, there's there's the, the smaller version, 3.4 quart. That's the one that I have. The presets are exactly the same. Ten presets that give you everything from potato chips and french fries all the way up to that quick five minute. You want to reheat that pizza that's left over, make it nice and crisp, hit the five minute button. And you're going to be able to do things in here that you probably didn't think were possible. Things like, oh, I don't know, delicious pot stickers. There we go. I made pot yesterday on the Today Show, I made my pot sticker soup. Oh, fantastic. Which was a lot of fun, and everybody seemed to enjoy there. So, this is something that would allow you to cook up your pot stickers, whether you're going to drop these in soup or you're going to make them for an appetizer, or for me, I'd make a dinner out of that. Absolutely. Look at that. And they're crispy and beautiful texture. They're just perfect each and every time. Because you have that concentrated heat, they cook so quickly. And this from frozen, so they're done in under 12 minutes. 2,000 of these are now gone. We're very, very busy. And remember, your sale price and this six bay will, and the uh, free shipping will all disappear at end of day today. So if there are any left, you can pay, you can buy, buy one tomorrow. You're going to pay more money. You're going to, your easy pay amount will be higher. That's right. And I don't know that we'll have free shipping. No. So this is your opportunity to get them now. Okay, we need to have a, a, a quick little uh, trip into this. Let's take a look at this uh -huh. guy. Yeah. So here I'm they help are. You with this if yes. I can, Chef. The, yep. These are potato tots wrapped in bacon, and they're as good as they sound. So All I'm right. going to just hold that. So you, okay. So there's. Oh, there we yeah, go. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I'm we're just going to hold avoid. the bottom. Oh, because you want to take the basket That's out, right? That's right. So go ahead and hit that button. Here we go. Forward. Hit the button down, and you're good to go, David. Just pull it right out there. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's hard to do this two-handed, isn't it? You there come it run is. it. I'll way. do it. Sorry about that. But the point being, look, we're capturing that fat right down there. Look at that bacon. Now grease. I poured some on the plate. Yeah, but so we'll no try worries. to avoid all there that. There you go. And we go in for a little taste test. Good, here. good work. But there. see, that's the good news about this. That basket will separate, so you're not having to worry about this sitting in the fat. The rendered fat from the bacon. That's right. And that basket and that drawer and the cake barrel pan are all dishwasher safe. So those will go in the dishwasher. I usually soak something like this with a little soapy water. I should probably have sink. another one to be yes, sure. Yes, you should. <laughs> they are perfect, though. Perfectly rendered bacon. And that's the wonderful thing. Bacon is perfect each and every time. It's crispy. It's the dark texture and color that we want. The fat is rendered off. We're not consuming that. It catches in the perforated tray that is just. Um, uh, the uh -huh. basket and then the tray underneath, uh -huh. and then we can pour the, we can pour that fat off. You're having a good time. I'm mm. glad for that. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so right. good. I have something over here which is a cheesy olive bread. I just want to bring this out for you because it can also do something like this, which is just unique. It's just wonderful to be able to do an appetizer like this. I'm going to pull that drawer out of there for a sec, but I just want you to see. Look at that crispy texture. You can hear it when I go ahead and cut into here. Space is a little tight there, but we're good. And then look at this right here. This is just brilliant. Oh, you can hear that crispy bread. Yummy. That is a, just a wonderful thing to present to the table. So you can do pizzas in here, yes? Yeah? Absolutely. Pizzas, strombolis, we can do calzones in here. Um, there are 30 recipes that you're getting with the recipe guide. You'll see it right there, including stromboli and meatballs and wings. Potato chips are also a wonderful thing because you can do portion control. Just do a few potato chips instead of strapping the bag on. <laughs> right? <laughs> 3,000 of these are gone now, and we've got it for you in the turquoise. Here's the eggplant. This one is cobalt. Then the red. In front of Chef is the white. Beside him is the green. Very popular is the black. And also very popular, the cinnamon. This is six easy payments of $11.66 and free shipping and handling. Don't miss out on this opportunity. We've now melted that cheese perfectly. They go right onto those bacon burgers. Look at that. Oh, my word. So perfect. And all this so delicious. Don't miss this opportunity because we're going to get you all squared away. But remember, the sale mm. price, the easy pay, and the free shipping all disappear end of day today. Now, if we have any of these left, we'll continue to offer it on easy pay because we're doing that through the end of the day tomorrow. Okay. But it'll be easy pay at a higher price. So all of your easy pays will also be higher. That's why you want to get it now at the lower price with the lower easy pay and the free shipping. <clears throat> Pardon me, Dan. And how many gone now? 
3,300 now spoken for. It's a lot of people who have been wanting to try this, and today is a great day to make that choice. Absolutely. So let's tell you how this works. Perfect. It's, it works with a coil and a fan. The air draws in from the top. The fan blows that air across that heated coil. That air is concentrated in the basket just below. It crisps from the outside, so frozen foods, fresh foods, things like French fries, and, and you can also do a ribeye with this. Because of that concentrated heat, it's, it's trapped in there, so it's also cutting down on your cook time. You'll see with the use and care that you're getting uh, cook times and also recommendations about when to stop the cooking process, shake the food like French fries halfway through, put it back in and continue on. The good thing about this air fryer is with those presets, it picks up exactly where you left off. So if I stop this right here by pulling the drawer out and taking a look at the wings, give them a shake, put them back in, it's going to pick up right where it left off. Oh, Chef, this is so perfect. Now 4,000 of these are gone. Oh, boy. We're very, very busy. Lots and lots of you are excited about this easy pay, and quite frankly, you should be, because this easy pay of 1166 will go away at end of day today. Now, I know I told you that easy pay continues through end of day tomorrow, but the sale price expires end of day today. And remember, easy pay is determined by the price. So if the lower price goes away at end of day today, then the lower priced easy pay also goes away. So if we have any left, it'll go back up to its normal price. The easy pay will go higher, and we won't be able to give you free shipping and handling tomorrow. But today, right now, you get six easy payments, the low sale price, and free shipping. And over 4,000 of you now have thought that that's a pretty good combination, and I would agree. If you've been thinking about air frying or you have a smaller unit and you want to step up to a bigger one for when friends and family come in, this is a perfect day to do that. Treat yourself to the bigger air fryer and let us handle the shipping and handling, give you the extra easy pay and the super low sale price. Let's look at colors one more time. This is your turquoise. So really, really beautifully done in a turquoise color. Here's eggplant. Don't forget cobalt blue, then red, our always favorite foodie color. Here's white if you're looking for kind of a one that blends nicely in most kitchen decors. Here's the green. Very popular is that black. And finally, the cinnamon. 4,500 are now gone. Thank you. Chef, lots Thank and lots so of much. people are air frying today. And this gives you an opportunity to do it at that lower price, the great easy pay, and the free shipping and handling. It is my understanding you'll be back with us later. Yes, sir. I have that eight piece cast iron set from Cook's Essentials. Absolutely gorgeous. Looking forward to that. Thank you so much. In the meantime, here's Stacy with a little sneak peek of today's special value, which is coming up in just a bit. Yeah, very popular. Already 5,000 of our KitchenAid five quart tilt head stand mixers have been spoken for, but we are doing something we've never done before here at QVC. We are offering, for the first time, an attachment included with the mixer as a today's special value. It's the meat grinder attachment, an offer that's only here at QVC. If sold separately, the stand mixer in those beautiful colors that you get to choose from and that attachment with our free shipping and handling, we're going to save you $164. Very good. That's quite, quite the Vanna White Price is Right. Look, David, he's so talented, that man. Um, there's a look at everything that you're going to get. Again, a $164 savings with our free shipping and handling today. You could be a hand model, David. Oh, yes, you could. Um, we'll have that coming up. Also, your your chance to maybe upgrade your bowl. We have beautiful patterns of these ceramic bowls. He is such... He's a hand. A hand. A, hand. a handful. Sure. He's a handful <laughs> is what David is. There you go, David. Yes, very nice. I've never wanted a tilt head stand mixer more than after seeing David's hands all around it. Um, okay, David's going to get ready for that. I'm going to quick take over. I'm here with Rick Roman nope. bringing a bestseller, but for the first time in colored stainless steel. We just had the air fryer and air fryer's best friend is yes. the Evo sprayer. Why? Because it keeps you in control of your oil so you can cut back on less calories or control the flavor of your food better. You've seen stainless steel before but not in this gorgeous ruby red color. We've got three other choices. It's the 16 ounce so it holds a lot and yep. it's brand spanking new today. Brand new and you know what with Evo it changes the way you use oil in the kitchen and it's all about our patented trigger head and it's this technology inside this head. We have a little animation to show you, but inside there's this pre-compression chamber, okay? So without any pumping, 
it preloads the oil. And then you just said, Stacy, when you pull the trigger, it's a measured quarter teaspoon. So you know exactly how much oil you're using so you can cut calories and also spread your food. But then you can spray it in two different ways, a wide horizontal fan spray for large areas and a little bit more narrow vertical spray for getting close in and being more precise. But I love showing right off the top here, kind of the example, most people when they're in the kitchen with oil, they pour it out of a bottle. So sure. I have eight teaspoons of oil here. So I have some cauliflower here. So when mm -hmm. I go to pour this out, notice how it comes out in a heavy stream. That's typically how it comes out of your bottle. And what's happening is you get a lot of oil in small areas. So I used eight teaspoons here, okay? You really got any on this piece right here. Yeah, so notice how only part of the cauliflower wow. is covered. So you wind up using tablespoons of oil to coat your food, excess calories, excess fat, and waste. Mm -hmm. With our patented trigger sprayer right next door, I'm going to take a fraction of that oil. Watch what happens. I'm going to use our sprayer, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one for good measure in the back. That's seven. That's one and three quarter teaspoons. Notice how it has a light, even coat over this entire plate. This is eight teaspoons. So this is less than a quarter of the amount of the oil. I have better coverage, better flavor, less mm -hmm. calories, and less fat. Every bite tastes Every the bite. same. Every bite. So it's not swimming. So important. That's it's and it really it's like no matter what you're doing with oil, this makes it easier, more efficient, and you use less. Already 200 have been oh, wow, spoken for. You. Let me show you the colors because again, you've seen the stainless steel before, and these are great because think about it. It's going to be grill season. That's right. How about for Father's Day? Get this gift early now, or anybody who loves to grill, have your stainless steel ready. You've seen this color, the original. Silver stainless steel, but you haven't seen the beautiful color choices here, like the red. Look at that's a ruby red, almost like Dorothy slippers. Gorgeous. Ooh. We know our foodies love red on In the Kitchen with David. So if this is the color you collect in your KitchenAid and all your appliances, grab this one now. It's going to be very popular. We also have it in this stunning blue color. And finally, this is called black, so slightly uh, grayish, not a deep dark black, but beautiful. And look at what's in front. This is genius because a lot of times people pick up more than one of these because we use different oils, but they have these little neck sleeves. So you always know what's inside. So it could say it could be canola oil, it could be vegetable oil, coconut oil, and you also get the funnel so you can easily pour from your bigger bottles of oils or vinegars or soy sauces into your Evo sprayer. 900 now spoken wow. for, very popular. This is on five easy payments of just five dollars. Now check this out. I'm going in with a little bit of balsamic and I'm getting really close to the plate. Now I can get a light coat. Now if I go in with my oil, I simply give it that light spray and I know I'm only using a quarter teaspoon at a time, but I get that perfect coverage every single time. If you want to do something like a, brusch a bruschetta and you want to mm -hmm. get really fancy, you get in there close and just give it nice light sprays like that and every bite gets just the right amount, just a light coating. Here I have a large piece of fish up in front here. Salmon? And again, or excuse me, salmon, mm -hmm. yeah. So when you're trying to coat things, instead of using excessive amounts, I can get nice, light, even coats by using just a teaspoon with four trigger pulls. I mean it really does make it easier. And now with grilling season, I love the fact that this is stainless steel. So you can go and you can coat things like your kebabs here before you go out on the grill. And the nice thing about the stainless steel is that it's a heavier weight, so it's going to be able to stand up to the heat if you leave mm -hmm. it next to the grill. And again, these colors, they look like beautiful brushed, like almost that soda can look. I love it. Yeah, first time we're doing the colors. Yeah. Okay, more than 1,400 oh, now wow. spoken for, 1,600 now spoken for. We're very busy, so please use your apps or go to QVC.com. That way you can jump ahead of the line and get your order in because many of you are picking up more than one. Very smart because we cook with different oils. We That's cook right. with different sauces and vinegars. You know, just think vinegar alone. I do one for balsamic, yeah. one for well, apple cider. That's a great idea. Yeah. I mean, I've so many different ones because I use you know a real high quality olive oil, lightweight oils for cooking, yep. chili oils. Here I'm going to show you again. If you have an air fryer, you would never be able to coat this with pouring oil out of a bottle. With our sprayers, now you can get that light misting spray. So with just a teaspoon of oil, I've coated all those fries. So no matter what you're doing in your air fryer, you get that minimal light coat. You get great flavor and you use less oil. Fantastic. Yeah. And the flavor of your food is better because when you over oil That's right. or soak something, you lose that flavor. And you don't want to do that on your Ristelli steaks. You no, don't want to no. Over oil or, 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 or sauce them with soy sauce, even delicate salads. You just want enough to taste That's with right. every bite, not, oh, this bite's missing. No, and look My at this. My dressing. This one's got too much. That's right. If you're counting, again, if you're somebody that's counting calories, I can add a quarter teaspoon at a time. This entire platter, I used one and a quarter teaspoon of oil and about three quarter of balsamic. 
But look at the coverage. You can see it's glistening from end to end, but such a minimal amount. You just said it here. If you're getting your steaks ready for the grill, I love to put a little bit of oil on my meats right before I grill them or sear them. I can just go in just like that. And again, that is only a quarter teaspoon, but notice how each piece of meat is completely covered. It's yeah. just a great Salt way. Yeah, season them up. You, yeah. And that's another great tip. If you're doing vegetables or things like that, after they've come off the grill or out of the oven, you give them a quick spritz with some great olive oil and then season them and mm -hmm. sticks to it. And I love you said soy sauce. I know you got to do colors, but let's just show you here real okay. quick. Soy sauce. Again, check this out. One, two, three, four, five. That is literally just over a teaspoon covering all those wontons. I, I love using this for my sushi because it's, I hate dunking sushi yeah. rolls because it overpowers it's, that beautiful, yeah. delicate fish and the vegetables and everything that's inside the roll. That's a great idea. More than 3,000 now Thank spoken you. for. We have free shipping and handling today and five easy payments. No better time to get on board and get this one, especially the stainless steel for grilling yeah. season. Let us know, do you want the original? Here's that beautiful red, your blue, and then we have that black, K48792. Again, picking up more than one. Very smart choice, especially because of our free shipping day Ooh, that's, here I forgot, at that's QBC. Right. Rick Roman, thank you so Stacey, much. You're going to be back with our bit, with helping the, with our water. With right? the Aqua True, yes. Can't okay. wait to show you. But now it is time for our today's special value. So you've been looking for the top of the line stand mixer from a brand that's been in business, well, I don't know, 100 years? And you also want some extra bells and whistles like maybe your own food grinding attachment so you can really make your fresh ham salads or grind your own meat for burgers or even make your own turkey burgers that are out of this world. We've got all that and so much more wrapped up in this fantastic value. First time ever with an attachment included. And we've got a pack up you'll only find right here. Today's special value starts right now. What we're talking about is the KitchenAid 5 quart 325 watt tilt head stand mixer comes along with this food grinding attachment that fits right into the power hub. We've never offered a today's special value stand mixer with an attachment packed in the box. This is extraordinary and this pack up the way we put it together is only available right here at QVC. And since we kicked this off and launched, over 5,000 have been ordered. But during In the Kitchen with David, just since we started an hour and six minutes ago, another 500 have been ordered just during the show, actually a little over 500. So you're looking at the food grinding attachment, the pouring shield, which almost is always a separate purchase. You're going to get your wire whip, your work beater, and you're also receiving your dough hook, and and you're also going to love that we've got all the different dies that go into your food grinding attachment. So whether you're doing large grinds or small grinds, they're all right here for you. Now, all this comes together at a tremendous value proposition. So let's take a look at that value story and remind you that if you went to retail right now to build this identical offer, the five quart tilt head stand mixer and that food grinder attachment, you'd be looking at over $418 and to be specific, $418.98. We're $144 less. But wait, isn't today all free shipping and handling? Yes, it is. So that means now you're looking at $164.72 less. And PSM, by the way, six easy payments on your credit card. Now, if you're wondering about colors, well, wonder no more because we've got it for you. What we've got for you is green apple. That's most limited. We have no advanced order on this. So I believe what we brought in for the day is all we have. And I've got fewer than 500 left in green apple. When those are gone, we'll take it off the table. And green apple is such a popular color. Please don't wait. Now, we don't do this color very often. And I know you're looking at this and you're going to call it pink, but we're going to call it guava glaze. I don't care what you call it, it's gorgeous. And if you want it, you want to, you want to be on the line for it because this is a color they don't do often. And I know a lot of you are pink lovers out there. This is called Guava Glaze. Beside that is a color that was just introduced last year, brand new last year, in fact, called Bird of Paradise. Really, really beautiful. And the first time we've ever offered this in a five quart, which is great. Then I've got it for you in Copper Pearl. Think about a beautiful copper penny and then pearlized. So, so lovely. Then beside that, I've got Toffee Delight. Now, first time ever in a five quart. This was also a customer choice. Winner, you all voted and told us that you love this color. 
and this one is gorgeous. I just wish it were real toffee because I could use a little bite of that right now. And then I've got it for you in Ocean Drive. Imagine being somewhere, I don't know, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, somewhere where the street that runs along the ocean is called Ocean Drive. Wouldn't that be lovely? All that gorgeous ocean blue water. Then I've got it in Ice Blue. From Ice Blue, we move into Cobalt Blue, deep and rich and inky Cobalt Blue. Then I've got Majestic Yellow. Here's your matte white. Then black, this is the color I have in my kitchen. Here it is in the uh, gloss cinnamon. Behind me is the red. And finally, we have it for you in contour silver. Now, we're offering the new updated 2019 version of the food grinding attachment. But I want you to look here real quickly before we go over and meet our guest. Look at this food grinder. Does that look old? Well, it should. You know when it was made? When KitchenAid began 100 years ago, this food grinder was manufactured in 1919. This piece is older than just about everybody watching today. There might be a couple people that are older than the food grinder. And it fits in this vintage machine that Tina Varelli brought in this year, uh, this year model was 1953. But even if you had, even if we went into the museum at KitchenAid and took the first mixer out of the vault and plugged this food grinder attachment into it, it would still work because that power hub has not changed in 100 years. Let's come over and meet Tina Varelli. She is our KitchenAid representative for three years now on QVC. Great to have you back with us, my friend. Thank nice to so see you much. as always. Mm -hmm. Adore you. This is so much fun because what we're talking about is the workhorse in the kitchen we are. with the first ever packed in Attachment. Yes, yeah, so now, exciting. Now, we've offered attachment deals before, but they were always something you had to mail in an offer I for. Know. We never put it in the box with the Today's Special That's Value. That's right. This is the first time you're getting it all in one delivery. That's right. So, I have so much to show you. We're going to kick it off with the dough hook and some yeast rolls, and then we're going to get right into that grinder. So, in here, I'm making some beautiful yeast doughs. This is what the finished product looks like just beautiful and fluffy and tender yeast rolls. And this is that dough hook. So it's a coated dough hook that is going to hand knead, do that kneading for you. You don't have to knead it yourself. And this is our most powerful, largest capacity yeah. tilt head stand mixer, that artisan that we just love. And look at that beautiful, beautiful texture that you get. That yeast is doing its job. The gluten from the flour is just developing and that is going to make for fabulous, fabulous yeast rolls. This is a coated attachment, which means that it sheds the dough more easily and then that can go in the dishwasher. And we love this tilt head style, David because you get that easy access to the bowl. It's just fabulous. It is unbelievable. And there's such great power with this machine. Mm -hmm. You're also going to love this stainless steel bowl with that very generous handle so it's easy to anchor onto That's the bottom right. of this mixer. Yeah. If you're looking for some additional bowls, we do have some coming up in the show. And they are made of this beautiful ceramic that has titanium in the, in the mixture. So you're going to really be excited about those coming up. We've got a choice of, I think, four different ones. That's right. Coming up. So we're going to talk about that. But one of the big lead stories of this today's special value is the food. Food grinding attachment. Yes. And a lot of I know a lot of you are looking at this and saying, well, David, that's a meat grinder. Well, yes, it is. Oop. But it can also grind other types of foods as well. It so it's does. important to remember that. That's right. Cauliflower rice, it's great for grinding nuts and dried fruits. You can make hummus. You can make falafel, chickpea burgers, all kinds of stuff, and it's so easy to use. Now here I'm grinding beef. So what you do is you go to the supermarket and you buy yourself a chuck roast or some short ribs or some bacon or whatever kind of meat that you want to grind and you cut it into strips about three, two and a half to three inches long. I chill them in the freezer 20 minutes before grinding. This is my meatball recipe and I love that along with the meat, I can add things like bread and Parmesan cheese and I can add and onions. and onions and some of my herbs. And then I just keep alternating. I'm using speed four and I'm just taking my time and adding piece by piece. And it really is so much easier than I thought. I made these meatballs for my family last week and they were just the freshest, tastiest meatballs. We truly loved them. 
And look at this. What you're able to do is just feed all that right into the tube. Now, what's in here? Now, what is the meat you started with? So we started with chuck. With chuck. Okay, so mm -hmm. you buy a big chuck um, roast, for example. That's exactly what I bought. Buy a chuck roast, cut it into little small, uh, little small strips, and then just feed it through. When you buy your your ground beef at the supermarket, what's in there? I don't know. Right. Looks red ish. And I'm like, all right, well, I guess that's fine. Um, you don't have any really good idea of what's in there unless you can read that microscopic print on the label that's that right. might tell you some other things that are in there. What what I can tell you for sure right now, the only thing that's in Tina's meatballs is ground chuck, toasted bread cubes, uh, onion, cheese, and some parsley. Right. End of story. And later she's going to probably add some egg in there to bind it, and then she's probably going to salt and pepper it, and then she's going to make delicious meatballs. Right, that's exactly what we're going to do now. Ooh, could I put a garlic clove in there? You could, except I think I already put it in. Would you like to add some breadcrumbs? I would love to. I'm going to show how. And these are toasted breadcrumbs, and that's probably better because they're going to extrude better, right? They do. So you do not have to press hard with the pusher. It's just more or less a guide, and it really does such a fabulous job. So let's stop here and just get every bit of that there. Let me clear the deck here. All right. And then we're going to take the bowl and we're going to come over here to this stand mixer and we're going to do exactly what you said. Now remember, tilt head makes it so easy to put the bowl on and off. This is a polished stainless steel bowl. It's nice and lightweight and you're getting that great comfort grip handle on the side. I'm using my flat beater. I'm going to add an egg. I'm going to add Worcestershire sauce. I'm going to add some dried Italian seasoning and about a quarter cup of buttermilk. Mm, I love. Mm -hmm. I feel like it tenderizes as it goes there. Also, it's a little tang, too. Oop, Did we lose power? We lost power on that one. Let's jump over to another one. That's the beauty of this. You can do that. Here, let's come down here. And as you do that, I will tell you now that in this show, we're looking at over 900 gone. And. Nearly 6,000 for the day now, which is great. Um, hopefully, our power pod didn't give up the ghost down here. <laughs> we'll see how we go. All right, so let me show you how easy here. So just twist and lock the bowl in. And the beaters are great. So it has a little keyhole shaped notch. This little notch here is going to fit over the pin here on this shaft. So just fit that on. There you go. Give it a twist. For me, it's a twist to the left, but I use the machine backwards. So at home, twist to the right. And then you're going to turn it on. I really like using a stand mixer for my meatballs and meatloaf. I do not feel like it over mixes. Because you have that super low stir speed, I feel like it mixes more quickly and more efficiently than it's not going to get over mixed. And just like that, it's done. A little tip, one, the, the bread is all ground in with the meat. So I mix it, give it a couple minutes for that buttermilk to seep into those bread bits, mix it again for a couple more turns. I can smell and it it's from perfect. here. Isn't that great? I can smell the garlic, I can smell the onion. And the herbs. That's so nice. It's just breaking it down into the simplest ingredients and really taking control of your food. It's so easy. And then you take some scoops in there if you got like a little a different size scoops in your yes. kitchen. And I know a lot of you uh, have been asking me, David, will you ever offer different size scoopers? Oh, good on idea. QVC? I have put together a set of scoops Yay. with our, and they're coming in, in, in a few months. Uh, but it's a set of scoops of different sizes. Great. And we're going to sell them as a set. Because I know a lot of people are looking for scoops for meatballs, cupcakes, yes. whatever. They so, are very handy. That works out really nicely. So here we're making some sugar cookies. It's all about springtime and spring celebrations coming up. And it's so much fun with graduations and showers and all kinds of parties at springtime. So we're mixing up a sugar cookie dough here that you can make these cute little cutout cookies for. And then I'm going to show you how to make the royal icing. Royal icing is made by whipping egg whites and it gives you a, a hard texture when it dries. So it's great for those kind of cookies that you want to package up and maybe use as a place setting around your holiday table in the spring. Now, I do want to remind you what you're getting in your pack up. 
And Tina, we're also going to take everyone through a color tour. Awesome. So we'll come back and join you here in a moment. But I wanted to let everyone know that this is the first time we've ever offered a KitchenAid stand mixer. Today's special value with the attachment in the box. In the past, you've had to fill out some kind of form. They would mail it in, and then weeks later, it would come in the mail uh, separately. We're not doing that this time. It's going to be in your box when you open up your brand new gorgeous mixer. So you're going to get your food grinding attachment. You're also going to get your wire whip. Here's your work beater and your dough hook. You'll get different dies that go into your food grinder. So you can do large grind and then also smaller grind. We're also going to show you how to disassemble this and clean it in a moment. Which will be really important. Now, do you want to remind you that KitchenAid is celebrating their 100th anniversary in business? This great company began in 1919. This food grinding attachment is from the archives, that's from the museum. This was made in the first year KitchenAid was in business. This food grinder that's attached to a vintage KitchenAid stand mixer was made in 1919. That's 100 years old. Isn't that crazy? All right, so let's take a look here at, at our colors and begin with green apple. Now that's most limited. I have only 450 to go around in green apple, so that means 50 since the last time we updated you on colors. Here it is in guava glaze. I know a lot of you love pink, and this is a color that, quite frankly, KitchenAid does not do often, and it's very difficult to find at traditional retail. This is called guava glaze. Then I've got it for you in a color that was just introduced last year in the KitchenAid line. It's called Bird of Paradise. Kind of a beautiful coral color, which is delightful. Then I've got it for you in Copper Pearl. From Copper Pearl, we go into that Toffee Delight. This was the one that you voted as your favorite color. We allowed you to choose which one that you would really love to have and see as the today's special value color, and you chose Toffee Delight. Here it is in Ocean Drive. Very, very pretty. Oh, reminds me of being at the beach. Then I've got Ice Blue. Here's your cobalt blue. This one is majestic yellow, matte white. Boogie on back to black. This is the one that I have in my kitchen. Here it is in gloss cinnamon. Red and most popular, no surprise, is contour silver. Contour silver is the color that sold out in our three and a half cup chopper earlier. It is also the color that many of you will want to buy if you have stainless steel appliances in your kitchen and you'd like this to coordinate. What does our value look like? Take a look at this value, a breakdown, and you'll see that if you went to KitchenAid to buy all these items separately, the KitchenAid five quart tilt headstand mixer and that food grinding attachment, you'd be paying a whopping four hundred eighteen dollars and ninety eight cents. We are one hundred forty four dollars less. And then add in the free shipping and handling, and this is no lightweight appliance to ship. No. This is free shipping and handling. You're looking at $164.72 less. Now, think about this. You go to a store because you had your eye on an item. You get to the store, and they say, okay, sir, we've got your item, and we're pretty excited to tell you that it's on sale. I might say to myself, great, 20 bucks, 25 on a good day. How about $164 <laughs> less? <laughs> what? Who does that except QVC? And that is $164 less delivered to your door. Yes. I don't have to then take this big giant box and mm -hmm. lug it to my car. No. Nope. Lug it into the house because our friendly delivery uh, men and women are going to bring it right to your front door and put it right there for you. All you do is just bring it in the house, take it out of the box, and start using it. Start loving it because folks have been loving their stand mixers for now 100 years. Years. You know what? Over the last few years, we've been we've been looking forward to this anniversary. We have. Because I always had to say, this company is almost 100 years almost. old. In a couple, two or three more years, they'll be 100 years old. This year, they are 100 years old. That's right. Let's take a look at a little factory footage because I think this will give you a little sense of what we're talking about in terms of the machine and what it's all about. Right. Look at those I old advertisements. Isn't that cool? I love this day because I got to visit in person. If you're ever in Ohio, it's southern, western Ohio, Greenville. That's exactly what you get to see in person. Hardworking people assembling those KitchenAid stand mixers. Now, we're going to go to the phone lines, and then after this phone call, I'd love to go to our feature tape. Great. Because I know a lot of you are probably wondering about all the bells and whistles of this, but let's first say hello to Stephanie in my home state of North Carolina. Nice. She's been waiting patiently. Hi, Steph. Good afternoon. Hello, David. I just love you. Oh, How are you? Thank you so much. <laughs> Please meet Tina from KitchenAid. Hello. Hi, Tina. I love to watch you too. You're Aww. so sweet and smart and the cheesy and the baking. Oh, my goodness. I love it. <laughs> Wonderful. So talk to us. Do you own a KitchenAid or are you buying one today? Well, funny story. My sister, who's 10 years older than me, she actually upgraded to 
a different KitchenAid mixer, um, more powerful, and gave me her her old one. And it sat on my counter, and I've used it, and I love it. But I wanted my very own. And so my husband said, you know what? Go ahead and order it. And so we put the names of the three different colors in a hat, and my little six-year-old girl pulled it out. And so I picked Ocean Drive. <laughs> oh, so you got, got the Ocean name. Drive. Oh, nice. Yes. Oh, I'm, very nice. Well, I'm it's so gorgeous. Thrilled. Oh, my goodness. I'm so thrilled. My kitchen's white. So, oh, you know. Oh, that is going to be beautiful. You know what that's oh, going to yeah. do, Stephanie? It's going to, it's going to stand out on your countertop. People are going to come oh. into the kitchen. And they're going to be like, where did you get that gorgeous color mixer? <laughs> And I'm going to say QVC where I get everything. Well, that's what we're hoping you'll say. But you know what? That's what's so extraordinary about this. And you know what? You're from you're from North Carolina. You might even be able to spin that as Carolina Blue. I don't know. It's close. I know it. I know it. I flew with the other name in the hat, so you know. Well, um, you're you're all you're all in the same neighborhood with those two colors. Absolutely. That's right. Absolutely. I, I teach school, so a lot of times we have potlucks, and you know, I have to bring things to work, and I'm, I'm always baking. Um, you know, I make my mama's pumpkin bread, and I, and I love to make meatballs. I'm so excited about the grinder yes. because, you know, um, my husband and I are trying to eat a little healthier. So just knowing what goes into your, your recipes is what's so important. I have two children, uh, a six-year-old and a four-year-old. My youngest, uh, he's a little boy, and he's autistic. And, you know, his diet is very, very um, slim. So we have to be very careful what we feed him. And so... I'm always home picking. That's just what we do. So. Well, good for you. <laughs> hey, Stephanie, real quickly, what part of North Carolina are you calling from? I live in uh, Yakin County, which is about 45 minutes north of Charlotte, Yep. 45 minutes um, east of Boone, and I'm in what they call the foothills. We're, we're in the wine country over here. Yes, so. you <laughs> are. I grew up, I, I was born and raised in Charlotte, so I know that area very well. <laughs> Um, oh, beautiful. I love my Carolinas. Uh, well, it's got the best of both worlds, mountains and the beach. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, Stephanie, <laughs> stay tuned. We're going to show you more of what's coming up in the show. We're going to see more of your Today's Special Value, and we'll show you more demonstrations with that food grinder, okay? All right. Thank you. Never change, David. You are amazing. We love oh, you. Oh, you're so sweet. I appreciate that so much. You tell everyone there in your area of North Carolina, David says, hey. I sure will. Have a blessed day. Thanks, sweetie, and you be well, okay? Thank okay. you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Be sweet. <laughs> So we've got lots of people jumping on the phone lines now. In fact, uh, since launch, we've taken orders for over 6,000. In this show, 1,200 now gone during In the Kitchen with David. Are you making um, cookie dough over here? It is. It's my grandmother's recipe, and I was just using that pour shield to funnel that flour in. And sugar cookie dough is one of those really tough doughs, like gingerbread. And it takes a while, when you're making cookies and cakes from scratch, to cream that butter and sugar. You really need to cream it longer than you think until it almost turns white and it gets so fluffy. Then you add your eggs and add your flour, and that pour shield is just such a help there. I used that flat beater, and just look at that luscious texture I was able to get. That is just cookie perfection. Well, you know what? I was just in the supermarket yesterday, and I came around the corner of one aisle into the next, and there was, uh, there was a lady in front of me, and she was, it was the baking aisle, mm -hmm. and she went to get a big bag of sugar. And when I tell you a big bag, <laughs> Girlfriend was picking up a 10 pound bag of sugar. Oh my goodness. And I stopped because it was about as big as she was. And she picked up this great big bag. I said, My word, that's a lot of sugar. She says, I'm doing some bacon too. Aww. And I wish I'd thought to say, Do you have a KitchenAid? Because if you don't, we have a great one tomorrow. Right. <laughs> Opportunities zoomed right by. But I was just so amazed because she was like, I, I love to bake. I'm going home to bake. That's right. And I thought, well, Wow, that's fantastic. And if you're thinking about doing lots of baking, maybe you're doing batches of cookies, you're doing cakes, you're doing things for the office potluck. Whatever the case may be, mm -hmm. this is going to work out so beautifully because it's a five quart stand mixer. It is. You got a lot of room in here to work with, but we do want to go through those features again because we talked about uh, giving you a, a quick kind of tour. So I'd love for you to narrate for us here, if you would. Okay, great. So you get that five quart stainless steel bowl with the handle, which we just love. I love how the bowl is lightweight. It can go in the refrigerator, freezer, and dishwasher. There's that power hub. Behind that power hub cover lies the magic where you can plug in over 10 different KitchenAid stand mixer attachments that are going to turn your KitchenAid stand mixer into a culinary center in your kitchen. There 
is our grinder. That is grinding actually salmon right there to make a beautiful salmon burger. You're going to get that one piece pour shield. That helps get the ingredients in the bowl and keep them in the bowl. And it's also going to go in the dishwasher 10 speeds, starting with that stir speed all the way up to speed 10. So great. And Oh, there we are with that beautiful grinder. We're going to show that again. Now, I know a lot of people are wondering how the grinder works, mm -hmm. probably, uh, and also wondering how to clean the grinder. Yes. So, we've got one disassembled here, and I'd love for you to give us a little, as we like to call it, Grinder 101. Grinder 101, I love it. So, while I have it disassembled here, let me talk about cleaning. So, the pieces that are entirely made out of plastic, they can go in the top rack of your dishwasher. I recommend cleaning any parts that have metal by hand. Okay. Okay, so to put it together, it's very easy. So so you have the housing here, and then this is the auger piece. You're going to place that in metal side down, and you want to twist until it pushes out a good half inch. So give it a twist, and do you see that square peg at the bottom? That should be pushed out a good half inch. So now you're going to take your little knife piece. It has a square hole, and you're just going to fit that over the square piece of the auger. Then you're going to choose whichever one of the grinding plates you're going to use. You have a coarse and a fine, and those little tabs fit on either side. Then you're going to take your ring, and you're just going to twist that on and hand tighten it. This is what you're going to use to help push the food. It also fits over top. You don't want to tighten it on with this. This is for sometimes it gets tight as you use it and grind with it. Mm -hmm. If it gets too tight for you to take off, you can take it off and use that wrench. It gives to you a little leverage. So it's not used to tighten, it's used to loosen. That's exactly. correct. So then you want to take that piece that you pushed out there, that little notch, and you're going to fit it into the peg. Sometimes you have to twist to get it into just the right position. You want it in nice and tight, and then you're going to twist that thumb screw on there, and now you're good to go. I like to use speed four for the grinder, and you have a nice little tray up here. So what I do is I have some cauliflower. We're going to make cauliflower rice, and kind of fill that up and then push them down in. So that auger is going to push the pieces up through that knife mechanism and then through the grinding plate. I'm using that coarse plate and I find this just makes such fluffy, fluffy cauliflower rice. It does such a great job. Now, when you make your cauliflower rice, do you do any, do you, do you blanch the cauliflower? Do you do anything before you make it? You can, no, this is raw. Raw. And then okay. you can do things afterwards with it. So you can use it raw in salads. You can cook it. You can make like a stir fry. You can make fried rice with it. I'm going to show you how to make a cauliflower pizza crust. Which with is the cauliflower really easy rice. too. I've got recipes that use the call for cauliflower rice in my new cookbook, and I know a lot of you. Uh, love being able to buy that in your supermarket, but you can also make it at home if you've got the right tool, and this is the right tool. Mm -hmm. And as we look inside the bowl here, I'm going to reach in here. I know this is a little moist. Here, you can so, use that. Oh, that'd be better. Mm -hmm. That'd be great. I don't want to put my hands in it because you'll use this look for your. Look at that texture. Look at the texture. Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. And this will cook up so beautifully. And if you're looking for a lower carb way to make uh, or to serve dishes with rice, the recipe in my cookbook uh, is a stir fry of her cauliflower. That's great. Do you see that fluffy texture? So I love how the food has to pass through that grinding plate. So it's going to be so even in texture. You're not going to end up with big chunks and little chunks. And David, the beauty of this is it comes out of here into the bowl. So if you were to use a food processor, you'd have to keep stopping and opening if you're grinding a large amount. This, you're only limited by the size of the bowl that you're grinding into. It's so it true. It's so handy. Let's remind you also that this is all included in your pack up. You are not going to be mailing anything in and then wait weeks and weeks for us to ship it to you. That's not the way this works. It's going to be packed in the box. Which is phenomenal. Now, wondering about your value story? Take a look here because if you went to KitchenAid to buy the uh, stand mixer and the food grinder attachment, you would need your big credit card with the big limit because it would be a total of $418.98. What we've got for you today is a price that is $144 less. And then, again, as I told you earlier in the show, shipping and handling is determined by two things size and weight. Yes. 
This is not a small appliance. It is not. It is not a lightweight appliance. So this ordinarily would cost you over $20 to ship. Today it costs you zero to ship. So when we add in that extra $20.72, you're now $164.72 less than retail delivered to your door. Wow. And we're putting it on six pay, which is our maximum easy pay. So don't miss out on this opportunity. I can tell you now that since launch, we've taken orders for 6,500 in this show alone, 1,500 are now gone. Lots and lots of you making your choice. And let's welcome Diane joining us in Arizona. Hi, Diane. Hi, David. How are you today? I'm um, fine, thank you. How are you? Doing great, Tina and I would love to know, what did you think of today's special value? Oh, I think it's a great value. That's what prompted me to order it. Plus, uh, my daughter owns one, and I've always wanted to get one. Excellent. What color out of the 14, I believe it was 14 colors, did we tempt you with? Mm -hmm. it, it was very hard, but I always wanted the ice blue, so I stuck to my guns, oh. and that's the color I got. Good for you. Oh. That is beautiful. It is lovely, and we'll shoot that one over on the far end there, guys, if we can see it. The ice blue is really gorgeous. It's the lighter color blue. Uh, beside Ocean yeah, Drive. Yeah, I love that one. And yeah. I just want to say I I love watching your show, and if you could give a shout-out to my mom, Stella. Aww. She loves oh, watching wow. you almost as much as I do. Well, is she watching now? She is watching right now. Hello, <laughs> Miss Stella. A big foodie salute from all of us at In the Kitchen with David. I'm glad that Stella and you, Diane, are both watching, and you're enjoying uh, all the goodies we have on the show for you. I am, and I'm so, I've always wanted to get through and talk to you, and I, I can't believe I finally did. Oh, my goodness, <laughs> Diane, we've been waiting on you. We just didn't know what took <laughs> um, so long. Well, I, I don't know. The darn phone calls, nobody would let me get through. Well, you know what? Today is a good day. So I'm thrilled to have a chance to meet you. And we're, and I'm teasing you. We're just, we're thrilled to have a chance to chat with you. So this, I am so glad to chat with you as well. This is going to be fantastic. So stay tuned because we've got a lot more coming up. And you know, Diane, if that, if you got a little, I don't know, a little scratch burning a hole in your pocketbook, today'd be a good day to use it because we're free shipping on everything today. Oh, it's going to be burning a major hole through my pa my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> well, you you stick around. We've got lots more coming your way. We're with you until 4 p.m. Eastern time today. Okay. I will I will stay tuned. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure talking to you. And Diane, you and Stella have a great great day. Oh. And when you see that sweet mama of yours again, you give her a big hug and kiss from David and all of us here at in the kitchen with David. Okay. I will. Thank you so much. Oh. Thanks, love. Bye. 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 I love it when the whole family gets involved. Now, this is a great example of a low carb pizza, isn't it? Right. So, we took that cauliflower rice, we cooked it, we squeezed it out, we mixed it with egg white, Italian seasoning, Parmesan cheese, and you can make your own cauliflower pizza crust with it. Fabulous. Now, I'm going to go do a quick color tour because okay. I know you and I have bowls to talk about. Yes. Very cool, awesome bowls coming up. Uh, thanks to our 100th anniversary of KitchenAid. So I want to give you a one final color tour in this presentation, reminding you that we have green apple. Now fewer than 400 in the green apple to go around. That means 100 were ordered in this presentation in just green apple. This color is called guava glaze. I know a lot of you love pink, and this is a dynamic color to choose for your kitchen. If you're a pink lover, we call it guava glaze. This is bird of paradise. It was brand new and introduced at the International Home and Houseware Show last March. So very exciting to see a newer color. This is Copper Pearl. Then I've got it in Toffee Delight. You voted here at QVC and QVC.com, and this was the color you chose as your customer favorite. Ocean Drive has been popular in this show. Our last color just picked up Ice Blue. Here it is in Cobalt Blue. I've also got Majestic Yellow. This is Matte White, not a glossy white. It's a matte finish white. Here's your Black. This one is glossy, like the one I have in my kitchen. Here's uh, gloss cinnamon. Here's the red. Back here's the red. And then most popular has been the contour silver. So we're super excited to bring this to you. Take a look at that value story again, reminding you at retail, this identical pack up with the food grinding attachment would be $418.98. We are $144 less. And then we, with the free shipping, were $164.72 less than retail delivered to your door. It's a nice deal. You know, as KitchenAid is celebrating their 100th anniversary, we thought it important to have some special bowls that would work with this mixer. But not just this mixer, this will, these will also work with other tilt headstand mixers you right. may own. So it'll fit on your four and a half quart 
tilt head stand mixers and your five quart tilt head stand mixers. We do want to be very clear uh, about what it will do and what it will not do. This will work on those two tilt head stand mixers. Mm -hmm. These bowls are not designed if you have the bowl lift model at home. That's correct. That is, this is not the bowl for you. We'll keep an eye out in the future for those for those folks. But this is for either the four and a half or the five quart tilt head stand mixer owners. That's correct. Now we're going to begin with the bowl that Tina holds in her hand. That's the one that you see priced on the screen, and that is the textured ceramic bowl. It's a five quart. But what's it made of? So this is so exciting. It is the second generation of bowls, and they have infused the ceramic material with titanium. Wow. And what that does is it makes it super strong and so lightweight, it's a joy to handle. Now, it is microwave, freezer, refrigerator, and oven safe up to 475 degrees. Oven safe? Yes, and that titanium makes it crack resistant, craze resistant, chip resistant, and stain resistant. And it's good looking too. It's beautiful. This is it. a raised pattern on here, white on white, and that is going to go with any of your stand mixer colors. Looks like a basket weave, doesn't it? It does. Now, I do want to let you know that this bowl is $89.99. It is free shipping and handling. You're right, it is lightweight. And you're also going to love five easy payments on your credit card. If you like these other bowls that we have in front of us, these are additional choices. And I believe, if, if I'm not mistaken, the price is the same? Um, right. Oh, it's actually a little less. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's it's actually uh, ten dollars less. It is. All right. So this first choice is called. That is called watercolor. Yes. Is that right? Ink watercolor. Oh, ink watercolor. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Then this bun is called tropical floral. I have fewer than four hundred in the tropical floral, and then finally I have this one. Stripes. And that's fewer than 150. Now, are these also the same size or are they a bit smaller? No, they are five quarters. They are okay. the same size. Excellent. Now, but the one that is uh, the companion purchase to our today's special value, this is just a little bit of a different treatment. Right. Which is why it's just $10 more right, expensive. Because it has a texture. Exactly. To it. It's like a woven basket weave mm -hmm. and it's just so gorgeous. I have to tell you, with this big handle, it's a David size bowl. Look at this. My great, my, my great big meat hooks, they fit in there just fine. And you got that great pouring spout. Mm -hmm. Oh, and, that, and then it fits on just like your metal bowls. It does. Let me show you how that works. Okay. So I took the black striped one, it was in the microwave, and we microwaved a chocolate mixture to make some brownies. Now that fits right on the plate there. It has some little flat pieces that fit right in with the notches, and then you just give that a twist. Put your beater on. Just like normal, and we're gonna add in our other brownie ingredients. So we're gonna add some sugar, some eggs, and some flour, and it's gonna work beautifully just like your other bowls. And it's just so beautiful. Look at that black and white stripe with the black mixer. I think it would be so fun on a yellow mixer as well. Oh my gosh, it'd be great. Or your contour silver, or how about on the red? There's so many great options. You know what? And I think about some of the other colors that we have here, like this with this floral. Oh, yes. What if I paired this with green apple? Oh, okay. Or just try to slip on the floor. Either way. Either way. Sorry about that. Now look how, how pretty oh, this is wow. with the green apple. Is that nice? So with the green apple, really beautiful. Or you could pick up these colors of blue in here. Let's make our way down to Ocean Drive. Oh, pretty. Very nice. Or the ice blue, I think would be pretty in there as well. Just really some nice coordinating so, colors, right? So pretty. David, this ink watercolor is the one I have at home, and I have a red mixer. And I thought about you because I know how you love the patriotic colors together. I do very much. So look at that beautiful, beautiful floral pattern, and that one I had in the refrigerator, so I could easily chill that bowl to whip up some whipped cream, and that works perfectly as well. Inside the tropical floral one, I have some dough that I have set to rise because these bowls are also oven safe up to 475 degrees. 
So I put this just in a very low warm oven, but if you wanted to bake a really big domed cake or something, you mm. certainly could do that. So they are just so fabulous. I'm so excited about these and I just love mine in my kitchen. It makes me smile. Well, we want to remind you again that the price you see on your screen is for the textured bowl. That's the one that's all white with that basket weave texturing on the outside. And then we've got our other three bowls, and they are ten dollars less. Now this is the ink, um, the ink watercolor. Yes. And then we have the tropical floral. Beautiful. And finally, we have it for you in that stripe pattern. But don't wait on that one. Fewer than a hundred oh left to go goodness. around in that one. And that would be really good looking, as Tina's done here with the black. That would also look great with the matte white. Oh, and that'd yes. be nice. So nice. Really, really beautiful. Now, we're going to take a quick break. We're coming back with a great deal from Lock and Lock. Ooh. If you love loaf pans, glass loaf pans with oh. Lock and Lock lids, set of two coming up next. And a whole lot more happening for you. So stick around. You're in the kitchen with David. We'll see Tina later. And we hope you'll stick around. We've got lots more coming on this free shipping and handling and five plus easy bay day. Stick around. Spread some positivity while being super comfy at the same time. This Peace Love World hoodie will be your favorite go-to this season. Snag yours starting Tuesday at midnight Eastern on QVC. Sunday night is your night for savings and a sneak peek of what's hot for the coming week. It's Q the Deals tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern on QVC. Listen, cooking can be fun and easy, and it certainly doesn't have to take a lot of time to get a good meal on the table especially when you've got the basics down. From the recipe to the table and all the prep work in between, it's Step-by-Step -step Cooking with Stacy Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern on QVC2. Create a relaxing and heartwarming environment in your home with the help of expert Valerie Parhill. It all starts Wednesday at 10 a.m. Eastern on QVC and Thursday and Friday on QVC and QVC2. Let us help you make everyday entertaining both delicious and easy with these food finds. Join us for three days of gourmet holiday starting Monday at 4 p.m. Eastern on QVC. Welcome back, everyone. I just checked in with Stacy, and apparently we have learned the name of the chef on Sesame Street. His name is Gonger. Gonger, he was the one, the, the shorter one beside me with the chef hat, and then Cookie Monster was there as well yesterday on the Today Show. If you'd like to see my segment on yesterday's Today Show where I did two of my cookbook recipes, you can check that out on my Facebook page. There is a post there that has a link to, uh, to the Today Show website, and you can watch the clip. And if you have not seen it yet, it was a lot of fun, and we did a happy dance at the end with the Sesame Street characters. It was a good time. <laughs> I need to, I need to my, make my way over to Sesame Street. Can you tell me how to get to Sesame Street? Because I'd like to visit. All right. Hey, let's say hello to Patty Kramer. Patty's one of our Lock and Lock friends. Nice, to, hear, nice David. to see you. This is an item you and I presented last week. It was super popular. Yes, it was. But you know what was not happening last week? Free shipping and handling. I know. How about that? No. We've got, it was either last week or the week before, I don't remember, but it was recently. This is an opportunity for you to get not one, but two, two. loaf pans. And listen to this, my friends. They're glass. They're glass on the bottom, they're lock and lock on the top, yes, and are. these lids are domed. And they're domed, and they're airtight, watertight, David. Exactly. <laughs> now, what we love about this set is that you're getting not one of these, but two. If you looked at that price and thought, well, if I were getting one for that price, that'd be pretty good. Yeah. I'd be pretty happy with that. If I saw that in the store, I'd be like, that's a great deal. But you know what? We don't do what other folks do, we do it better. And we do not one, but two of these. So now you've got two glass loaf pans. And two lock and lock lids in a rainbow of colors. But I do want to remind you by taking these lids off. Yes. And then just tapping these together, you'll hear even better. Listen. These are glass. And they're, uh, this is borosilica glass. It's borosilica glass, so it can go into the oven up to 500 degrees. And it can also go into underneath the broiler. It can go from the freezer to the oven, but you just preheat all at the same time. So yeah, so put it in a cold oven and let popping, it come to temperature. Yeah, mm -hmm. And then also it'll go in the microwave. And it'll go in the microwave. Now, anytime Lock and Lock does a Lock and Lock lid that yes. goes on glass, the silicone seal is wider. And the reason for that is the glass is wider. Mm -hmm. So, in order to maintain that airtight, watertight seal, yes. we've got to make that seal a little wider. And then you lock and lock. Yeah. I was teasing last week. I have a friend <laughs> who calls this click and click. Because when they hear it, they, uh, they said, well, it sounds like click and click. Yeah. Exactly. And she's and not. And you wrong. can really hear it lock on the glass. 
you totally can. Now, we've got a set of two of these, and we've got uh, all, the, all the colors. All the colors right down front. Down front. Perfect. All right. This one is the yellow. Beside yellow, yellow's limited. 200 left here. Here's jade green. Jade's also limited. 300 That's Mary's here. new color. Oh, is it? All right. Very good. Here it is in the clear. 300 clear. Got it for you in plumberry. Plum Fewer than 1,000. Red. 2,000. Blue. 1100 and finally the copper. 3000 copper. We've sold over 16,000 since we launched this. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, today would be a great day because it's the first day ever with free shipping and handling. It's also on five payments of $4 each. What? $4 each. And both these containers are glass with the lock and lock lids. So, Did you make a lemon pound cake? Yes, it's lemon pound cake. And we want to talk about it. Nice little helper handles on the glass. And we want to also talk about it you, with a glass with more silica glass. You can see it's the nice, even browning all the way around. And you don't have to worry. It's a nice, even release. So it's easy cleanup. You just go have to go ahead and st stick this on the top rack of the dishwasher. No worries. But I love about this, you're seeing it's a loaf, David, and you're getting two. But don't just think of it as a loaf. You can use this for prepping appetizers or dips and stuff like that for a family of uh, four people. So you see, I've got little Cornish game hens in here, right. which and you got two. And if you're going to do a chicken in here, the chicken could be about three three pounds. You've got lasagna right here. This lasagna is enough right here for about four people. Down front here, I've got a little um, uh, chicken chili dip. And you can just put this, go ahead and put this right here in the microwave to That's warm it great. back up, which we love about it. Perfect. And first time ever, we made jello, David. When I was a little kid, I loved to have jello, but my parents hardly ever made it. Yeah. And we put the little fruit on top. And it's lovely. So long. Can I tell you, we have now sold out of yellow. You, we've sold out of yellow. Yellow already. is gone. They're gonna right, love that so for the What I'm gonna table. do is, and I'm gonna just move this right up here for thank you, David. Thank you, dear. Appreciate that. We'll grab this yellow as well. Just if we take that. Oh, and clear just sold out. Clear sold out too. Clear is gone. Jade green is now very limited. What I want you to do, thank you, Justin. What I want you to remember is you're getting two of these. You're mm -hmm. getting two glass uh, glass loaf pans, and you're getting the two lids. For this one price of $19.98. But wait, the shipping and handling is free. Hello, free. Free shipping and handling. And you're getting five easy payments on your credit card. This is awesome. So don't miss out on this. Here's your Jade Green. It's now last call in Jade Green. There's Plumberry, 700 left. Here's Red, 1600 left. Blue, 700 left. And finally, the Copper. 2,500 left. We've now taken orders for well over 18,000 of these, and lots and lots of you are making your choice. Please don't miss out on this opportunity because I'll tell you, the shipping and handling all goes away at the end of the day. The free Thank shipping. Thank you, David. Yeah, of course, dear. And while you were going over the colors, I wanted to show you how nice this back bakes up. This is your favorite mac and cheese is we this made Carol's for mac you. And cheese? Yes, it's Carol's mac and one cheese. One of our food, one of our chef stylists. And I have the little bowl right here today. Mm. <laughs> Well, you know what? I'm going to uh, just hit uh, hit a little bit of this into the bowl so it can cool. Yes, exactly. Because I would not want to not taste it. It would just not be hospitable if I didn't at least taste it. And you can see how nicely it bubbles up. We love about this. And another thing, David, here is a little cherry tort that a we made. Chill dessert. Chill, chill dessert. So it's all all it is. We could just call it cherry. Chip. It's Fruit uh, cool up on the bottom, just cherries, uh, cherries again, and some little wafers in here. Would Simple, you do me a easy. favor, my dear? Sure. Would you hand me both jade green lids from underneath? You can leave the. the they're gone. They're gone. Jade green has sold out, and I'll take those from you. All right. And Thank blue you. is going to be next. I have 300 left in the blue. So uh, now there are four. <laughs> so here's plumberry, 500 left. Here's red, 1,000 red. Blue, I have 250. That's all huh. I have left in blue. And I've got only got about 2,000 left in the copper. I do want to remind you that these containers are glass. Let me take these lids off because I want you mm -hmm. to hear the glass. Okay, hold that I'll one hold them here. For Thank you. you. Here we go. It's borosilica bora glass. glass. That's lab glass, isn't yes, it? Yes, it's lab. It's the, it's the lab that they make the beakers out of. Mm -hmm. So everyone knows. And this can go into the um, oven up to 500 degrees. It can go underneath the broiler. And it's microwave safe, so you no worries about it. We just say, when you microwave, just turn over the lid. And again, with the lids, David, we want to talk about, like you saw me bring out the macaroni and cheese, don't put the lid on until it cools. And that's what we like you to do. Now, let's also remind you that this is free shipping and handling, but only until end of day. I love this bread that baked yes, up and over the, the top. This is the yeast bread that baked uh, from the Tina was doing, and actually it baked right over the top. And again, you don't have to worry. What we love about the glass, look at that. It's nice, even release, so no worries. And it's perfect. 
Would you hand me all the your blue lids? The gone. <laughs> blue lids are now gone, or blue choice is now gone. Just as I was trying to get a little bite of mac and cheese, fellas got to eat. <laughs> and we want to talk about it too. Here's a little shepherd's pie, David. So this is again, this, if you've got a church shoulder or something like that to go to, you can actually prepare this ahead of time, put the little lid on it and take it to go. Or if somebody's shut in, this is a perfect side. These are perfect side dishes for a family of um, four people. So what we love about this is nice portion control. You don't have to worry about it. And these came about from viewer request, David, because everyone loved our 9 by 13 glass. Right. And they're like, please, please make more glass dishes for us. And that's what we love. Mm. Please, please make more <laughs> mac and cheese, please. Mm. Wow. Really fantastic. Great things happening for you. How many are gone now, um, Dan? OK, 7,000 sets gone in this show. Here's all I have left. Oh, we sold out of these two colors? <laughs> Plumberry and red we were are gone. busy talking. <laughs> I was busy eating. Who are we kidding? Um, this is all that I have left, copper. I have 1,400 left in copper, and then it's over. Um, Miss Patty Kramer, thank you, darling. Thank Let me you, give you a David. squeeze. I think we're going to walk together next to each oh, other. Oh, wait, you're right. I'm not saying goodbye to you yet, am not I? Yet. <laughs> oh, wait, before we do that, though, and now am, I, am I asking Patty this question? Oh, no. Oh, Patty. Can okay. I get one of those 1 800 dials so that I can call Can you Chris? phone a friend? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so it, we're, I'm making my banana cream pie today. Mm -hmm. So, in what year is there the earliest mention of banana cream pie? Was it 1883, 1894, 1906, or 1911? The earliest mentioning of banana cream, 1883. cream pie. 1883. You know what? <laughs> I would have probably guessed that too. It's 1906. According to the SouthFloridaReporter.com, because you know they eat a lot of coconut cream pie down in South Florida. I know this to be true. Uh, the earliest mention of banana cream pie comes from the Blue Ribbon Cookbook of 1906. Oh, How about that? I should have called the friend today. Well, it's all great because <laughs> I'm here to help you out. I'm going to bring my uh, mac and cheese with me. Perfect. Since we're talking and I'm about, gonna... hey, we're now last call on the loaf pans because the uh, copper is just about gone. We're only going to spend about four minutes or so on this because we don't have a lot of these to go around. No. They are customer top rated. Mm -hmm. These are lock and lock branded flat top insulated cooler bags. Mm -hmm. Tell us about these. So, what it is, these are flat top cooler bag and they keep it hot, hot, cold, cold. And I purposely did this. I have this double stack and this holds up to 40 cans so you don't have to worry about it. And even though I have the 40 cans, David, you don't have to worry. It's nice, even zip. I've got the two little padded helper handles, I've got the added strap. And this is a nice heather material on here, so all you have to do is just wipe it clean. And the thing on this is it keeps it hot, hot, cold, cold, and you just have to pick your colors. We have a little rainbow of colors here, and I've got them from the front to the back. This one right here is plum. Okay. This is blue. I love this blue. It's yes. a heathered blue. It's a heather blue. And this red is kind of a brick red. Mm hmm Beautiful. Or a cinnamon red. Rather. Cinnamon red. And then this is teal. A, a teal color. Now, I know that looks more green right. than it does teal, it's but teal. we're calling it teal. And if you drop down in front of you, that one is the olive. Olive. So okay. I wanted to show you the difference between the teal and the olive. Perfect. And then in the middle. And then the middle is plum again. And then this is raspberry. You know what? I have to. I have to tell you, I'm a big fan of solids. Yeah. I tend to be more drawn to those than I do, you know, kind of big, big, uh, busy patterns. Yeah. And I love these because I think they're very gender friendly. Yeah. They're kid friendly. Mm -hmm. And when you and you unzipper this and you come inside and you've got all this oh. room for oh I don't know. And I want to show lock you. Loaf pans. It holds two loaf pans. Beautiful. And it stores down flat like this, David, so you can keep this in the car. And you've got the two little feet right here on the end, on the bottom here, so it actually sits on something. Yes. And it uh, and it that adjusts. adjusts. Mm -hmm. Now look at this. I'm a tall fella. It even fits over my shoulder. And all my heights in my torso, my inseam is really not all that tall. All my height is from, you know, from head to yeah. neck. I mean, from here to waist. So that, look at this. Now I can carry this very comfortably. And if ladies, if you need to cinch it up and make it shorter, yeah. you can do that. Mm -hmm. Let this be the bag you bring to the park, to the mm -hmm. pool this cool. summer. Yeah. Maybe you're, it's your time to bring the uh, water bottles or the fruit. And what we love about this is if you're, if you're at going to the clubs or you have to stop after work, and I'm just showing you meats because they're more expensive, but you can put a gallon of milk in here. You can get your last little uh, uh, milk, juice, bread, and you don't have to worry when you go home. And you can see it's hot, hot, cold, cold. And I had a lot of uh, meat in here that I took out. The big box stores. All right. So as we wrap this up, I'm going to remind you we are five easy payments and free shipping and handling. 
I love this because there's so many ways you're going to be able to use it. Miss Patty, I want you to take a look at the screen. We've sold out sold of all out. your loaf Thank pans. Thank you, everybody. All your loaf dishes are gone. <laughs> Uh, that one has sold out. Stay tuned. We've got a lot more happening. Stacy's going to join us here momentarily to give us a quick sneak peek at something Jimmy the Baker's bringing up. Oh, look how good this is. You know and love Jimmy the Baker's original cinnamon bread loaf. Well, guess what? He's bringing a new flavor along with it today the chocolate. Yeah, you've never seen this before. It is awesome. And just like his cinnamon loaf, this one's dipped in butter. It is luscious. It's such a treat, and we have it at a one day only price. Five easy payments, $6.99. You get four pounds, a four pound bread loaf of either cinnamon, chocolate, or you know what? We could even do a combo for you. Yeah, it's coming up soon. New today. Can't wait. Speaking of new today, if you were to go and buy some water from the store and it says, Natural spring water or filtered water. You really know what's in that water? You have any real good idea? And if you went to draw a glass of water from your tap, any good idea what's in there? Why don't we just take out all the yucky out of the water and make sure you're serving your family and cooking for your family with beautiful, clean, pure water? Rick Roman is here with a brand Hello. new product called Aqua True. Yes, David, nice great to, to have here. you here, buddy. Nice to see you. This is yeah. the Aqua True Ultra. Reverse osmosis countertop water purifier. Now, this is brand spanking new today, and I know you're looking at this price and you're saying, guys, come on. Yeah. A water filter for $289, but what you need to understand, there's a lot of stuff in your water that you don't know about. And if you have this, it takes most of those things out. Yeah, up to 74 contaminants. And here's the thing, David. The largest multi-million dollar companies that are purifying and selling that purified water to you, they use the same technology, reverse osmosis. And until I met the AquaTrue team, I didn't even think it was possible to get a countertop plug-in reverse osmosis filtration system. And now you can. And I don't know of any others out there, David. And I'm going to tell you, I want to take you in here because this is a four-stage filtration system. The first two are on this yellow filter. And it's going to go through each one of these stages. And like I said, it's certified by NSF to remove over to 74 contaminants, including lead, chlorine. But here's the thing, David. We talk about things that we don't know that's in the water, right? So here's what we did. We wanted to show you and kind of simulate. So what I did here is we basically made this look really yucky with some food coloring, okay? okay. As soon as I turn the switch on, for the Aqua True, what it's doing is it's out with high pressure forcing that water through that four stage system I showed you. And right here in the clean water tank, you see crystal clear, delicious drinking water. 99% of lead is removed, 97% of the chlorine that gives you that off putting taste, 97% of chromium six, things you do not want to drink. And here's a list of just a few of them, but 74 other contam total contaminants that have been certified it's common pesticides. So you know you have peace of mind that those things aren't in your water. This removes 99% of lead from 99% of lead. So think about that. I wow. know, you know, listen, we, everybody's following things in the news and we water is, you know, let's face it. We want to know what we're drinking and have peace of mind for our family, our pets, our loved ones, right? You know what? If you're just tuning in, it's exactly 2 o'clock East Coast time. We are yeah. exactly two hours into our show today. And lots and lots of you are, are uh, wondering, hey, what's happening on QVC today? We're talking about everything on free shipping until end of day today, Rick, including this. I mean, look at this, David. So you saw the dirty water that I simulated. Look at this crystal clean glass. Now, this was out of the tap behind us. And I think you may have tasted tap water here at QVC. And you... Oh, I've tasted it once. Yeah. And then put it down. I want you to taste that and tell me what you so think. So this of that. was tap water that you added food coloring yeah, to. So you could, you know, so the things you don't see in the water. And then it went through your four stage four filter stages, process. Correct. Okay, tell me what you think of that. Do you taste any of that chlorine or? If I did, I wouldn't have finished exactly. it. Exactly. <laughs> that is amazing. And if you ask anybody in here, these coffee cups that you see me drinking out of on the show, they're loaded with water. Yeah. I drink, I drink probably six of those cups during a show. And everybody calls me the camel because yeah. I drink so, so much water. And I love it. I drink a lot of it every day. I think a lot of you do as well. That's amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. And you, you just said before, we were talking about those bottled water companies. Think about this. First of all, how much do you spend on bottled water? A okay? lot. Next, it's sitting in plastic bottles and warehouses, so who knows how long, maybe in the heat. Well, people always ask me, how much water can I filter with this system? This system, before you have to replace any filter, will filter out the equivalent of 4,500 water bottles. Now, we have a little graphic to show you, but just imagine all those bottles of water that you're buying and spending money on, filling the landfill with plastic. 
This will allow you to do 4,500 bottles worth. So for the average family, that's going to be a year. I mean, think about so that. So wait a minute. You're telling me that if I use this yes. until the filter needs replacing, which is one year. Yep. And I just run water from my tap. Correct. This. You put your tap water. Yep. I'm replacing 4,500 16.2 ounce 16 bottles of water. 16.9, yep. 4,500. I want to ask you a question. How much difference would it make in your monthly family budget or your yearly budget if you could take 4,500 water bottles out or off your grocery list? And what would also happen if you weren't lugging all that water into the house? Oh, my God. It's and every time you wanted clean, pure, fresh water, you'd fill this from the tap, run it through the filter, you'd cook with it, you would, you'd serve it to your family, you would drink it whenever you wanted to drink water, and take a look at some of the most common contaminants yeah. it removes. And then we'll go through this little animation. Yeah, so 99% of lead, such an important thing, you don't want that in your water. Chlorine, it gives you that off-putting taste, almost 97%. Radium, chromium, commonly used pesticides. In fact, the full list of the 74 certified by NSF, that's very important, certified by NSF, it will remove from your water. And you can see that full list at And NSF is National Sanitation Correct. Foundation. Take a look at how this works. Here's yep. some animation that will show you what's happening through that four-stage filter process. And Dave, you said it. You simply start by putting your tap water in the tank and the inside aqua true it's powered by our patent pending four stage true pure technology now stage one first is going to remove the large loose particles in the water okay things like loose sand maybe you know a little sediment then stage two is an activated carbon filter it's going to remove things like chlorine then we come to that reverse osmosis filter dave that's a high pressure pump forcing the water through that filter filtering out inorganic chemicals things like lead that you do not want and then that last filter is a solid coconut carbon block that's going to take out organic compounds and really just finishes the water so at the very end you're left with delicious clean water like you just took a complete um, glass of do you, are you thirsty you I want a little bit more a little refill <laughs> and we just press the button in press the, the button okay okay now here's the great thing about it okay that water tank in the front i'm going to show you after you take your glass okay this tank actually can come right off the system just like this and you can take this over to the refrigerator and put it on your refrigerator shelf. What? I was that, but the only thing I was I was worried about was what if I wanted cold water all the time exactly. and I'd have to put ice in there and my ice hasn't been filtered unless that's I ran it. it through here right um, that's amazing. Now I can take this off when it's full and park it in the fridge in the and have cold water. And again, think about it. You saw the tank. We, we kind of mu we mucked so that water good. up. <laughs> I mean, that's the way water is supposed to taste. And I, I said it before. These are the multi-million-dollar companies using reverse osmosis. The fact that you can plug this in on your countertop, I was blown away when I that's saw. That's glass number two. Glass number two. So, I've been drinking this now, murky water. It's not murky anymore because it's gone through this four-stage filter process. Over a hundred of these are gone. We did not bring a lot of these in. Clearly, this is an item that is brand new, and a lot of you are wondering about it, wanting to learn about it. This is extraordinary. The water that you consume every day, and we are mostly water. Our yes, bodies are correct. mostly water, right? Is important, and the quality of the water you put in your body yep. is so important. That's right. And you know what? You would never cook eggs in a dirty skillet. That's right. And if you knew your air was all dirty, you wouldn't, you wouldn't voluntarily breathe it. No. Why are you drinking water that's not clean? Exactly. And listen, I use it for coffee, my kids' water bottles, my, my smoothies. I use it for my pet's water. I mean, I use water all day, every day. Mm. It's essential. Now, I want to show you something because we always talk about you can't see those things in the water. So I have a special tool here. It's called a TDS meter. What does that mean? Total dissolved solids. It's going to show you dissolve solids in the water that you can't see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the back tank, which is the tap water here. All right. I want to show you something. So I'm going to get a little sample here. Now, I want you to take a look at the number here. 329, 335 and climbing parts per million of dissolved solids, which I don't know what it is, David. Right. Okay. What I'm going to do now in front, I'm going to take a glass of the filtered water and I want to show you something. Okay. We're going to take the same test. I'm going to go side by side. Watch this, David. With an identical filter. Identical filter. Now, watch or this. Or reader, rather. It's all the way down to 43. Now, what does that mean? Calcium, magnesium, minerals that you actually want. What would you rather drink? Something that has 353 parts per million that you don't know what it is, or something that has only 40, which is mostly the minerals that you actually want to keep. Now, you're there. looking at those two numbers and saying, well, why is this higher? This is actually 42.3. And this number is 355. 
So I understand there's no decimal point over here. No, that's just the temperature on the bottom, by the way. Just if you want to. No, but I'm looking at 356. Yeah, right there. 356. Yeah, there's no decimal point. Up top here, there's only 43.3.2% solids. So you're, that's what you're getting out of the water. We said it before lead, chlorine, chromium, radium, pesticides. I mean, these are all the things you and I, we know we don't want our family to drink, we don't want to drink. And at the end of the day, we want delicious, clean water. Having a countertop reverse osmosis. Plumbers, I mean, you have to usually hire plumbers to spend thousands of dollars to install these in houses. Now mm. you can just plug it in on the countertop. Over 200 of these are gone oh, now. Wow. Six easy payments and free shipping and handling. Don't miss out on this opportunity. And remember, the, the uh, container of clean water does remove, and you can park That's it in right. the fridge and keep it nice and cold and then pop it right back onto the machine to dispense that beautiful, beautiful water. Remember, six easy payments will go away end of day, as will the free shipping and handling. Get yours now while the getting is good. Mr. Roman, always a pleasure. Hey, pleasure sir. B. Good Thank you. you. Bye-bye. All right. As I told you earlier in the show, this is quite possibly one of the best desserts I've ever made on this show. Jimmy the Baker, do I have your attention? Yeah, I thought you might. Um, this is my peanut butter chocolate banana cream pie. Now, we made the crust. You know those uh, peanut butter sandwich cookies that kind of resemble a peanut on the outside? We crushed all those up, added some butter, and we mash that into the pie plate to make a crust. Then I made a chocolate peanut butter ganache, poured that into the pie crust. Then we're adding sliced bananas that have been drizzled with a little lemon juice so they don't turn brown. Little, little trick of the trade there. And then in our KitchenAid stand mixer, we made some delightful, we have no um, power. Was that by design, guys? Oh, I'm just folding in, aren't I? Okay, let me take this off. We made instant banana cream pudding. Then I'm folding in a little bit of this whipped topping into that. Okay, so fold that into the pudding mixture. That's your supermarket shortcut. This is just a boxed pudding mix that we made. And then we're going to put this mixture on top of said bananas. So we started with a peanut butter crust. Then we made a chocolate peanut butter ganache. Now we're adding banana cream pudding and whipped topping on top. Then we're going to add more whipped topping and drizzle it with chocolate sauce. I'm not kidding. This pie is as good as you think it is. Oh my word. Jimmy the Baker's over there, his mouth's hanging open. Now what we're gonna do after we do this is we'll top it with the whipped topping, more whipped topping, and we'll drizzle it with the chocolate sauce. This is quite honestly one of the best desserts we've ever made on this show. If you would like to read ahead, you can check it out on QVC.com by searching David's Recipes and look under Shortcut Baking because we've got a whole listing of this month's recipes and they're right at the top of the list. This is delightful. I should probably try this just to make sure it's okay. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's safe to eat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jimmy the Baker, how'd that look? Now, how do I follow up after that? Somehow, I think how do this I is do that? this is going to compete quite nicely. Mm, I don't know why I walked the whole good. way around there. Jimmy the Baker, welcome back. Good to see you. Nice to see you, pal. Jimmy the Baker is a scratch baker by trade, and he has been in this business for thirty years. Thirty years. That means he started at the tender age of two at his father's knee. Okay, Not how about that? that All right, fantastic. What we're talking about is a one-day only priced item. What does that mean? That means it's only available at this price until end of day today. Or until the item sells out, whichever happens first. Now, today is a good day to have a one day only value because everything's on free shipping. I'm right. You're also going to love that we've got five pay or better on every item today. Man. So you're looking at uh, the four pound chocolate bread loaves. And you're going to love these because they're one pound loaves, right? Correct. So you're getting four cinnamon. For chocolate, or if you can't make up your mind, and why should you have to? Combo. Go with the combo, because then you get two of the chocolate, two of the cinnamon. This is a scratch yeast dough. Is it ever? That has been layered with delicious cinnamon filling, or with delicious chocolate filling, and then the entire cake, Jimmy the Baker. What happens to it after you bake it? We're going to show you. We're going to take this whole loaf, this whole what we call Russian braid. We're going to submerge it in butter. Should we do that right now? I think we should. Why don't we just Because, get... I mean, why bury the lead? Why don't you uh, munch on that? That's the cinnamon bread that's been... Well, I'm going to let this... Uh, this is just fresh out of the microwave, so we're going to let that right. cool for just a right. hot second. So, the way we do this okay, at chop level... This is a bowl of melted, golden sunshine. Melted, melted butter. 
Okay, melted butter. So he bakes these up, either chocolate or cinnamon. Right. And then you take that entire cake and you do what with it? And the most important thing we do after braiding it, so you get these nice striped chocolate uh, layers of chocolate or cinnamon, is then we then dip it in butter. <laughs> Now, why do I do that, you might ask, okay? Because as I was formulating this bread, it was loaded with butter in the bread, but because butter in baking, and I know you're not gonna believe this, butter is not necessarily your friend. It tends to dry things out, so I cut the butter with a little bit of shortening, but my conscience was bothering me that I'm cutting out the butter flavor. But what if I, first I brush it with a pastry brush, that wasn't good enough, then I dunked it. Now then, the next step is to come on over here, we got to make sure something's sealing that butter in, and we're going to roll it. And I'm telling you, every bread that comes out of the oven is each of our, let's call it, finishing artists on our line do this. And some of these people love to just do this because it really adds a dimension to this bread. Now, there's a way to eat this. You can eat the, you can certainly slice it and eat it ambient, no problem. But because I'm melting the butter right in. Mm. It then becomes part of the bread. I want you to heat it in the microwave about 10 or 15 seconds. So make That's a slice, it. heat it up in the microwave. This was a, this one's been dunked in butter and rolled in cinnamon sugar. And that is going to bring out the butter notes mm. in the bread. Mm -hmm. So I've got the nice structure of the <laughs> I've got the nice structure on the inside of the bread. You don't like it. If you don't I'm not like gonna need it, you to hold this. If you don't like it, just say so. Okay. I'm gonna need you to back up a little <laughs> bit because it's time for the happy dance. There it is. That's the cinnamon chocolate loaf happy dance from Jimmy the Baker. And David, I don't think you were paying attention, so I'm gonna do it one more time. Okay. You know so what? I wish you would. Okay, so we're gonna take the bread. Now this bread came out of the oven, it cooled, so my staff is gonna take each bread one by one and they're gonna roll it in milk. Holy macaroni! And then, and then process. Remember, I'm a process guy. I want them to let the bread sit just for about a minute. I literally slow. We're going to talk about the slow pace of making this bread in a moment, but I literally slow them down. I don't want it too fast. I want the bread to. to I want the butter to melt into the bread. Right. Then it's time to roll. After the after we've let the bread sit for a minute with the melted butter on it, then it's time to roll. And <laughs> You will find that our cake, our cake, our bread artists do a magnificent job of getting this bread completely. Can I tell you now? We have now taken orders for well over 800 of these are gone. You're choosing four cinnamon, four chocolate, or a combo. I'm going to have another bite here because I think it's worthy of another bite. All right, this is the cinnamon dunked in butter and rolled in cinnamon sugar. Uh huh. So next. Oh, wait, Jimmy, back. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Just a second. I don't mean to interrupt. This is worthy of a second. Happy dance! Two. There it is. Two. That's two of them. <laughs> Woo! All right, now I'm chasing the cinnamon. We need to go after chocolate. Okay, chocolate. Let's mm. get that. I want to nuke that. I want to nuke that real quick. Okay. <laughs> now the chocolate. Bit. The chocolate is, by the way, the same chocolate I use in my chocolate, the mini chocolate babkas that we sold last year. It's that same dense dark chocolate. Again, not too much in the microwave. Now you're going to get a little bit of, you know. The chocolate combined with the cinnamon sugar kind of reminds me of rugula in a way. Ooh. And by the way, there's other flavors coming. I gotta tell mm. you. So, but what I'm. I mean, the baker, wait. Wait, this is chocolate. It is. It what? is. It is. What? By the way, unsweetened chocolate goes into that base because I was not satisfied with the semi sweet chocolate or the regular chocolate. Chocolate's very hard to impart flavor wise, okay? <laughs> so. So this is crazy. So uh, you gotta you gotta taste chocolate. I have to tell you, I was I was really struggling with the chocolate, but when I sliced open these loaves, I'm not struggling. I could smell, <laughs> I could smell the chocolate. So I have to pay I have to pay some respects to the process here. Again, this dough is made on day one. And if I had the space, I would age this dough two full days, but we don't because we don't have the space, and we're gonna talk about that. There's been an overwhelming response for this bread. So you notice there are two ship dates, and there's a reason for that. Yeah, we're shipping either now or uh, uh, February 24th. I can't speed up the process. I can't make these breads fast enough. So I have to say that since the cinnamon roll, there's not been an item that I've been that I've been baking that you all have really enjoyed okay. as much as this bread. Okay. So, so um, let ahead. me just let me just jump in here real quickly, Jimmy. This is a one day only priced item. Price only good until end of day or until it sells out. Okay. This is going very quickly. 
1,500 sets are gone. What you should also know is that we have four cinnamon, four mm. chocolate, or a combo where you get two and two. You should also know that this is free shipping and handling. It's on five easy payments on your credit card. We even have an auto delivery shipping. Well, we're shipping now or 224. If you go with auto delivery, it's every 90 days for one year. <laughs> I have now tasted the cinnamon. I have now tasted the chocolate. I would like to invite a camera over so we can have a little face-to-face -face chat. <laughs> You pick the camera. Which one would you like? This one. <laughs> Buy this bread. <laughs> Get it now. <laughs> Don't wait. It's that good. Okay, fantastic. I, I'm, I jumped right in I, there for the extreme close-up. I didn't know how I was going to follow up the banana, the banana cream. <laughs> I was really worried. 2,000 of these are gone now. They are every bit as good as they look. Oh my word, the cinnamon is amazing. The chocolate's out of this world. If you can't decide, go with the combo. Get two and two. If you love all chocolate, great. Jimmy the Baker, these are shipped fresh. You bake them, you ship them room temperature. And when we get them home, freeze them. Freeze them. them right in the freezer. Okay, they so freeze are they individually so pa uh, packaged? They, injured, they come to you in the foil, shipped in the foils, over wrapped. Yeah. And you could you could keep them in the foil, keep them in the over wrap. Put them in the in the freezer. Take them out. They will last for days at room temperature. Stacy Lou, come over here, darling. This is a very rich dough. It's as as compared to the cinnamon roll. It's got more margarine and butter in it. It's got some shortening in it to give it really good shelf life. But the age of that dough. Go ahead. Can you cut a little cinnamon and a little chocolate and put it on a single plate? We'll microwave at the same time. Yes. Because <laughs> I want Stacy to be able to taste both of them. Okay. Because this is crazy delicious. Stacy, have you had these before? You, you are. You are. You're like making me so happy right now. Letting me try this. Gotta take care of like, my girl. Honestly, our mouths, everybody in the chat as we're watching this, we're, we literally start salivating. I mean, wait, until, have you ever tried this bread before? Um, yes, the I have. Cinnamon. Yeah, the, just the cinnamon though. Not, Not the this, chocolate. Well, no, it's brand new, so. Yeah, the chocolate is crazy delicious. Mm. And the chocolate ones dipped in butter, just like the cinnamon, same. right? Just like the same, and then rolled in cinnamon sugar. But it's here's the, the thing: okay. you only microwave these what for about five, ten seconds? I did ten seconds. Oh, real still, you got some cake on your face. I did. Right? Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. I thought that maybe that was a snack for the drive home. Okay. Um, all right. So okay. just get yeah, in there right. and grab some. Just pinch it off. I'll okay. hold this. Mm. I think Guys, the chocolate is so good. Oh, the it's so. Is crazy. Oh, the center is so soft. Can you smell it? Mm. Can you smell it? Oh my God. Wait till. Mm. I mean, That's hold on really to yourself. Really good. Hold on to yourself. Right? And I know what a chocolate lover you are. Mm. And this is semi sweet chocolate, did you say? No. It is really dense, um, non sweetened chocolate. Non sweetened chocolate because it's, it's I a sweet punch, bread. I want to give you a I punch mean, of chocolate. And the I know you're having a moment. This is unbelievable. I didn't think a cinnamon loaf, your cinnamon loaf could get better. It definitely is with the chocolate. Thank it you. is. It's, it's, and I'm a big dark chocolate lover. And that's exactly what this is. Oh, cinnamon, it's so good. Cinnamon shipping now is gone. Okay, we still have cinnamon shipping on the 24th. 4,000 sets are gone. You may choose four cinnamon, mm. four chocolate, or a combo where you get two and two. These are shipped fresh, Stacy. Oh my gosh. So, you so know when what? you get them home, if you don't eat them all right away, you can I put should... them in the freezer. How long are they good in the freezer, Jimmy? Months, three or four months, easy. And by the way, we talk about French toast. I don't remember if we talked about French oh toast. God. These make Honestly, excellent right? French toast, and I can you. see Betty is saying she makes some great French toast. Okay. okay. I could cry. It's so good. You know what? It's what? okay. If you want to shed a tear, we'll get you a tissue. So not only you microwave them, but slice them for French toast and enjoy, because I know you don't like maple syrup, David. So, I love maple syrup. So, so it's just like you would French toast, some butter in a pan, slice it, get the pan nice and toasty warm, Yeah. and um, have your way with some maple syrup, the bread... The bread toasts really nicely. It gets crispy on the outside. It's still fluffy on the inside. Make a nice thick slice. I think that you'll see that you'll you'll enjoy this. Still available in raisin too, of course. Okay. But today is cinnamon and chocolate. Now, toast the chocolate by all means. I forgot to say that. Toast the chocolate. Toast the chocolate. Like I just warmed chocolate. some up in the microwave. Okay, okay, so here's the story, Glories. If you want to ship now, I have 400 left in chocolate. And 100 in the combo. If you want it for uh, 224, 500 chocolate, 300 cinnamon, 700 in the combo. I won't rush it. Now, auto delivery is more popular because we'll keep it coming, I believe it's every 90 days for a year. Is that right? Yes. And that means you lock in this one day only price. This is the chocolate fresh warm out of the microwave. All right, let me. I, uh -huh. 
I bake this stuff all day long. I don't smell it like I smell it now. I can smell that chocolate from here. That is pretty. That is <laughs> two happy dances. I'm telling my mom. Give me the baker. So happy. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, David. Thank that is you. Crazy. <laughs> Thank you. I could stand here all afternoon and eat these cakes with you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good man. Thank you so much. Just dance right out of here. Thank you. All right. Um, let me borrow your your uh, Be my your, guess. your um your napkin here. Um, how many of these are gone now? <sighs> Too many for me to make, I think. <laughs> well over five thousand are gone. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> make some more. Thank you. Thank hey. you. Thank you. Rick Roman is about to dive into this table. Rick, come out here. Come on. Oh, come, come on. Come on. Get you some. And I have Get to in know here. he's very hungry. Salivating. I know right, he's so very hungry. As you all eat, last, and, oh. that's hot. That's hot. Oh, that's ah. warm. All right, cool. so here's the story, you guys. We got a trivia question for the whole audience, and we're going to answer the question on the other side of the break. Banana cream pie is a very tasty treat for any pie lover. Which ingredient is not part of the traditional recipe? Is it bananas? You can't guess, Jimmy. Okay. Bananas, half and half. Sugar or egg yolks. Which of those ingredients are not part of a traditional banana cream pie? You will find out on the other side of the break. I don't know, actually. Now is a great time to get your cue card. Open a new cue card and make a purchase by February 22nd, and we'll treat you to a $20 QVC account credit. For more details, go to qvc.com slash cue card. Spread some positivity while being super comfy at the same time. This Peace Love World hoodie will be your favorite go-to this season. Snag yours starting Tuesday at midnight Eastern on QVC. Let us help you make everyday entertaining both delicious and easy with these food finds. Join us for three days of gourmet holiday starting Monday at 4 p.m. Eastern on QVC. You can make anything happen. In my life, there are no no's. Just, how can I? I strive to make things that make people's lives better. There's nothing more rewarding than knowing that you have really helped others and changed people's lives. That's why I love what I do. Join Lori on QVC. So, banana cream pie is a very tasty treat for any pie lover, but which of the following ingredients is not part of a traditional banana cream pie recipe? If you guessed half and half, you are correct. According to BettyCrocker.com, and there is no higher authority, according to BettyCrocker.com, half and half is not part of a traditional banana cream pie. We did use, we made a chocolate peanut butter ganache. So I'm going to guess we used a little heavy cream to make that ganache. So, but uh, it's not half and half. Although you probably could use half and half if you had to in a pinch. But heavy cream is going to be better because it can have more milk fat, right? We love milk fat. Well, I've always enjoyed milk fat. I mean, look at me. I haven't missed any milk fat. All right. So we are uh, going to be serving up that peanut butter chocolate banana cream pie a little later. If you stick around, Tina, I'll give you some. Promise. All right, so we've got an awful lot happening for you on this big free shipping and handling day, and we've got today's special value. You've been looking for a KitchenAid stand mixer. They're now celebrating their 100th anniversary, and we're going to include an attachment we've never put inside the box with the today's special value stand mixer before. It's your food grinder. It's today's special value. It's an amazing price, and it starts right now. Well, since we kicked off this today's special value, nearly 7,000 are now gone, and that means over 2,300 ordered just during In the Kitchen with David. As I mentioned, KitchenAid is celebrating their 100th birthday. This grand company began back in 1919. And over the last three or four or five years, we've been saying, oh my gosh, it won't be long before KitchenAid is celebrating their 100th anniversary, their centennial. Well, that year is finally here, 100 years ago, and the commitment to quality is still the same, and the commitment to value for the customer is still foremost in their minds and in ours here at QVC. So when these two great companies come together to formulate a today's special value, you know we're going to pull out all the stops. We put together a phenomenal pack up, which you can only get here at QVC. You're also going to love that for the first time ever, we've included an attachment that fits that power hub inside the box 
with your today's special value. What are you getting? You're getting this beautiful five quart, 325 watt tilt head stand mixer. You're also getting the food grinder attachment. I want you to remember this isn't just for grinding meat. You're also going to be able to grind, oh, I don't know, cauliflower into cauliflower rice. You're going to be able to make some dynamic breadcrumbs. You'll be able to do all kinds of things with this grinder attachment, and it's super easy to clean. Then you're also going to get your wire whip, which we use to make my banana pudding portion of my pie coming up. Here is your work beater and your dough hook. We're going to give you two dies. These are going to go into the front of your food grinder. One of them is a fine grind, and the other is a coarse grind. So one's a little smaller, one's a little bigger. You get them both. Okay. Now, all of this coming together for you in a rainbow of colors, but let me first talk to you of value, and then I'm going to take you down the line of the 14 colors we brought in for you today. You know, you can shop for KitchenAid a lot of places. I think you'd be hard pressed to find any store in America that has this many colors at one time. All right, what we're talking about in your value story is this. If you went to retail to build this same offer, the tilt headstand mixer and the attachment, food grinder attachment, you're looking at $418.98. We've got the entire pack up for $144 less than that price. And then we're going to throw in free shipping and handling, which brings your savings now to $164.72. Delivered to your door. Oh, and did I mention that this is not on four or five? It's on six easy payments. How you doing? And then if you're wondering about colors, well, wonder no more. Now you heard me say a moment ago you'd be hard pressed to find a store in America where you could walk in and find this many colors at one time. I'm not saying it doesn't exist. There may be a store somewhere that does. And if and if you find that store, great. But you're not going to find this price there. And you're not going to find this pack up there because we did it just for QVC. Thanks to our friends at KitchenAid. Now, this is the green apple. Fewer than 400, and that's our most limited color. This is a color we don't see often from KitchenAid, but it's here for today's special value, and it's gorgeous. It's called Guava Glaze. A really pretty pink color. If you love this coral color, it's called Bird of Paradise, and it's a very, very new in the line. It was just introduced last spring, which is great. Then we take you into Copper Pearl. Imagine your favorite copper penny that's been pearlized and gorgeous. I used to only see this color when I went into a very expensive kitchen store. Now I see it on QVC and I'm like, hot diggity. All right, here it is in Toffee Delight. This is a color that you, are our foodies, voted for on QVC.com months ago, and you chose this as your customer favorite, so we included it. Here it is in Ocean Drive. Now let me just paint the picture. You've rented a convertible when you go on vacation. You're driving down Ocean Drive, or what's called A1A in Miami, and you've got all the Art Deco buildings and people rollerblading by and people pushing baby strollers and all the beautiful people are headed to the beach. Yeah, maybe having a cocktail or two. And the Ocean Drive breeze is in your hair as you drive down the road. It's vacation. This is called Ocean Drive. It can be vacation every time you look at it. This is sky, or ice blue, rather. Ice blue. Then I've got it for you in cobalt blue. Then majestic yellow. Don't forget matte white. This is black. Here is your gloss cinnamon, number one most popular KitchenAid color on QVC. Then I've got it in red. And most popular this show has been the contour silver. The red and the contour silver have been the two most popular. I do want to show you one thing before we go over and meet our guest, because as I mentioned, KitchenAid is celebrating its 100th birthday. And 100 years ago, when this company began, they made one of the first ever attachments for the KitchenAid stand mixer, and it was this one. Does it look familiar? Well, it should, because this is the meat grinder, the original meat grinder that was fashioned and formed and manufactured 100 years ago for the very first time. This meat grinder is 100 years old. Isn't that crazy? So we go from this to this. As your today's special value, great mixer with the food grinder, and it all comes together at this really fantastic price. Let's come over and meet Tina Varelli. She's our KitchenAid representative, has been for three years now on QVC. She's also the Pillsbury 2012 National Recipe Champion, and she knows her way around the kitchen, that's for sure. Hi, friend. Hello. Good to see you. So, you are super excited about this pack up, and we're going to talk about the food grinder. Mm -hmm. But tell me first about the mixer. Why do you love this mixer? I love this mixer because it is the most powerful, largest quantity tilt head stand mixer available. It's called the artisan stand mixer because it turns you into an artisan in your kitchen and it's made by artisans and it's made so well. 
metal construction. No belts that are ever gonna break. It's all gear, direct drive transmission, and it is sturdy. It is metal, it's 22 pounds that is really gonna be stable on your kitchen as you do all kinds of mixing. It has planetary mixing action that has not changed in 100 years. Why change it if it works so well? It is the perfect aid in your kitchen. That's where we got our name. So here we're making the bread that goes with these nut rolls so popular and the nuts you can grind in your grinder and that piece there if you like nut roll is freshly sliced if you now, wanted to taste is that. Is this a yeast bread? It is a yeast bread and it's super super rich. It has sour cream in it. Ooh, it, it feels has, moist. Yes, three eggs and a whole lot of butter. Mm. Isn't that oh, delicious? Nina. And it's Love so it. popular. It's popular in Pittsburgh, and it's popular with Eastern Europeans. It's popular with David, too. <laughs> wow, husband, is that good. Yes, isn't that good? And this is just the perfect tool, mixer and grinder, mm. to make that recipe. How lovely. So you're working on the bread portion. We are. So I have in there all the butter, the sour cream, the eggs, the yeast. I'm going to use that one piece pour shield. Let me show you how that works. This is a newer model that is not, um, you know, into two pieces. So it's all one piece, easier to use. It has three little tabs here, and those tabs just sit on the outside of the bowl. It's not going to lock on. So then you just turn your mixer on, and you can use that to direct your dry ingredients like powdered sugar, or here I'm using flour, into the bowl, and it makes it so much neater. It helps funnel the ingredients in, it helps keep the ingredients in, and it's so easy to pop on and off. This is a tilt head. We love that it's easy to tilt back, clean off the beater, and I'm actually gonna switch now to my dough hook. I like to start my yeast doughs with that flat beater and really get a head start on them. So give it a quick twist, take them off, and here is your dough hook. Remember, it has that keyhole shape. You're gonna fit that notch over the pin, give it a turn, and it's in place. Put it down. You only want to go up to speed two when you're using that dough hook. That's all you need in about five minutes. All you need to knead in about five minutes, and you're gonna have beautiful, beautiful, perfect dough. And we're just gonna let that do its work. While this is mixing, I'm gonna go grab some pork because we're gonna make some breakfast sausage. Well, as we do that, let's take a look at our feature tape because I think this is going to be exciting. And Tina, I'll start this and you can pick up when you come back from the fridge. So what we're looking at is a five-quart stainless steel bowl with a handle. So it's very easy for you to work with, very easy to position on the machine. You're also then going to love that we are able to do all this with that great power hub, the same power hub that was invented 100 years ago. So if you are looking to put any attachment in there, including the food grinder, which comes with your machine, it's very easy to install. And then you just choose the coarse or the fine gr uh, grind, and then you're going to start putting things through. M make your own salmon burgers. Perfect. You just put that uh, that fish right through the grinder. There's a pour shield included. When you're adding dry ingredients, it's always so nice. Or even wet ingredients have to be drizzled a little at a time. You're going to be able to go all the way up to ten, speed 10, just with the push of a lever. And remember that this is all gear driven, and it's all metal construction. So it really is a phenomenal machine, one that is so strong, built to last, mm -hmm. gear driven, no belts in this, right? No. And that's why these things wear like iron because they're all metal construction. Right. And Mary DeAngelis had a really good point. You can't see it from the back, but the air intake for this mixer is at the back, not where all your fluffy ingredients could get drawn into the motor. So yep. it's really just smartly engineered, which is why it really hasn't changed much in a hundred years because it works so well. So here we're gonna use that grinder again. I have the um, fine plate installed, locking, and then we're gonna turn it on to speed four. So here I have had in the freezer for about 20 minutes, strips of pork from a pork roast. We're gonna add those in one at a time, and we're going to alternate. David, would you mind putting in some sage leaves? Because I love sage sausage. That's my favorite. So we're going to do some sage leaves, and then we're also going to alternate with some dried apple pieces, Ooh. which is delicious. That's nice. And I would serve those with some maple syrup, and that would be just delicious. 
So you just want to feed that down in. You can use that pick pusher there to do the work. I find it great if you add things one at a time, let it do the work, keep everything nice and chilled, and it just does such a fabulous job. Sometimes if I want to do a recipe with ground pork, I have a hard time finding it at the market. Lots of times it's sold out and I find I do have to grind it myself because it's just not available. Right. So Look at us, we're making pork apple breakfast sausage. Isn't that with great? With fresh, this sage smells amazing. Doesn't it? So great, so easy. You know what Ina says, fresh is best. Fresh is best. Oh, Ooh, I'm look at that. Sorry. No, it's fine. <laughs> I have one get away from me. Hang on there one second. There we go. Pop him in there. All right. So great for the nuts, for the nut roll. Great for dried fruits too, which are really sticky and hard to chop up. This grinder really does a fabulous job with it. <laughs> we make a pretty good tea. Here. I have to say, Miss Tina. And this is the last of the sage. I'm going to put a little more apple in. Okay. There you go. One more piece of pork. And that ought to do it. And that ought to do it. So let me get rid of this. And now, then... if I were wanting to do any other seasonings in there, like a little salt and pepper, I wouldn't put that through the grinder. I would just throw that into the bowl and then that... and then mix these up, right? And that's what we're going to do next. So let me shut this down, scrape off the front a little bit. So now I'm going to take that bowl and I'm going to put it on my stand mixer. So, so easy. So like you did with the meat balls earlier. Exactly. Got it. Here's that flat beater. Here is my mixture. I'm going to add some red pepper flakes. Oh, for a little heat. Okay. I'm going to add some salt. I'm going to add some pepper. And I'm going to mm. bind it with apple juice. Really? Because you have that dried apple in there. So you just trickle in. Well, that'll wake up the apple, too, won't it? Until it pulls together. And then you would form these into nice little patties and fry them up. On a nice cold morning, well, I would and then, serve well, them. Well, Easter would be great for these. But I was, I was thinking, put these right by your pancakes or French toast. Oh. Drizzle that maple syrup over top. Oh yeah. How you doing? So Arr. that is just about perfect. Just so easy. Who knew it was so quick to make your own sausage? And if you did want to stuff sausage casings. With that, there is an accessory available that can go right on the front of your grinder. That brings up a good point. My fingers smell like sage. It smells delightful. Mm. Mm, I love sage. Anyway, if you go to QVC.com right now and search KitchenAid mm -hmm. and you look at all the attachments, any attachment we have on QVC.com that fits in the power hub right, right now is 20% off. That's so great. That's thanks to our KitchenAid anniversary celebration. That's right. And I believe that's good for the whole month of February. Yes. Yeah. So if you're looking for other attachments, and remember, these power hubs have not changed in 100 years. That same food grinder I showed you that they made 100 years ago would fit in this 2019 stand mixer. Wow. So I'd take a 100 year old attachment, I could make it fit in this. Wow. You know, what, you know what? Somebody at KitchenAid was thinking. They were thinking. And you know what? The probably the people that invented all that back a hundred years ago. Clearly, they're not here anymore. Right. Right. But boy, just like our founding fathers, they thought ahead, and made sure that, that that constitution, you know, kind of was applicable all these years later. That's right. Now a hundred years later, that 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 uh, power hub is still working and still doing the job. That's right. I just wanted to show you the dough from the nut roll. This is the most luscious dough. It is just filled with butter and sour cream and eggs and everything that it and should be filled with it's just delightful and really it mixed itself it needed itself while we were making our sausage you know one thing i appreciate about you so much you get very excited about a good quality dough i do and that's important because you know what when you love food like we do you get excited about these things mm -hmm. because you know it's going to yield a great recipe right and you're going to have great reactions around your table. That's right. And it starts with quality ingredients and the tools that help you get there. That's right. It makes you feel good inside that I created this. You know, True I created story. fire. I created great <laughs> dough here. And I my, made a great dough today. <laughs> and my KitchenAid helped me. I do. I get all proud of myself that I tried something new and I was successful. And that is largely in part to having the right tool. It's having absolutely that true. Aid in the kitchen. And I'll tell you, cooking should be joyful. Mm -hmm. And if it's not, then maybe it's not for you, right? But you know what? When you have the right tools and you achieve what you're excited about, you know that, that movie Julia and Julia when yes. she would achieve something great. Oh, yes. She'd sit down and she would go, yum. <laughs> and Julia would say, yum. Mm -hmm. You know, that's just the kind of thing you, you're so proud of, right? Right. So um, why don't I do a quick color tour? Great. 
and then I will come back and we'll take a phone call and maybe we'll take another look at some features and we'll do all that. I uh, want to let you know now that for the day, 7,200 mixers are gone. In this show alone, 2,700 are now spoken for. Now, what you're getting in this pack up will be this five quart, 325 watt tilt head stand mixer. You're also going to love the pouring shield, the five quart stainless steel bowl with handle. Handle's a little hard to see because it's the table's turn. Here's a handle. There it is. Thank you guys for that shot. And then we've got your attachments. Here's your wire whip, your work beater, and your dough hook. You also get the dies for your food grinder. And this is the first time we've ever done a today's special value stand mixture from KitchenAid where the attachment was included with the purchase in the same box. And that's exciting. And only here on QVC are you going to find this pack up with the food grinder. Now, only here at QVC will you find 14 colors. 14. Check them out. Aren't they beautiful? I just love this. I usually, until I started working at QVC or when I first started working at QVC, the only other place I saw this many colors was when we went to a trade show. Mm -hmm. We went to the International Home and Houseware Show and they've got a whole wall of mixtures in Chicago. I'll see them again when I go this spring or the, in, in March, in a couple weeks. But what's amazing is that we've got all 14 colors. Most stores you walk into, they've got two or three, and one of them's the, the floor model yes. that people have been touching. I don't want people touching my mixer. I yeah. want a fresh one out of the box. <laughs> All right. Here is your green apple. Most limited, fewer than 400 now to go around. Here it is in guava glaze. I've got this color just introduced last year in Chicago at the Houseware Show. This is Bird of Paradise. This one is your copper pearl. Toffee Delight was the color that our foodies voted for when they voted several months ago which color they'd like to see in this, in this stand mixer today's special value. This one is Ocean Drive. Just makes me happy to say that. Ocean Drive. Here it is in ice blue, cobalt blue. This is that inky blue that's so pretty. Then I've got it for you in majestic yellow, matte white, black. This is your um, gloss cinnamon. Now, most popular in this show, these two colors. This is the red, and this is your contour silver. Really, really beautiful. If you're wondering what kind of value this represents, take a look at your screen because we're going to walk you through it. If you went to retail to buy this identical pack up, you'd be paying for the stand mixer and the food grinder attachment $418.98 total. We've got that same value for about $144 less. Then when you throw in the free shipping and handling, we're now at like $160 some dollars less, $62 less, something like that. So it's really extraordinary to see all of the great value here today and also the great easy pay. So we're looking at a phenomenal opportunity for you to now get that mixture you've been waiting for, quite honestly wanting all of your life and you're getting that food grinder attachment. But remember, all of our attachments on QVC.com that fit in the power hub are all 20% off this week on QVC.com mm -hmm. or actually all month long. So if you wanted to be able to shop and get some additional attachments, you could. What are you making here, my dear? So we're going to make a pie crust. So great. I do a lot of quiches and kind of egg-based dish in the spring because I find we tend to have a lot of brunches, you know, those beautiful oh. spring well, celebrations. Well, of course, and with Easter coming. Guys, is Easter early or late this year? It's in mid-April. Mid-April. Okay. Nice. So I started with my dry ingredients and then I added in my very cold chunks of butter and shortening. I like a combination of both. The shortening makes it easy to work with, the butter makes it taste delicious. So you want to use that flat beater and that is doing what we call cutting in. You know, we used to do it with two knives in a bowl or use one of those handheld pastry cutters. This I love using that flat beater. It just rubs that fat into the flour. So you want it to look sandy and yet still have some pebbles of butter and shortening. Now you take your icy cold water and very slowly drizzle it around the bowl. I love that I can see how it's going. I love that it goes a little more slowly so I can just stop it exactly when I want. I can watch what's going on and it doesn't get ahead of me. It just does such a great job. Pie crust, you want to have a shaggy texture. You don't want it to come together like a ball of dough. Did you see how I hesitated there? You need to let the water 
react with the flour mm -hmm. and don't act too quickly. You know, take your time and be patient. And then take a look and test it. Once that dough presses together and holds together, it's done. So you want to mound that all together into a disc. Wrap it in plastic wrap, put it in the fridge for several hours or overnight. That water is going to hydrate all of those flour particles, and you are just going to have the tastiest, mm. flakiest pie crust. Said the 2012 Pillsbury <laughs> National Recipe Champion. <laughs> when she talks about pie crust, listen, <laughs> because she knows her stuff. Uh, all right, let's go to our phone lines. We're going to welcome Christine in oh, Florida. Good. Hi, Christine, how are you? Hello, David, and hello, Tina. Hello. Oh. I'm, I'm so excited, uh, obviously, to speak to the both of you, but I want to give a special shout out for Tina. You have answered a lot of my cooking questions Aww. related to KitchenAid on your, you know, through the TVC site mm -hmm. that you that you um, respond to. Yes, and because I had moved away from the traditional baking, so I'd stuffed it under the cover because I didn't really think I could use it for anything other than baking right. once a year at Christmas. And then I started watching your presentations at QVC and said, oh, my word, look at all of this good food you can make mm -hmm. and do the savory side of it. So thank you, thank you, thank you, because it's now out on the cover. I've had it for 24 years. It runs today like I, get, I just got it yesterday. Yep. I got the white. It was, uh, you know, that was, uh, and, and for those of you that really don't understand the value of what you're looking at today, I didn't buy my KitchenAid. It was a gift okay. because I couldn't afford it back then. And a friend of mine purchased it for me, and he paid $300 for the KitchenAid and um, the two beaters, you know, the, the dough hook and the right. beater. Right. Mm -hmm. That's all you got for three hundred dollars. That's right. How about that? Yeah. And now, uh, and what? What? How many years ago was that? That was twenty-four years ago. So now you're looking at so much more: the food grinder attachment, all the other bells and whistles, for only two hundred and seventy-four dollars. Yes, sir. You're right. So it's um, it's amazing. It really is amazing. I, and I'm so so as a result of the help that I, you know, your shows, David. And Mary and Tina answering my questions. Well, now of course I now have the cutter attachment. I've got the stand mixer attachment with extra blade, the prep mm -hmm. stand, um, the extra edge beater, right? Uh, the five quart glass bowl with lid, which is fabulous yes. because when you make things, mm -hmm. <gasps> you just take it off. Slap that cover on and into the fridge it goes. So oh, great. that's so, <laughs> so marvelous. great. Well, I'm so, so glad that you've been loving your KitchenAid and all your products. Mm -hmm. But stay tuned today because we're going to show you all the other goodies. And given that you already own your KitchenAid stand mixer, you know, we offer the food grinder attachment today as a separate purchase on QVC.com. If you don't yet have it, it is on sale on QVC.com today, so you can check it out. Oh, well, thank you. I have two questions, please. Please, of course. One, I, I was interested in the metal food grinder, and it says that it's not available right now. Did mm -hmm. that sell out? Could be. And will it come back or no? I'm sure it will come back. Yes. It's, it's probably just a matter of getting a reorder in, so I would keep okay. an eye out for that. Yes. Um, and and I, then... I'm sorry. No, and I was just going to say, and just keep an eye out for it. What else can we help with? The um, pouring shield. I have the five-quart bowls, mm -hmm. and... I don't know which one to pick because they all say one says wide bowl, one says one piece pouring shield, and obviously not the one that says three and a half quart because that won't fit. Right. So I want to buy the right one. Right. You know what? Reach out to me on my Facebook page. You know where it is, and message okay, me. I do. And I'll make sure you get hooked up with the correct one. Yeah, we'll research okay. it a little bit for you so you don't buy the wrong one. Excellent. Oh, thank you. This is so exciting talking to the both of you. Well, thank you. It's, it's, it's exciting to meet you as well. Hope you'll stay tuned. We've got a lot more coming your way. We're here for another hour and 10 minutes this afternoon, okay? Uh, I'm not going anywhere. Thank you. That oh, sounds bye, great. Christine. Thanks, thank love. Thank you so much. Good thank questions. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Aww. Okay, so you're working on a quiche now for we some filling are. for a quiche. Yes, so I'm using that wire whip. I have a dozen eggs in that bowl. This bowl has such great capacity at five quarts. Mm -hmm. You can make single batches, double batches, up to nine dozen cookies, 
in one batch. So I start off on a lower speed. I have some seasonings in there. I'm drizzling in a little milk and you really get such a nice mixture from the eggs all mixed in. It's hard to achieve that texture with just whipping by hand. And when you're done, it's so easy to tilt back, put that in the sink to clean that up later and you have that wonderful handle and in it goes into your pre-baked crust. We have some broccoli in there. We have some cheese and just does such a super great job. Oop, looks like there's one yolk there I could have mixed in better. Well, you know what, we'll just, we'll just get something to break him up. <laughs> Nobody Let's, saw that. He's just not behaving, is he? <laughs> all right, there he is. Now it's all good. Got in there and just broke him up a little all bit. All right, thank you for so, that assist well, there, no, sir. Well, no, I mean, I don't, I don't play. I just get right on there. I don't, I don't, I don't mind. <laughs> Just mess it up. All right, so let's talk to you about the fact that now for the day, 7,600, and in the show alone, mm -hmm. over 3,000 awesome. are now gone just during In the Kitchen with David. We've got time for one quick color tour. Okay. Then we're going to wrap up this presentation, but you're coming back for one more look at this. We are, and I have a grinder demo I haven't shown yet. Awesome. And we'll kick it off with that when we come back. Very good. All right, fantastic. So let's talk about colors. Here is your green apple. 350 now left to go around in the green apple. This is guava glaze. I've got it for you in Bird of Paradise. Really pretty, just introduced last year. Here is your copper pearl. I'll do this at a pretty good clip. Toffee delight. This is ocean drive, ice blue, cobalt blue, majestic yellow, matte white, black, cinnamon. Most popular in this show is the red and the contour silver. Take a look at your value story again, reminding you at retail you would pay for the mixer and this food grinder attachment. A whopping $418.98, we're $144 less. And with your free shipping and handling, that takes you to over $164 less. Be on the line for this and over 3,000 ordered just during In the Kitchen with David. Tina, we'll see you back for one final look. Now, Christine was asking about all the different attachments, and we also not only have little how-to videos, but also some great recipes and whatnot. So any of the food, any of the uh, KitchenAid attachments that fit in the Power Hub are all on sale this month, and they're on sale 20% off their regular price. So if you'd like any of the attachments that fit in the Power Hub, they're all on sale on QVC.com. You can also pick out from any of the things for there as we celebrate 100 years of KitchenAid. We're going to check in with Stacy now, who I think is ready for a nice clean glass of water. Oh, yes, and boy, did the water taste great from something that was brand new brought to you today. We brought in about 700 of our AquaTrue uh, water purifiers. We have fewer than 200 remaining. This uses the same technology that the big water uh, bottling companies use. It's called ultra reverse osmosis to purify your tap water, remove a lot of contaminants, a lot of um, chemicals, things like that. The water tastes great. And all they did is took this technology and put it to a, into a unit that you could put on your countertop for your family and your pets. Uh, retail value, $344. We're $73 less with our free shipping and handling. In about a year, well, I should say, yeah, in a year worth of filters, you could make over 4,500 water bottles, 16 ounce water bottles of uh, just good, clean tasting water with your Aqua True. So, very, very popular. Um, so, check it out, qvc.com. But we are ready now for something that is always um, a product that sells out in its original version. Now, we're going from savory, though, to sweet in David's first bite. We are indeed, Miss Stacy, and many of you know and love Saltopia, those gorgeous infused sea salts. Well, now that same company has turned their attention to our sweet tooth, and these are Sweet Life infused sugar assortments. They're all from Saltopia, same great company, but these are all flavor infused sugars. You're getting six of them. Each one is 3.4 ounces. And you're going to love the variety of flavors. You're going to love the intensity of flavor. And you're going to love that just like the salts, these are going to elevate whatever it is you're cooking or, mm, dare I say, baking. 
This is very exciting. Kim Marie Santiago, the president of Salt Tobia, joins me with this brand new offer. Welcome back, Hi, friend. Hey, thank you. Mwah. Thanks so much for nice having me back. Nice to see you. We're thrilled to have you back. This is really exciting. You and I chatted about this for a few months ago. Yeah. And you were telling me you were working on sugars, and we talked a lot about that. This is exciting because this brings together the same idea as your salts. Yes. But now we go from savory to something sweet. really sweet and right. delightful. <laughs> Tell us about these. Okay. It's amazing. They're just simply raw sugar, all natural. So you're going to love them. They layer your food just like you always love to say. It adds layers and layer, layers of flavors. Right. We have six amazing flavors that I think are just going to really be excited about. Yep, exactly. So what we'd like to do is go through those yep. flavors and let you see them right here on the front. Each one of these flavors, if you'll pardon my reach, uh -huh. no, go for it. Will come in its own little package. So here's each of your sugars will be in this package. You'll get the little wooden paddle, a little wooden spoon, and you'll have a recipe, I believe, is included as well. Is yeah, that right? we give a whole bunch of ideas on how to use the sugars. A lot of ideas, exactly. Yep. So you're getting six of these little individual packages. So if one of the flavors is not your bag of wax, you can always gift those. There you go. And then keep the others. But let's begin here with everyone's favorite. This is chocolate. Yep, that's Hey Yo Coco, our chocolate infused. You could see that rich chocolate right in there. Mmm, I love the name. Hey Yo Coco. Hey Yo. <laughs> and then we've got this one Perks for Pastries, which is our cappuccino infused. So imagine mm. that in your morning coffee, cup of tea. How about finishing your coffee cakes? Um, How about this next one? Sugar Shack is our maple infused. And I'm thinking, wouldn't that be nice sprinkled over oatmeal? Wait in the till morning? you try it. On, oh, wait. We have a bowl of oatmeal. Wait till you try it on the bacon I brought. It's unbelievable. Oh, you did that with the. Oh, that's right, because yeah. of the maple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then this date, one? Date night is our caramel infused, and it is absolutely delicious. It's so rich and caramelly, you're going to really love it. Next one over is called Cracklin Heights, and it is cinnamon sugar, which I am saying to you that I know cinnamon sugar seems common, but not like this. It this is oh really no. unbelievable. This is way a step above. And then finally, we've got uh, for vanilla lovers Vanilla Bean, which is named Bean Good. Being a good girl, <laughs> <laughs> and it is do, truly a really cream, creamy and dreamy vanilla flavor. You're gonna love it. All right. 200 of these are already gone. We're on five easy payments and, of course, free shipping and handling because everything's on free shipping today. Love that. But this is super exciting, and I Good. am excited to try these. We've got some little mm -hmm. toast points here and a little butter. A little bit of uh, room temperature butter. Which one do you want to try first? I want to try the chocolate. You want to try the chocolate. All right, mm -hmm. good. So here's a little bit of that. And let me tell you, too, I've been playing a lot with these flavors. Thinking about, okay, well, what else could we use it on besides, you know, breakfast foods and desserts, which is obviously, you know, what? you love that. It, it's really rich, too. You it's know what this would be really good on? If your kids really love chocolate and they have a plain bagel in the morning, smear a little butter on there when it's warm and then sprinkle a little chocolate sugar. Absolutely. And I was also playing with the idea of drink cocktail rimmers, mm. like chocolate martinis mm. and all that. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Delish, right? I was on vacation one time and we were out with a group of friends and we were having chocolate martinis. They were going, like, going down like candy. <laughs> That's right. Got a little silly that night. <laughs> I yeah, love I'm it. not even kidding. Uh, I that's love it. amazing, sweetie. That tastes so good. So good. And then the next one? Uh, this is the, the Perks for Pastries. So try a little bit of this. This is our cappuccino infusion. And again, of course, the obvious is well, of course, I'd sprinkle that in my coffee or on my coffee mm -hmm. cakes or what have you. But I was actually thinking about using this in, as a ribeye. You know how, how espresso and coffee flavor is now yes. on red meat? Oh, sweetie, and that's brining great. that? I know. I was oh, like, that's really so good. good. Mm. I know it's delicious. delicious. The next one? This is called Sugar Shack, but try the bacon. Try the bacon. Oh, you made this. You yes, made this candied bacon. That. This is candied bacon. So this uh, is the maple infused. They had right? to replace that bowl already because I ate half of it in the back waiting. <laughs> maple Wait a minute. bacon. What? I know. Hello. I mean, oh my gosh! You get fry the, the, bacon the smoky, up savory, and salt of the bacon. I know, it's and you so get this good. sweet, mapley, yummy, so candied exterior. <laughs> it's the only thing left to do is the happy dance. <laughs> there it is! Woo! <laughs> oh my gosh, Kim Marie, that's that maple amazing. Bacon is the best, right? Okay, I this know. next one. The next one over is date night. It's our caramel infusion. Which and one it, is that? Date night. It's caramel. Oh, hit me so, with a little caramel. Yeah, you want to try some of that? I was. We also have fruit if you want to mix it up. Oh, that's all fine. Okay, good. I give you an off. No, you're good. Don't hold back, right? Here we go. Here we go. Delicious or what? Mm. I know. Oh, is that good? I took bananas, dipped them in chocolate, and dipped them in that sugar. Hello. I, yeah, and then froze them for like a little sweet treat. Really good. I can't wait to try okay, this. Okay, Cracklin sugar. Heights. Yeah, this is. Oh, this has become my favorite. Which again, I was like, well, it's 
Cinnamon sugar. Who cares? Nope, I want you to think about things like sweet potatoes. Yeah. Cinnamon toast. Roasted vegetables. That's right. Mm. And I also thought this would be great inside, like barbecued chicken. I know barbecue season's coming, mm. right? No, come on, come on. <laughs> sway with me. Bend your knees a little bit. Sway with me. There it is. All right. That's amazing. <laughs> It's really good. Timory. Oh, stop. I know. It's really so delicious. Good. I love that too. I and know. then finally? And the last one is Bean Good, which is our vanilla bean. Really yummy. And it's creamy. Like you're going to taste this creamy vanilla bean taste in there, mm. which is different because it has its own kind of uh, full body flavor. That would be so good in my coffee. Oh. Yeah. So good. And here's another idea because barbecue season's coming. How about pork chops with this brined? Like just put it on the Thank outside you. and grill it with a little Thank bit you. of like balsamic vinegar or something. Oh, we're gonna have good. Over time a with that thousand one. of these are gone. Let me show you again. You're getting all six of these. They're individually wrapped and packaged. Each one coming with its own little wooden spoon. It's a little apothecary jar, or a little mason jar. This is crazy. Please don't miss this. They're M62575. We're very, very busy. Free shipping and handling, five easy payments on the credit card, and everything you loved about the infused sea salts is now in infused sugar. Oh, we also have auto delivery every 90 days for a year. If you want to keep these coming, keep a good thing coming, do that. Kim Marie, you Thank rock star. You. My I'm girl. so grateful. So good to see you. <laughs> Thanks so for having to see me back. You. <laughs> always, always. Those sugars are amazing. So glad. Hey, can I tell you, we brought in nearly 8,000 sets of the Jimmy the Baker cinnamon chocolate bread loaves. Cinnamon and chocolate bread loaves, we have only 300 left. And chocolate only, shipping February the 24th, and that's all we have left. That is extraordinary. Don't miss these. Yes, they're every bit as good as they look, and they freeze up to about four months. Stacy's got a look at a set of cast iron enameled cookware now from our friends at Cook's Essentials. Uh, at an amazing value, David. Yes, from Cook's Essentials comes an eight piece all cast iron cookware set, giving you the essential pieces for amazing cooking. We love cast iron. But remember how it used to be with maybe our grandparents or our mothers, the big old black cast iron pan that you couldn't even let, you know, touch water? And you had to season, it was a lot of high maintenance, well forget about it. Now we're doing it in beautiful enameled cast iron, gorgeous high gloss colors that you can choose from in beautiful designs and no seasoning required. So here are the eight pieces that you're going to get. First of all, you're going to get the six quart covered Dutch oven. Then you're going to get a 10 inch skillet. And I point that out because the lid from the Dutch oven works on the 10 inch skillet. So now you have a covered skillet. Here's a one quart covered saucepan, a three quart covered brazier, and a stainless steel basket because we love to deep fry in our cast iron. All eight pieces for less than $90. This is a sale price, $20 off the QVC price. But think about this. On a lot of cast iron that's colored like this out there on the market, one piece would be this price. You're getting all eight on an easy pay of $15. This color that you're looking at here is called red. I like to say it's like chocolate cherry, kind of red, a little bit more on the cinnamon side. We have uh, seven others for you to pick from. Here's our gray, beautiful color there. Here's our purple, more like a deep eggplant. Here is the light blue. Next to that is regular blue. In front of the blue, we have the green. Here is the yellow and the orange. And not only are these colors gorgeous, but look at the stainless steel handles that you have on the lids. Means that this baby is going to be a workhorse, could go into an oven up to 500 degrees. degrees. That's right. right on cue, <laughs> Chef Joseph McAllister. Hello, um, good trained morning. chef, was a chef for a governor, uh, does a lot of cooking for a lot of important a people. A ton of cooking, <laughs> yes, indeed. Thank it's you so, so much. It's so nice to good have to you there. in the kitchen, my friend. Hello. Let's start with why there's a love affair with cooking with cast iron. Cast iron, you know, there, there are many different pieces that I have in my collection at home. Cast iron is what I usually turn to. Whether I'm blanching vegetables or doing a pot roast or maybe I'm just even doing something as simple as uh, pot stickers, you know. I, I love it because cast iron is a stable source of heat. It gives you beautiful caramelization. When we want to sear a pot roast like this, a chuck roast, we get that great heat transfer through the cast iron, those thick walls that 
that retain that heat, and of course the durability of that porcelain enamel coat. I can see what I'm doing in the bottom because we have that light finish on the inside, and you get this effect, which is that beautiful caramelization on your ribeyes, your strip steaks, your beef roasts, your short ribs, whatever it is that you're doing. Oh my, and our soup is overflowing. We're over <laughs> That's okay, we got um, it. I always call that the crust. There the you crust go. Is flavor and truly nothing can bring that quite like cast iron pan, uh, pans can. That's right. We're giving you the stainless steel basket because cast iron is also great for deep frying. It is. It's just tremendous. And here we're, we're showing this on an induction burner because cast iron has that magnetic property to it. So you can use it with induction cooking. So whether it's an individual unit like this or maybe you have the induction cooktop, your cast iron is going to work really, really well. Here we're just using a store-bought frozen fried chicken and we're just going to go in to that oil bath and go ahead and fry that up. Now what I love about this basket is we can also use it to blanch our vegetables. So do a blanch and refresh with your Brussels sprouts, your broccoli, your cauliflower, blanch in here and then into an ice water bath. So that's why this is so handy. And do you have to season this cast iron? You don't. And you're going to hand wash these. I wouldn't recommend putting these in the dishwasher. But this is the thing right here. I'm just going to put that chuck roast aside and show you right down here in the bottom that beautiful fawn. That's flavor. And we want to capture it. So we're going to use our vegetables and a little bit of stock and a little bit of red wine in the uh. bottom there. And we're gonna pull all of that flavor up from the bottom. And when we're working with this porcelain enamel, I always recommend using silicone, wooden paddles, or nylon tools. Would metal scratch it and damage it? You can the use metal, but it will, over time, uh, wear down the uh, porcelain enamel. So the spurtles, for example, that Lucinda sells, they're perfect, they're perfect for And porcelain notice, look enamel. at how those brown bits easily yes. come released. So don't think this is going to be a tough two-hand wash, because the uh, nonstick that's part of that um, white enamel interior just releases so easily. All right, more than 200 sets have been spoken for. I want to show you the color choices again. The sale price of $89.98 goes away at the end of the day. And we love a lot of cast iron that is out there. We carry other brands, but those brands, one pot would be the price of this entire set. So if you're on a budget, if you would like not to have to own and acquire a piece over years of time and just want something compute, uh, complete and beautiful, this is your opportunity to get an amazing cast iron set with the stainless steel handle. So your eight quart covered stock pot, or six quart, sorry, your 10 inch skillet, your fry basket, your one quart saucepan, and your three quart brazier with the double handles. This is that red, it's been very, very popular. Here is your gray. Then we have purple. We have a light blue, which is gorgeous. Here's your blue, green, yellow, and the orange. We have free shipping and handling. And again, our best easy pay payment on this of $15. So not only for your stove tops and all cooktops, even glass, just be careful not to slide this around because this is real, regular cast iron. It's gonna have some weight to it. But also then you can take it to your oven. Let me get that for Thank you. Thank you so much. Is this from our Blue Jean Chef's One Pot Comfort? It comfort? is. This it is, is one of my boys' favorite recipes. Isn't that a Coffee Joe casserole. wonderful thing? And it's so easy to make. I know. So that you'll find that in one pot comfort from the Blue Jean Chef, of course, Meredith Lawrence. But look how delicious this is. And the great thing about this is that those little biscuits don't get all soggy. Mm -hmm. They actually retain their, uh, their integrity and they really taste yummy. But you know, this looks like a hot mess inside here. But let me tell you something, that is going to clean up so easily. You don't have to worry about that cheese. Look how that is just pooling right off. And then a quick soak in the sink with some soapy water, wash it out. I have those great scrubbies uh, also from Cook's Essentials that'll work with your porcelain um, cast iron. And it's just an easy cleanup. And these beautiful colors, you know, put it on a trivet and uh -huh. take it right to your tabletop. Exactly. Look at this. Is this uh, chicken pot pie? It is. So what we have is chicken pot pie. And what we're doing it is we're doing it with the, uh, the dumplings right in there. So you've got those noodles already mixed in and actually just falling apart tender, but look how delicious that is. And this is, this is worth the price of admission. Just to get that six quart stock pot is just unbelievable. I 
probably would pay that price just to get the little guy myself. And I a mean, lot of times with cast iron cookware, the, the handles, the knobs that come on it are plastic. Yes. And then you can't use the lids in a real hot oven. This is stainless steel, so this is a higher end design. Absolutely. That you are getting, again, at this fantastic price. We're $15 on Easy Pay. The sale price will go away at the end of the day. All eight pieces coming home to you. Red, gray, purple, light blue, blue, that green. We hardly ever see green in our cast iron. That's special. Yellow and orange, K47728. Close to 500 sets now spoken for. Sale price, free shipping and handling, easy pay, all go at the end of the day. I'm going to stick around and have some sloppy joe casserole. There we go. And oh, yeah, I am. And I know, I know the big sauce. man's a little jealous. About that. <laughs> yeah, David's a little jealous. <laughs> David. <laughs> Well, thank you very much, guys. We're going to move right into great sirloin steaks, but I don't want you to say, oh, wait, those are Rustelli sirloins. I've seen those before. This is actually a product you've never seen before because there are different grades of sirloin, and these are top sirloin. Our top butcher is Ray Rustelli. It's good to have you back, sir. Good to sir. see you, sir. Nice, nice to, to see, see you, you as always. 42 years ago, Ray began this great company and to this day stays true to the same things he started with all those years ago, delivering quality meat to all of his customers. And you know, Ray, you educated me a bit today before the show, helping me understand that there are different types of sirloin and this is top sirloin. There, there is. You know, so let's go right to the block, David. And yeah, I'll let's show go right up. Exactly. Uh, the nice thing about having a butcher <clears throat> here is we've always got the raw and he can educate us. Yeah, so this is what a, a, a full sirloin looks like. So you can see the amount of fat that's on top. Um, and there's three or four different muscles inside there. What we do is we completely trim this 100%. And we wind up with this, this beautiful top sirloin. Then we take this top sirloin, we're aging this for 28 days. And remember, this is black Angus beef, Midwestern USDA certified. And then we take that after it's aged and we cut them into these beautiful steaks that you see here. Now, what you see here is the steaks I've seasoned. And I always tell you that get your steaks pulled out of your freezer a day prior, let them slack out. Then about an hour before you're gonna actually put them on your grill or put them on, your, in, on the stove, Get them the room temperature, but season them about 30 minutes before because we want that seasoning to melt into that steak. So we're not burning the seasoning. The seasoning actually becomes part of that steak itself. Mm. So it's really critical, but notice, no fat at all. This six ounces is center cut, Black Angus, USDA certified. And David, this is not the kind of sirloin steak you'll find in a supermarket. What you'll find in a supermarket is what they call a full face sirloin steak, which has the three or four different muscles attached to it with certainly sinew and fat attached with it. We so, only get the heart of it. So we all get the best cut, Just right? the very, very best And cut. this yes. is phenomenal. What you're gonna love about these, you're getting 10 six ounces here, you're getting five easy payments, and of course, free shipping and handling. Yes. So now if you're making that wonderful grilled steak Caesar salad, which would be a beautiful, beautiful lunch or dinner entree, or if you're just maybe cutting these up and using them for fajitas. Yes. Or chili or tacos or just a fantastic steak with a baked potato and a green salad. You know, it is. It's a versatile steak. I love it as a steak because it's just so simple. But we also give you a recipe card. It's going to give you some ideas. The sirloin steak I always kind of refer to as the everything steak. We can make kebabs out of it. We can make fajitas, as you said. Uh, but when you get a steak that cuts with a fork. And now a hundred of these are already and gone. Where auto delivery is very popular uh, every 90 days for a year, a Mr. Rostelli will continue to send these to you. And you're going to love that this is the kind of quality steak that you're after, the kind of top sirloin that you're really proud to serve and excited to eat. I'm going to hit these with some of your signature <laughs> yes. steak seasoning. This seasoning comes with the steaks, so you're not going to have to worry about um, seasoning these yourself if you don't want to, because Ray will include a packet of seasoning in for you. Yes. Right, it's so tender, it, it's it, so it, perfect. It is really a tender steak, and because we mm. have aged this, you know, this is that. Oh, this is the steak. This is really the primary steak oh. that um, most most steakhouses will have this steak in it. It's always the sirloin top steak, and the reason for it because it doesn't have any fat on it. And when you go to a great steakhouse, you know, you want to eat a steak from end to end. They don't want to leave any fat exactly as well. Exactly right. So I'm gonna hit that with there, more. There you go. I know that's a little more your temperature. I like mine yes. just a hint of pink. So yes. if you want to slice that up, I'll be there glad to eat it for you. There you go. Th these are going very quickly now. 300 of these are gone. Right, let me jump in here. I, I don't want to <clears throat> knock over that red wine nope, because nope. that's what we're going to wash it down with. Mmm. <laughs> 
Boy, the top sirloin, sirloin is such a difference. It really is. You know. I've had these sirloins before that you talk about from the supermarket. Mm -hmm. And you hit some chewiness, or you hit you know some gristle or fat. This is all eat end to end. Top sirloin, tender, gorgeous, lovely beef. It's so simple. And you know, mm. the aging process is so critical. When you can take a knife and just do this right through your steak, and I'm just going to flip it up so you can see that you have no fat at all. All you have is just beautiful marble, marble textured beef. Real beef from it's the tough. U.S. And you know, really having tough. United States beef is the best beef in the world. When you go to Black Angus that's been aged just like we do for the restaurants all over mm. the world, David, it's what you should expect when you go to a great steakhouse. So why not have it right at home? Oh man, oh Pete. Mm. Really delicious. Going quickly. Ray, if you can show us how these come packaged. Sure will. Yes, so each one of those steaks comes individually vacuum packaged, and we think that's really important. So this is going to last in your freezer for 12 months. If, in fact, you don't, you don't, you forget about pulling them out the night before, you can take this, run it under cold water for about 10 or 15 minutes, and what you're going to get is a steak that's going to be completely thawed out. Then remember, season it at that point, give it a few minutes to rest inside of it, then put them right on your grill. Oh, these are going quickly <laughs> yes. now. How many gone, Dan? 800 of these are now gone. You're going to find that these last in your freezer for up to a year. 12 months. That's so you're correct. going to love that these are the perfect steak. And if you get home and forgot to thaw these out, Ray will be the first one to tell you run a, a bowl of cold water in the sink. That's right. And just pop the whole packet. Don't take them out of the Don't package. Don't take them out of the package. Put them right in that cold water. Now, I know it's kind of counterintuitive. You think that you need hot water to thaw these <laughs> steaks. And you don't want to use hot water because you'll start cooking them. That's right. Uh, what you want to do is use cold water because that will allow you to thaw them out. And they'll thaw out pretty quickly. These are not a super, super thick steak. Very, very quickly. So they're going to uh, thaw out quickly, and then you're going to be able to uh, use those any way you like. Either uh, sear them on top of the stove on a grill pan, pop them in the oven, broil them. So many things you can do. You could do these in a stir fry, it would be delightful. So many ways to work with these, but they're just so tender and there truly is a top sirloin difference, isn't there? There, there really is. You know, the sirloins we've brought you in the past have been the bottom sirloins or they've been the cap sirloins. So this is the first time we've brought you the top sirloins. And I want you to see, we put these on just before we came on air. Right. It takes literally minutes and look at the beautiful texture, tenderness inside of this steak. And that moisture mm. that you see mm. is all the oh, internal marbling. Mm, 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 mm. Here's the story, my friends. We brought in 2,100 sets of steaks. <clears throat> I have fewer than 700 left. Oh These are going goodness, very quickly. You. This is not just a bottom sirloin or a. Well, I love sometimes or they a just cap say steak. Yes. sirloin. Yes, sirloin. We, <laughs> yes. <laughs> what sirloin is it? This is top sirloin. This is the <clears throat> real deal. This is the one that's going to fan fold out when you when you cut it like that on a plate. Look at this. That's a restaurant plate right there. Yes. Look how beautiful that is. And you serve that with a nice starch, like some beautiful rice or risotto, and then just a gorgeous, gorgeous steak. And David, here I, I took one steak and I cut it in half for steak and eggs. Because remember, six ounces when you have no fat at all, you can take a nice three ounce portion. It's a great portion for breakfast in the morning for that high protein. Oh my word, these are going very quickly. We're talking five easy payments on your credit card, free shipping and handling, and now how many left? 400 all oh I have goodness, left out of the 2100 we brought in is that right uh, can we take a look at packaging one more time Ryan? absolutely can each one and they're individually packaged individually packaged and so important because we want this to last in your freezer though you probably won't we're coming into grilling season you're going to love this steak on the grill but basically for 12 months this will stand up in your freezer you need to pull it out very quickly to get it thawed out under cold water. Just run that cold water in a bowl, and in 10 minutes, this is going to be thawed to where you can do this. Wait, could you just cut that little corner off right there oh, for me? Certainly. That one, there, I keep knocking there, the there you go. I was hope. Oh, this just sold out. Oh, my goodness. Which means Thank I'll you. just have to have a little bite for the road. Mmm. <laughs> something's hot off the grill. Mmm. <clears throat> Thank you so much. Mr. Rosselli, you are a good man. You fed us our protein. Let me feed you dessert. Oh, I would love to. I would love Stacey to. Stacy Lou. <coughs> this, my friends, if I do say so myself, is one of the best desserts I think we've ever done on this show. Stacy Lou, let me just review what this is all about. Ready? So. <laughs> the crust is those peanut butter sandwich cookies that kind of look like peanuts. You know the one I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. They're kind of nutty, mm -hmm. and you know they're your buddy, and that kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's clever. <laughs> uh, all right, so I take those and I, cr I crush those up in, a, in a, my KitchenAid chopper, mix that with some butter, and press that into a pie plate. Oh then God. I put crushed peanuts on the bottom, then a peanut butter chocolate ganache, then an instant banana pudding mixed with fresh whipped topping, more whipped topping, and chocolate sauce. Talk to me. 
Uh huh. Mm. Uh huh. Mm. And then on the bottom, you get the crunchy peanuts. Oh, and there's a layer of cut bananas in there too. I forgot well, that. That was just that just jumped right out. Take, right. It was incredible. Take me back to when I was a little girl at the Jersey Shore <laughs> and getting um, Sundays, banana boat Sundays. Yes. Yes. How fresh the banana was, mm -hmm. and just that cool ice cream on a hot summer night. Mm. What a oh, David. What I think we need to do yep. is a triple happy dance. Let's go. Ray, you can go any way you want. <laughs> I'm going. I'm, you're I'll going go that left. way. I'm going to go right. Okay. Yeah. And let's bust it out. <laughs> Happy dance. There it is. Happy dance. That's the peanut butter chocolate banana cream pie. If you'd <clears> like to find this recipe, and I know you do, you will want to go to QVC.com, search David's recipes, and when you get there, shortcut baking is the first grouping of recipes at the top mm -hmm. of the page, mm. and all the month's recipes are there, and you're going to be able to get all this worked out. I want to thank our prep chef Lynn. For prepping all this and making it fabulous. Thank you so, so much. This is a phenomenal recipe, and this is some of the best pie mm. you ever put in your mouth. Can I stay and finish this? Mm -hmm. okay. Right? <laughs> mm. Frost. Mm. This is the Rostelli sign that I've knocked over 17 <laughs> times today. Just thought I'd put it right there. Because clearly, somebody wants you to read this sign because I've knocked it over four times. You know how you say sorry? You serve good pie. That's perfect. You put it more is. pie out. There you go. Hey, we're going to take a short break. We're coming back with the last 39 minutes of our show. Stick around. We've got lots more coming your way and another look at today's special value and some kitchen organization Ooh. on the other side of the break. Nice. Oh, let's have more pie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let us help you make everyday entertaining both delicious and easy with these food finds. Join us for three days of gourmet holiday starting Monday at 4 p.m. Eastern on QVC. Sunday night is your night for savings and a sneak peek of what's hot for the coming week. It's Q the Deals tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern on QVC. Listen, cooking can be fun and easy, and it certainly doesn't have to take a lot of time to get a good meal on the table, especially when you've got the basics down. From the recipe to the table and all the prep work in between, it's Step-by-Step -step Cooking with Stacy Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern on QVC2. Surprise! Today is Free Shipping Sunday. So not only can you get five or more easy pays on all QVC products, you'll receive free standard shipping and handling on your order. Free shipping Sunday, all day today on QVC. No, I got up with the chickens. We were just talking about my Today Show appearance yesterday. I got up with the chickens. Those poor folks get up early. How do they do it? Well, I wasn't even on. I didn't have to be there until like 7.30. But the anchors, I think, get there at like, I guess they go live at 7, so they must get there at like 5 in the morning. Oh, look, there I am. Oh! That was Peter Alexander and Chanel Jones, and these were two characters from Sesame Street. Cookie Monsters behind Peter, and uh, uh, is it Grong Grogger? What's his name? The cook, Stacy? Oh, it is uh, Gonger. Gonger. Gonger is his name from Sesame Street. Can you tell me how to get, how to get to Sesame, Sesame Street? Street? I need to go visit Sesame Street. I could bring them some kid-friendly recipes. I love that idea. I could. Hey, this is Jane DeNoble, one of our organizational experts at QVC. And we invited her into the kitchen today because you know what? This is going to become your best organizational friend, whether it be in the kitchen, in your storage area, maybe down in the basement, or you buy in bulk like I do when you go to the warehouse clubs and you bring home the 10-pound bag of flour. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Is, yeah. This is called Poppet. The Poppet Pro 4 Teal Collapsible Shelf with Wheels. And this is clearance priced at under $94. But remember, this is all metal construction. Powder coated steel. This is the Poppet Pro. This is what the pros use because it holds so much weight. This is the strongest Poppet four tier shelf we've ever made. Each shelf is going to hold 100 pounds. So that's 400 pounds right there. Now, David, if you take off these wheels, 300 pounds per shelf, that's up to 12. Hundred pounds. I have versions of these in my basement, and they have made all the difference. Number one, I ordered multiples when these first were on the air, and I paid more than ninety-three dollars. And I will tell you that they set up like a dream. 
I mean, in seconds. In seconds. And immediately I was picking things up off the floor and organizing. <laughs> what I was also doing is uh, 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 developing a great big donut, donate pile. So I donated a lot of things to local charity. Great. And then the things that couldn't be donated that needed to be thrown away that had just been living in the basement for a long time, well, they went to the curb. Perfect. So this was perfect. This became the motivation in my home to get organized. And it comes flat like this. It, it, you pop it out of the box and it becomes a shelf. So it's not a bazillion pieces. It's not plastic. It's not particle board. I've made that mistake before. Right. And you're also going to love that we've got colors. This is pewter. We'll come in tight on this. So oh, here's good. your yeah. pewter. This one has a little bit of texture to it, so it's really cool. Then I've got it for you in black. This is the color I have in my home. This is the black. Then I've got it for you in red, our foodie red. Oh, yeah. Which is always great. Then this color is gorgeous. We're calling this bronze. Mm hmm. I know that looks a little black on your TV screen, but it's a dark oiled bronze. Yes, that's yep. a perfect way to describe. And then finally, what I'm going to guess is going to be pretty popular is the white. Absolutely. And you could, this is a shelf of a lifetime. Let's say you start with your first apartment and you don't have shelving. You can use this as a TV stand because it pops open. There's the two latches in the back. It locks into place. You swing over that top shelf and there's also a latch. I love that the latches are all attached. So there's nothing to attach myself and nothing to lose. Now you can load it up. 100 pounds per shelf with the wheels. If you don't use the wheels, it comes with a wheel so you can use it with or without them. 300 pounds per shelf. So this is the Poppet Pro. This is what the pros use. Whether you're organizing your garage, your shed, your kitchen, anywhere you want to get things up off that floor because you have that first shelf about three inches off the floor, second, third, and fourth shelf. Look at this guy. He's got that 16 gallon bins. Load them up. But think about this from a kitchen standpoint. If you are someone that goes to a warehouse club and you buy in bulk, yes. you come home with the extra containers of dish detergent or uh, laundry soap or all the other things or bottles of water, cases of water, whatever the case may be. And you got, uh, you need a place to store all these things. Or you're going to buy today's special value stand mixer from KitchenAid, but you're not going to be using it every single day and you need a place to store it because it takes up a little too much room on the countertop. Maybe you don't have a lot of space in the kitchen. Sure. These, uh, this is like overflow space. Put this on a wall where you don't have any furniture and you're looking at an instant shelf. Put it in the garage, you've got extra storage. Absolutely. And it seems like the kitchen, we never have enough counter space, we never have enough storage. We love all our appliances, we love our cookbooks, but where are we going to put them all? We could put them right here on our Poppet Pro. Well, really, really fun. And you're going to love also that we can do all this for you today with free shipping and handling. Now, these things are not lightweight. So ordinarily, the shipping on these is $15.50 per shelf. You wow. know what it is today? What? Zero. Come on. Yeah. Free <laughs> shipping. And I'll tell you, when I bought mine, they weren't on free shipping either. And I would have been very happy had they been because I ordered like four of them the day I ordered them because I had a lot to get organized in my basement area. So this is what's so exciting about this. You're now going to get this at a, uh, not at its regular QVC price of $125. You're getting this at $93.75. You're getting the free shipping and handling. And you're also getting easy pay. Now, all of our clearance items between now and the end of the, uh, end of the day tomorrow, which is President's Day, Will be available to you on six easy payments. So all clearance items on air and online are six pay until end of day tomorrow. That is so. Isn't great. that great? Yeah, and so, I and I love that it's getting delivered to your home. You don't have to go to the store and pick it up and try and fit it in the back of your car. But let me make one thing, one other thing clear. While the easy pay is good until end of day tomorrow, the free shipping expires tonight. Oh, today. Tonight. Oh, tonight. Tonight. So get it. So right, now you. would be your best time because if you wait till tomorrow, you're going to pay the 1550 extra to ship it. Oh. You order it right now, you pay zero to ship it. Uh, and that really is fantastic. How many are gone now, Dan? Over 800 are gone. A lot of folks are buying more than one, and I did because I had a lot to organize. And I'm just going to caution you that if you think you need two and you're on the fence between one and two, I'm going to encourage you to go with two because here's what's going to happen. You're going to get home and you're going to fill one completely. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to be like, I wish I'd gotten one more because these are too stuffed. If I'd had two, I could spread it out a little bit or I could store more stuff. Yes. So let me, I, I'm not just trying to get you to buy more for the sake of buying more. I really think you'll need more when you get them home. I did. In fact, I ordered four, probably could have used six. <laughs> I think we all love our stuff. Yeah. And this is a great way to get organized. And this is a shelf of a lifetime. It's made of powder coated steel, so it's not plastic, it's not going to crack. It's not wood, so it's not going to 
warp. And I love all the different colors, so if you want to match your decor, you could do it. But really, this is the Poppet Pro. This is what the pros use. This is our strongest one ever. This is now last call. Pewter okay. is last call. Okay? Gotcha. Now I've got it for you in black. Fewer than 200 left in the black. This is the red. 500 left in the red. Here it is in bronze. Fewer than a thousand. And finally, we have the white. And white is very popular. How many remain? 1,500. I will remind you, and let me just say this because I, pardon me for walking, uh, oh, sure. I was going to walk in front of you. No, you stay here with me. Oh, okay. Let me just tell you, and I know it bears repeating. We are free shipping and handling, but only until end of day today. The easy pay is good until end of day tomorrow, but the free shipping goes away tonight at end of day. If you want to order these tomorrow and we have any left, we'll be glad to sell you one, but you're going to pay the extra shipping. Why get it? Why not get it now and you'll pay zero shipping? That's pretty cool. Thank you, Jane. How about a little hip action on that? Boom! Boom. There it is. <laughs> nice to see you, Thank Jane DeNoble, you, you so sweet good to thing. See you. Appreciate you. Thank Jane DeNoble is one of our organizational experts. You'll probably be seeing more of her on my Down Home with David show. I can't Look wait. forward to that. I love that show. All right. Thank you so much. Let's check in with our Stacey, who I, who I believe has some Instagram poll results. Yeah, we're starting to do our poll on Instagram. And maybe this picture looks familiar. If you went on David's Instagram page, we were asking you, what type of foodie are you? Are you a savory? Are you a sweet foodie? We had about 2,000 votes cast, so thank you for that. But 53% of you are the sweet type, so a little bit more have sweet tooths out there. Kind of knew that was going to be the case. All right, thank you so much. We'll do this again next week. That's David's Instagram, David Venable, QVC. Oh my goodness, we have 29 minutes left to go, David, and a final look at our today's special value. Thank you, Miss Stacy. Always fun to check out what I'm doing on Instagram. And if you're not yet following me on Instagram, I hope you will at David Venable QVC. And I posted all my New York adventures from the Today Show there yesterday. So lots of fun. You can check that out. Come follow me there. Also follow uh, Stacy at Stacy QVC. But right now we want you to follow today's special value. We want you to think about a KitchenAid stand mixer, but not just a mixer. You're also going to get for the first time ever packed in the box. A great attachment that you're going to be using so often in your home, making so many delicious recipes. This is your very best value of the day. It's been super popular. It's from KitchenAid as they celebrate 100 years in business, and it all starts right now. Well, I can tell you that since we kicked off this bad boy, over eight Thousand are now gone, and just during in the kitchen with David, just since noon, over 3,500 ordered just in this show. So we're awfully excited that you're shopping. We're thrilled that you're looking for KitchenAid because, as we mentioned, this brand is now proudly 100 years old and looks great for its age. I have to say. Because you know what? This company began in 1919. It is now 2019. And we are so excited and proud to be celebrating right alongside KitchenAid, bringing you some great deals and some marvelous things all month long as we kick off this year's celebration of their 100th anniversary. Now, what we're excited about with this particular mixer is that this is your five quart. It's a five quart, 325 watt tilt head stand mixer. Tilt head means that the head tilts backward. And allows you to remove the bowl, swap out your uh, your attachments, whatever you may be doing, and also put on and take off this uh, food grinder attachment. We've never included an attachment in the box with your today's special value before. It's always been well, we'll throw a little coupon in there, and you fill it out, and you mail it in, and if you mailed it in and it took a little while to mail it in, and then by the time you mailed it in, and then they took time to get everything shipped back to you, it was weeks and weeks before you saw that attachment. When you open this box, you're going to see the machine, the attachment, and all of these extras. You're getting your wire whip, you're also getting your work beater, and you're getting your dough hook. You're even getting the little dies that go in your food grinder. So you're going to be able to do a coarse grind and a small grind. All this happening for you at five easy payments or six easy payments, I should say, on your credit card and absolutely free shipping and handling. What does your value look like? Check it out. If you were to go to KitchenAid to buy the stand mixer and this food grinder attachment, you're looking at a $418.98. Just at our today's special value price, we're already $144 less. And then with the free shipping and handling, we're 164.72 less. Um, guys, I'm just going to go up here a little closer to the graphics so I can check this out. Do you know what the shipping and handling on this ordinarily is? 
$20.72 extra. You know what you're paying today in shipping and handling? Goose egg. Zero. That's why today's your day to get this great today's special value. That's why today and right now is your moment to enjoy this fantastic machine on free shipping, great, great today's special value price, and only here at QVC will you find this pack up. Now I think we're beginning to understand how 3,500 of you have dialed in just in this show for this and over 8,000 for the day. One final cherry on the Sunday, look at the colors. Look at the rainbow. Let the rainbow just start mixing in your home, right? I'm going to move this out of the way so you can see that a little better than we are. So really, really beautiful colors, and we have 14 of them. It'll take us a moment to get through those. All right. Here is your green apple. I have now 300. When we started this show, I had 500 green apple. I now have 300. 200 have flown out the door just in this show. This is guava glaze. I know a lot of you love pink, and we don't do a lot of pink. And when we bring in pink, it tends to be very popular. This color is called guava glaze, and I think you're going to love it. This color was introduced just last year at the International Home and Houseware Show in Chicago. This is Bird of Paradise, and it really is beautiful. A gorgeous coral color. Kind of reminds me of being in the tropics or the islands, right? Wouldn't that be lovely? I think we could all use a little trip to the tropics. Uh, this is copper pearl, but you're going to need a lot of copper pennies if you're going to make that trip to the tropics, aren't you? <laughs> all right, so this is copper pearl. This one is called Toffee Delight. Now, this is a color that you, our foodies, voted on. We asked you months ago to vote between a few colors and tell us which one you liked the best, and we would include that in our today's special value lineup. And you chose Toffee Delight, and it is gorgeous. Then Ocean Drive. Let's go back on vacation, shall we? Really, really beautiful driving down the beach block, the road that runs right along the beach in the ocean. Wouldn't that be lovely? Ocean Drive is that color. This is called Ice Blue. Then cobalt blue, a very traditional KitchenAid color, one that was kind of absent for a while and made a big comeback. So if you love this cobalt blue, it's inky, it's blue, it's gorgeous, deep blue. Then I've got this uh, majestic yellow. Your white is interesting because it's not a glossy white. This is a matte finish. So it's going to be more of a, um, uh, I wouldn't use the word dull because that's not a, a very pretty word, is it? It's just like a matte finish. It's not shiny. It's just a really beautiful white. Then we've got it for you in black. Now, this black is shiny. It is glossy. This is the one I have in my kitchen. And then we've got it for you in gloss cinnamon. But if you want the two most popular colors today, well, here they are. KitchenAid Red and Contour Silver. These have been, without a doubt, two of the most popular in this show and really since launch. Before we go and meet Tina Varelli, our special KitchenAid guest, I do want to show you one thing. As I mentioned, KitchenAid started back in 1919. See this food grinder attachment that's on this vintage KitchenAid model? This vintage KitchenAid mixer that is a model from 1953. Tina, actually, this, this is from your family, isn't it? That is, oh, that's Tina's. Okay. This particular food grinder was made the first year KitchenAid went into business. That's 100 years old. This food grinder, if I took it off this mixer, and put it on today's special value, it would fit. Because the power hub has never changed in 100 years. Isn't that crazy? So now you've got the updated model of the food grinder attachment included with your model. And we're doing it all at this one day or that this today's special value price. Let's come over and meet Tina Varelli. I'm going to make my way across. Tina is not only our KitchenAid representative and has been for three years, she's also the Pillsbury 2012 National Recipe Champion. She's a lady that knows her way not only around the KitchenAid, but also around the kitchen. Nice to see you, my friend. Hello. Good to have you back. We're going to start with a food grinding right. demo because I think this is a great way for people to see the variety of what this can do. Yes, it's so great. So I'm grinding walnuts dried apricots and apple pieces and these are some of the toughest things to chop and lots of times we use them in our baking you saw us also use them in conjunction with some meat well you so tell me what you like to see more of and i'll, I'll load you up. just put in whatever you want there you okay. can even kind of load up that little tray a little tray and you'll just scoop them in exactly and this is how you can work that at home it's so so super simple those sticky fruits that are so tricky to chop this is great for all your baking needs. If you make some of those specialty baked items that have like a prune filling or an apricot filling or you need a whole lot of ground nuts, 
this is going to give you a really consistent texture and you can keep grinding and grinding and grinding because it all just dumps into the bowl. So you're not having to stop and open up and empty out any kind of container. It just works beautifully cutting through and grinding up with perfect texture all those dried apples and dried apricots and walnuts, really any nuts that you want to do. And once we get enough here, I'm gonna show you how you can make some fun little nut, fruit and nut energy balls that are just a nice little treat, you know, all natural, you know all the ingredients that go into it. It's a simple, simple, nice, easy recipe. So I think that looks pretty good that there. Enough. Let's get all those guys through. We're gonna turn that off. Okay, and then we're just gonna take this bowl over to this mixer here. Mm -hmm. Remember that tilt head makes it so easy to swap out the bowls. So to this mixture, we're gonna add some cinnamon. Mm. A little salt because all those dried fruits would have some nice sweetness to you them. Say that'll help some to counterbalance. seeds, so some sesame seeds, oh, wow. and some peanut butter. You could use almond butter. Pretty and this much. This will help bind it together, right? It will, and it's just a nice little treat. This is something even that the kids might like to make themselves for an after-school snack. I want you to see what. Can we tilt that back just yes. a second? I want you to see what Tina did here. She used the work beater as a scraper. Yes. She took her spatula and she scraped it off onto the side of the work beater. And that's not a, that's not a problem at all. In fact, it's encouraged. Because what's going to happen when that beater goes into the bowl, mm -hmm. it's going to go right where that excess peanut butter needs to be mixing. That's exactly right. So it's a right. great little tip to give you to scrape it right on the beater because mm -hmm. it's going to go right into the mix. It is. So what we're doing is two steps. So we're using the stand mixer two ways. First for the grinding and second for the mixing. We've been doing that with all of our grinder demos. Just shows how versatile this tool is in your kitchen. And it's done. Oh, and it smells really yummy too. Oh, let me get a let me get a whiff. Oh, it smells so peanut buttery and delicious. So you could use those scoops that you were talking yes, about, or yes. a teaspoon, and get in there. And you want to give it a good squeeze in your hand, and those are going to make some fun little snack balls. And you could dress them up. You could roll them in some crushed nuts. You could roll them in some coconut, some mini chocolate chips. You could dip them in chocolate. You could dip them in chocolate, and look how cute they are. They're awfully what sweet. A fun and then you little... buy these little. These are little mini cupcake liners, right? Yes. Or yes. little mini muffin liners. Mini, yes. Yeah. So cute. So you can buy those probably in the grocery store in the baking aisle. Mm -hmm. So True. all this coming together for you at a really fantastic price. We wanted to jump right into the food grinder because I know for a lot of folks. They're familiar with the mixer, but probably less familiar with the food grinder. Right. And you're probably thinking, well, don't you just use that for meat? Well, you certainly can. That's right. But you can use it for a whole lot more, just like those delicious little fruit nut balls that we were just doing. Uh, and when I say we, I mean Tina. <laughs> and uh, this is what's really exciting because we're able to do all this for you at this fantastic price. You know, we kick off at today's special value at midnight every night. And we bring in what we think is going to be our best value of the day. Mm -hmm. And this is certainly that. When you look at what you might pay at retail for a similar model, you begin to understand pretty quickly why this has been so popular today. That's right. And why it's so exciting. But I also want to just talk a little bit about the 100th anniversary for KitchenAid. Because 100 years in business doesn't happen by accident. It does not. I like to say that a company doesn't stay in business for 100 minutes if it's not delivering on what it promises. And if it's not delivering to our customers or to its customers what they need and mm -hmm. what they want, these are machines that are not driven by belts. They're all gear driven. They're all 100% metal construction. Mm -hmm. So you're looking at something that is made to last. You're looking at a brand that is proud of what they manufacture and have continued to manufacture for 100 years. That's why when you hear phone callers during In the Kitchen with David and they say, I got my grandmother's mixer or yes. my great grandmother's mixer. Or for you, you still have the model that I'm, 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 I'm guessing was passed down from someone in your family from 1953? 53. 53. 53. Mm -hmm. These mixers still work years and years and decades later because they were built to last. That's exactly right. And this is just such a, you know, a keystone of our mixers here. It is the most powerful, the largest capacity of our tilt head mixers. It is just 
so well engineered, so built to last. That's why, you know, we still bring them to you 100 years later because it works so well. Here I'm using that coated dough hook. You can see that dough hook moving around the bowl. It's spinning in one direction while it's revolving around the bowl in the other direction. We call that planetary mixing action. That's how we get that efficient, quick mixing. And let's take a look. This is a rosemary roasted pepper bread that is just coming together beautifully. Look at that beautiful, beautiful color. If you've never worked with yeast doughs before, I encourage you to give it a try. You know, pick up the stand mixer, bring it home and try something new. Sure. Let it inspire you to try something that you haven't made before. And you can bake the breads in these sweet little flower pots, decorate them for the spring holidays, and it actually know. bakes right in that pot. And you could put a little label with a name on it and use it as a place setting. When I was in college, there was a restaurant um, near Chapel Hill where I went to school in North Carolina where they baked their bread fresh in flower pots. Yes. They called it flower pot bread. Mm -hmm. And we would, uh, we would always go and they would bring it to the table hot. And the flower pot would be hot. They would bake all these, I guess, in restaurant sheet pans. Right. right. They'd slide them into the oven and they would just all come billowing out of the top. And then they would, we'd pull them out of the, out of oh, the, um, yum. the flower pot and we'd slice them and hit them with, oh. with fresh butter. And oh my word, I, so good. There's not much better than fresh butter and bread. I have to tell you, <laughs> I'd chase you down the block for a fresh hot piece of bread. <laughs> all right. So so this is K four uh, four eight seven five zero, and really a fantastic buy. And what we're going to do as we continue to make more goodies is we're going to. And um, I was just noticing your Easter cupcakes Aren't are gorgeous. They cute? Let's say hello to Carrie, who's joining us in Virginia. Hi, Carrie. Oh, nice. Hi. How you doing? We're doing great today. We hope you're enjoying your Sunday. Um, using my time to watch in the kitchen with David. We love to hear that, Miss Carrie. Tina and I would love to know. Do you own a KitchenAid stand mixer, or are you buying one today? I have a KitchenAid stand mixer that is 31 years old. How's it working for you? Like the day I got it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we want. I like to hear. Mm -hmm. you know, I was just telling that story, Carrie, with this being the 100th anniversary of KitchenAid, these machines are built to last. Mm -hmm. Well, I can tell you that at Christmas time, I make a about 12 different kinds of cookies. Oh okay. my goodness. And this KitchenAid mixer has made every one of them since 1987. Oh my goodness. How about that? That's Isn't that something? Really fantastic. What color do you have at home? I have a white mixer. It's not the pretty white that you have up there, David, but it's just the basic white. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a classic. Well, it's a classic, it sounds mm -hmm. like. And I'm going to guess that, you know what, that mixture is going to be around long after we're all gone. Mm -hmm. And I think oh, that. I'm sure it will. Yeah, exactly. And I think <laughs> new generations of cook in your, cooks in your family, hopefully, will be enjoying it and using it and loving it. What would you say to someone at home who had never bought a KitchenAid stand mixer, given that you've owned yours since 1987? What would you say to them to encourage them? I would tell you that. No matter what the cost, it's worth every penny because it's going to last your lifetime and the next generation. Isn't that something? And so true. My word. Well, you know what? If you are baking for springtime, you've got just the right mixer on your countertop. And we're so thrilled to talk with you today. Well, thanks for talking with me. And Aww. hope you guys have a great afternoon. Thank Aww, you. You thank do you as well. Carrie. Be well and be safe. And stay tuned. We're with you for about, uh, I guess, about 11 or 12 more minutes. I'll be here. Thanks, okay. love. Take be well. Care. Bye bye. Bye bye. So, Carrie's had her machine since 1987. Right. This is super, super exciting. You're looking at something really fantastic. What do you make it here? So, this is just a really simple cupcake. It's a melted ice cream cake. I make this lots of times with lots of different versions. So, a lemon cake mix, eggs, two cups of melted vanilla ice cream. And we're just going to mix in some fresh blueberries here that I mixed with a little bit of the cake mix. That keeps them from sinking to the bottom of your cake. And because we have those wonderful 10 speeds, you can mix those in on that stir speed and they're gonna mix in perfectly. You know what, you're also using the work beater that has the great big open spaces. So right. you know what you didn't do? You didn't turn that batter blue. No, it's not at all. I don't see one smushed blueberry. So it's just a gentle workhorse. And that's what it's all about. And now you've got a five quart capacity. That's gonna make a lot of delightful 
cupcakes or muffins or whatever it is we're making. So this is really exciting. Don't miss out on this opportunity. Take a look at our value proposition again, reminding you that this is what you would pay if you went to retail to build the KitchenAid stand mixer and the food grinder attachment. You'd be paying $418.98. We have six easy payments tonight, but more importantly, you should know that we are $144 less than retail. Then we've got free shipping and handling. You know how much the shipping and handling on this would be if you were paying it? $20.72 wow. on top of the cost of the mixer. Okay? You're not paying that today because shipping is free. So if you take how much we are less and add to, the, to that the free shipping and handling, we're over $164 less than retail, and that's delivered to your door. Because if you go to a store to try to find this mixer, A, you're not going to find it anywhere with this combination, mm -hmm. you know, all packed up together like this, and you won't find it at this price. And you probably won't find all the colors we have because we have 14 of them for you right. to choose from. And if you do buy one in a store, you're going to have to lug that great big box to your car, unless you have some fine, nice person in the store who's willing to carry it out for you. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Then you're going to have to, you're right, and then you're going to have to carry it inside. If you buy it here on QVC today, we're going to deliver it right to your doorstep. One of those friendly delivery men or women will bring that right to your doorstep. You'll open the door and you'll be like, there's the kitchen, Ada. Ordered on in the kitchen with David. That's Can't right. wait. Love it. Let's get busy baking. So this is what it's all about. My whole theme for this month is baking shortcuts. Mm -hmm. And we used your mixer today to make elements of my peanut butter. I love it. Chocolate banana cream pie. So you've got lots of great ways you'll be using this right out of the box. And we've got lots of great recipes to choose from. Incidentally, a lot of the recipes that Tina is doing today are available on her Facebook page. That's right. And tell everyone how to find you on Facebook. Yep. So look for Tina Varelli, V-E-R-R-E-L-L-I, KitchenAid on QVC. V like Venable, V for Varelli. V like Victory. That's right. And so I have an entire index there of all the recipes today to make it super simple for you to make these at home. You know what my mother says when she's on the phone and she's spelling our last name? Yes. She'll say, V like Victor. Uh, that's what I say. She'll always say, V like Victor, <laughs> E-N-A-B-L-E. Yeah. Okay, I've heard her say that a million times on the phone. So this is K48750. Everybody's loving the great value here, and we're into our final six minutes of the presentation, mm -hmm. I will invite everyone to start thinking about saddling up and choosing a color. That's right. We've got some great colors. Before I take you on another color tour, I do want to say hello to Liz joining us oh, nice. in New York. Now, Liz, are you in the city or are you in uh, New York State? We're, we're between Rochester, New York, and Syracuse, New so York. So you're upstate. Okay. Nice. Yes. Nice to have you. I should have said upstate because, of course, if you're in New York, you're also in the state of New York, aren't you? Yes. Right. It'd be kind of <laughs> silly, wouldn't it? Uh, but we're thrilled to have you shopping, and I'm sure it's a little chilly up where you are. Uh, some baked goods would be a, uh, uh, probably hit the spot about now, right? Oh, I've been baking every day. <laughs> Good Aww, for you. That's now, so great. Do you own a stand mixer, or are you shopping for one today? Well, I'll put it to you this way. I bought each one of the families a stand, stand mixer, the big ones. I bought my grandson his last Christmas. I have mine, and I just bought the last two granddaughters theirs for Christmas this year. Oh my goodness, how fantastic. What colors did you get for them? The oldest granddaughter gets the green apple, mm. and the youngest granddaughter gets the guava pink, and they have the hand mixers to match. Oh, wow. Do they really? I'm going to step back here because we can't quite see that guava glaze because the green apple's covering it. Yeah. Step they, back a little bit. Two of them have the spiralizer to go with oh, it also. Oh, great. So here are your two colors you just ordered, Miss Liz. Yes, the first two. Aren't they? Oh, there they are. Aren't they pretty? Yes. Boy, it looks like an Easter basket, doesn't it? It does, really. <laughs> So there's but I'm your... so glad to talk to you, Tina. I tried, I got the big one, and I tried a double recipe that's really big in the mixer, and it brought it right up to the top, but never went over, and I was so proud. <laughs> I love it, Liz. I do the same thing all the time. I really fill it up because I like to be efficient and you know get as much done as I can in one batch. Yeah, absolutely. But I'll tell you something. This is the best buy ever. Aw, thank you so much thank for you. calling and, in. And you know what? Your grand, uh, your granddaughters are also getting that food grinder attachment, so they're going to find so yes. many great uses for mm -hmm. that as well. Yes. 
Well, I'm so tickled for you, Miss Liz. This is this is a good day for you. Very good day. <laughs> well, good deal. I got deal. a lot of Christmas shopping done already. <laughs> Look at you, and it's only February the 17th. Yeah. How about That's that? That's all right. I'm still going to wrap them in Christmas paper. Well, you know what? Why not? And we'll deliver it right to your door, Liz. You won't have to worry about going out to a store, trying to lug these to the car, or get them inside the house. We're going to put them right on your front doorstep. You're right. They bring them right in on, on the porch. Wow. Well, how nice. I love that. Well, you know what? If you make friends with your delivery person and every now and again give them baked cookies. Oh. Oh, I do. Yeah. <laughs> I, find I also give them apples. Oh, nice. Also a good idea. I mm -hmm. call that greasing the skids. Yeah. <laughs> Just grease and, the skids a little my, bit. My grandson got his box of popcorn to, uh, on Valentine's Day. Oh, so nice. Thank you very much. Oh, my goodness. Liz, you must be everyone's favorite grandmother. Mm -hmm. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I know it. so. I love the grandchildren. So. <laughs> well, you know what? They're I, lucky to have you. They're lucky to have you. Thank you so much for talking with me today. Well, it's a pleasure. Anytime you'd like to come back, you are always welcome in our kitchen. Thank you so much. You take good care of yourself, and you are a sweetheart. I just think that's dear. You have a great afternoon, and uh, and stay warm this winter up there in upstate, okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, I will. Thank you. Take care, sweet pea. Be well. Bye-bye. 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 What a sweetheart. So oh, my great. goodness. She's taking care that. of her grandbabies. I know. That's so nice. So, you know what? We're only two minutes left. <gasps> Ooh. So, probably time to do a, a quick color tour, and then I'll meet you back at the what you get. Okay. Sound Sounds good? good. All right. Be right back with you. So, for the day now. How many? 8,700 ordered for the day. That means during In the Kitchen with David, 4,200, Miss Tina. Wow. Almost half of what's been ordered for the day has been ordered in this show. Wow. All right. So here is your green apple. Liz just ordered that for one of her grandbabies, and this is uh, fewer than 300 left now. Wow. When any color sells out, we'll take it off the table. Yes. This is the guava glaze she bought for her other granddaughter. Love it. And this one is just beautiful. And really, KitchenAid does so little pink. Mm -hmm. This is a great opportunity to pick up that pink color. We call it guava glaze, but you know, pink all it's day. It's such a pretty pink. Really pretty pink. And it's not that it's not too soft either. It's really a nice bold pink. It is. This is Bird of Paradise, color just introduced last year. First time I've ever done it in a five quart. Here it is in pearl, copper pearl. This is Toffee Delight. You voted this as one of your favorite colors. Our foodies voted on this. Then we've got this in Ocean Drive. It just mm. makes me happy every time I think about Ocean Drive. <laughs> oh, my word. You ever been to, uh, to a restaurant sitting overlooking the beach? Oh, in the ocean? you're killing me. I know, right? <laughs> Love it. This is Ice Blue. I mean, they could bring me my shoe sauteed in a frying pan. <laughs> I'd eat it right there on the beach. You know what? Here it is in Cobalt Blue. I've got it for you in Majestic Yellow. Here is your matte white, mm -hmm. not a glossy white, but a matte finish. Right. Here is, you know the word I was looking for earlier? Flat. It's a flat finish. It is. Not a glossy finish. Right. Mary was comparing it to the kind of a color you get when you're done with a meringue. It almost yep. has just that little bit of glisten to it. Yep, you're very right. And this is your black. This is glossy. Mm -hmm. And the glossy black is what I have in my kitchen. Here's your uh, gloss cinnamon. And then finally, our last two colors, which have been most popular, the red and the contour silver. Take a look at this last value statement as we bring Tina over to wrap up our show and bring Miss Stacy out as well. This is what you would pay at retail if you want to buy the mixer and also the food grinder, a whopping $418.98. We are $144 less. When you factor in the free shipping and handling, which is $20.72 more, we're now at $164 and change less. And six easy payments on your credit card. For the day now, 8,800 and during in the kitchen with David, 4,300 ordered. Almost half the quantity for the day ordered in this show. Miss Stacy, how was the chat today? It was awesome. So great to be with you guys. Ms. And Beth. Tina, you of course will be with us throughout the evening. Yes, I Looking will. Looking forward to yes, that. Yes, and some new demos, so stay tuned. Which is awesome. Great hey, can we also yes. welcome the 921 brand new customers really? in the shop? During in the kitchen with David today for the very first time, made their first QVC purchase. A big foodie salute to all of you. That's great. This Wednesday, we start at 8 p.m. We're a two hour show, and I've got jalapeno cheddar scones oh, I'm making. Yum. <laughs> we also have something special from Scrub Daddy. Mm -hmm. And I'm also going to tell you that there's something very exciting happening at the end of this week a bonus. <gasps> oh, I 
Oh, are you going to tell everybody? <laughs> I might make you wait till Wednesday, but given that I've got seven seconds, this Friday night, we're going to have a bonus edition of In the Kitchen with David. Woo! Isn't that fun?